Prelude to Infamy, Start New Infamy, Restore Infamy. I don't... I, I can figure out what these two are. I don't know. Is this like the intro or something? Let's find out what's going on here. Every game has a story. Yes, shout out to the uh, developers. Yeah, Necro no Noctropolis. I did see that was one of the requests, which didn't make the cut. I forgot about that game. I looked it up before we started playing. I was like, okay. Vaguely remember this game. This is from 2014, so this has been out for a while. I know a bit of it. I think I've dabbled in it before. Who needs a hero anyway? <laughs> four and a half. Quest for Glory, four and a half. People mention that as well. Nice looking castle there. It's kind of like Mordak meets the uh, Rogue to Redemption University. Hero U. This screen reminds me of the Hero U kind of intro or title screen, rather. <laughs> Quest for Glory, four and a half. You got that. Heroine's Quest. Heroine's Quest, wherever you want to go, and then this. All love letters to this genre. Kickstarter producers, okay. So I was going to say, this is not a small team. Any of the uh, Kickstarter people here by chance? Seems like there's a lot of them. Law of averages eventually. It's not even... Is that... No, it's not alphabetical in any way. The MFing champ. <laughs> uh, yes, I would love to play Blue Shoot Larry Wet Dreams Don't Dry. I did, on a recent Let's Drink with Brigands, I did a bit of the... Uh, I forget what it's called, but the, the first one that Allo had nothing to do with, where his nephew goes to college, basically. I forget what that's called. Magna cum laude. There it is. <laughs> Obviously. All right. What is going on somewhere in a far-off castle? <laughs> oh, oh, my. Oh, stop it. Stop it, I You're so wicked. Oh, stop You're so it. wicked. Olivia, I said, what's going on in this? no. It's my father. Nothing, Daddy. Uh-oh. Open this door at once. But, Daddy, I'm changing. I'm coming in. You have to go. But I've just got my boots off. Don't get cheeky now. Seriously. I just got my boots oh, off. Daddy. Elysium. Daddy, no. Why, are you devil. I'll kill you. That wasn't my fault. She tricked me. I'll trick <laughs> you, devil. Oh, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. It's good. Go to start to a game as any, I say. <laughs> the tire rolling by. Run! That's us, by the way. <laughs> Hoofing it out of here. If we catch this uh, hayride in the town. Hello, sir. How are you this evening? I'm exhausted, friend. Tell me, where are you going? Oh, I'm off across the mountains. How about you? The same. Mind if I tell you? Not at all. We can sing songs together. Great. Uh, Sounds good to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought he's gonna have a sassy answer to that, but okay. There you go. Love a free ride. All right. New kid in town. The prologue. Several weeks later, all right. Is this when we finally arrive? Was it like a three-week donkey ride in the back of that cart? <laughs> uh -huh. Volksville? Well, here you go. Is this okay? Yes, this is fine. Thank you. For your trouble. Why, thank you, sir. 
Well, I'm Slick. off. Head north to the castle. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. You just may. Very well, sir. Probably see him blowing up the country charts. I like you get all all manners of accent in this land in Volksville. <laughs> Hello, my got the friend. Scottish Welcome. guys he got Udo. Welcome to the town of Vauxville. I trust your travels were not too unpleasant. Just for Matthew. Excellent, excellent. My name is Udo. I am a seller of rare and precious trinkets, as well as a great source of news for the town and all across the valley. You mean you're a gossip? Eh, call me what you may, as long as you call me friend. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see, yeah. Ah, gosh, yes. I like that. Please come and see me anytime you need anything. All right, let's see what we got. It's we a got leather pouch filled with coins of various shapes and sizes, all denoting different amounts of Lonarian Blythos, the near universal trading currency. People commonly refer to them as Blyes. You have some Blythos. <laughs> you have some Blythos. 314, exactly. Uh, would that be a shield, perhaps, in that hand? Unless we want to equip some veggies. Yeah, we're going to have to find something to fill that slot. You are carrying some food rations, which are useful for staying alive. They're made out of dried fruit and nuts, smoked meats, and other assorted goodies. And yeah, uh, <laughs> not surprised they didn't program the guy to say every single quantity known to man. Okay. Happy with that. Ooh, a rock. You stare intently at the grass. It's so green, man. You could get lost in it, man. Give up this life of moral turpitude. Join up with a couple of other guys, play some instruments, and travel across the land playing mandolin. Maybe we could join then that guy's country band. It and realize that you are grateful that you aren't dead. A grateful dead reference there. Very nice, very nice. All right, Udo. Hey there, Udo. Hey there, Udo. It's like we're old pals already. Rome's so cool. Well, hello there, friend. How can I help you today? Uh, what you got? I have 314. Perfume. That's a lot of lies, though. Get out of my range. Rubbing alcohol for our ailments. Everyday oil and then snake oil. I don't know. Might hold off till we know what we want for sure. Always gotta check the barrels, you right? You see the barrel, which is unremarkable. But then you think of how funny it would be if you had some angry dwarf shoved in there yelling and pounding on the wood. That would be funny. Very specific. But, uh,. That would, be, that would make me laugh. So middle mouse button is just walk, basically. It's a little shortcut there. The squirrel is picking at the ground and eating what it finds. Might be us, unless we get some more rations eventually. That bird just gets stuck in my uh, display up there. <laughs> It's got like a Graham cloak from uh, King's the Quest door. 5. Oh, no trust. As I try to just enter some random stranger's house. Alright, let's head back actually in the town. I feel like that's what we're meant to do. Can the hero swim? That's a good question. Can the hero swim? Wait, hold up, hold up. almost forgot my own rule. I know it's not a Sierra game, but still. What's our name? Rome, something like that. Close enough. Gotta try it, right? Guy this cool has to be able to swim. You bend down and take a long, refreshing drink from the river. Alright. Ah, that was good. Oh, I didn't spell his name right. I'm sorry, Rome. Well, whatever. I, I can respect that he knows his limitations. I see water, I drink. I don't drown. I don't try. Lovely little town here, Volksville. Uh, maybe this guy will have a shield for me. Not that I could probably afford it at this point in time. 
Now let's just talk to him. Good day, sir. Did I say drink? Yeah, he did say drink, didn't he? Hey, Niels. Hello there. Hmm. Let's ask about the execution, obviously. Yes, there's an execution taking place soon. I want to finish these shoes before I head down. He has like a baby face, kind of, but he has the voice and otherwise, and like the facial hair of a much older man. You are a conundrum, Niels. I like that that's the entertainment around these parts, though. You gotta, you know, get to town for that execution. Execution and chill. It's a good first date, I feel like. Maybe it's a second date. My execution. name is Niels. I'm the assistant and farrier to the blacksmith. Would that be this gentleman right here? I'm preparing shoes for the horses. Ah. Uh, it's not as exciting. It's quite lovely. Thank you. <laughs> How's your day? It's quite lovely. They take me where I need to go. I made the chair myself. Oh, are you in a wheelchair? I didn't notice that. Okay, that kind of makes his little posture and his... Okay. Cool. It's a pretty quiet town. Never much trouble. Except for Gorth. He's Frickin always causing Gorth. trouble. Surprised Rayford hasn't beaten him senseless yet. If you can't enjoy an execution with someone, it's just not meant to be. Well said, Squatch. It's a pretty quiet town. All right, so watch he's out. He's a local sheriff. He's a tough man, but he's always decent to me. Yeah, I'm sure you don't cause any trouble there. Take care, stranger. <laughs> Take care, stranger. Wait, I want to talk to you, man. You just wanted to observe my conversation with Niels? All right. Well, I'm coming in. I want to talk to the black. The door is locked. All right, then. I don't have any lockpicks, either. How do I decide my character type? I, I might want to be a thief. That's so unquest for Gloria, like. We're still in the prologue, though, so... Yeah, this is a well-stocked goods store right here. They have that up on virtually every store in every Quest for Glory game. Hello, young master. Welcome to the Owen's General Store in Meat Emporium. Why do some people sound like they recorded their lines in a just a cathedral and others sound like a closet? Would you shop? Meat Emporium sounds like a whore house. <laughs> Too right, oh, Owen. You'd know a whore house, wouldn't you? Oh, Gwen and Owen, they got that. How long have you been married? Maybe. I found you in one. Oh, touche, Owen. You were the chamber pot boy. And they fell in love. It's a love story for the ages. You were the chamber pot. I love you, dear. Aw. Love you too, honey buddy. That is the healthiest relationship I think I've ever seen in an adventure game right there. Oh, this is lovely. <laughs> this is lovely. Hey, you tried running the store with your significant other. You have to do something to keep yourself from going nuts. <laughs> Understood. Understood. Well, we're just about to close up to go to the execution. So if you <laughs> need something, just stop on back afterwards, okay, honey? Ah. Will do. You do. Stay pleasant. Enjoy the execution. All right, we'll come back. Post-execution. And turn up the speed a little bit. Let's turn the FX all the way up. We can afford it. Music down. Don't want to drown out that fantastic speech. I think it was more like that. Rome. I think that's right. Oh, forgot to pet the cats. Didn't see him. What do we got here? You, like a vagrant, decide to urinate in the cauldron. What? It's your way of saying. I was here. That is not what I had in mind when I clicked the hand on it. I was just trying to steal something. Didn't mean to take a piss. Hey, hello. Oh, hello, my lord. Villager, come on. You, oh, you gotta... uh, well, then, uh, hello. <laughs> I must be on my way now. Take care. She already left the screen. I thought you were a little smoother than that, Rome. You struck me as that kind of guy, not the kind of guy when a, you know, a dashing lady goes, hello, you gonna go, oh, uh, oh. I didn't just take a piss in this pot. You would, but what would you do with a barrel? 
Especially after you already excreted your urine in that last container. Gentlemen, Got I'm Rome. Fair trader, I smoke goods. Aha! Good afternoon, young master. How are you? Better now that we know this place is here. I love smoked goods, apparently. We're learning ah, so much about Rome. you. I am Armand, purveyor of the finest tobacco and smoke of a yeah. leaf in all the lands. Okay. Got a hell of a mustache and beard as well, Armand. You can call me Rohan. And indeed I will, Mr. Rohan. Be assured, Rohan. every item in here is of the finest quality. I have selected my imports by hand, and any purchase you make shall be a wonderful delight for you to enjoy in your leisure time. That's fair. I'm a big fan of leisure time. <laughs> Here, try a bit of these. All right. Don't mind if I do. Where the? Did you have a pipe? Where are you hiding that? You hiding inventory stuff from me, Rob? That is delightful. <laughs> ah, yes. Imported Kenmati leaf from the realm of Anangoti, the finest. I bet. I must close up for I was a gonna moment say, before the execution. You gotta go to the execution, Please right? Stop by again, and we can discuss the finer things I have to offer. I don't trust a tobacco purveyor unless he is down with executions. Sounds excellent. See you soon. Everything in here is amazing, <clears throat> sir. I highly recommend the Sir Dave's of Romero blend. Clayton's having a good time. So off on whatever he's smoking there that they couldn't even give him a uh, picture. All right. Well, I don't know about you lot, but I am excited to watch this execution. <laughs> I am up for this execution, and that is an understatement. I need to get rid of the misspelled Rome. I feel bad. What do we got here? Potion? The door is locked, but there is a man over in the garden. Ah. Apothecary? Maybe the, hey, you collect the garden. collecting stuff for the potions? Who? Me? Yes, Gerard. No, the other fella in the garden. The one with a gnomish hat. <laughs> I don't see. <laughs> you got me. Good fun. Good fun. We're one step ahead of your eyes. There's one in there. Well, not bad. Just trying to pick some herbs for some potions I'm making up later. People always start worrying about their health after an execution. Uh, yeah, I guess that's a good point. Good business, man, Gerard. Good reason. Though I don't suppose you have a potion that really touches a head, no, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, don't be silly. Oh, that's funny. Oh, ah, I am Jared Smyrna, pharmacist. Are you familiar with one of your colleagues, one of your peers, Freddie Fark? Uh, Mr. Rowan, professional raconteur. There you go. Nice and, uh, nice and generic, not too specific. Well, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Likewise. Well, I've got to get finished up. Got to get to the execution soon. Yes, indeed. Some people wanted to get that ex execution a lot sooner, like Owen and his wife. Y yes, Probably yes, wanted to get please. A good spot Come up by front. the shop sometime. There's lots of neat things in there. I bet they'd be of use to a man like you. I'll do that. Farewell, sir. Bye. Probably people like when you go to SeaWorld or something, you want to be in the front row, like the splash zone. But for the execution. Yeah. <laughs> but for the execution. Because of the blood. Hello, horse. I'm going to pet you. need to do that yet. You need to pet that horse later? It's very integral to the quest. A blacksmith shop lays before you. As far as smithies go, this one looks awesome. Just kidding, it looks like a soot covered dirt hole. But you're confident okay. of two things. Hope that guy's the owner not reeks of sweat, and that his products are quality made. Hope he's not around, except for the quality made line, that's nice. You don't see anyone around, but you do notice the fire is still burning in the forge. Well, that's irresponsible. Are you in charge here, Horsey? I don't want to miss this execution. This door is pretty solid. And you're quite sure it has an advanced lock on it. Keep out the likes of you. 
It was probably south on that last screen, actually. I'm sure we won't miss it. Almost to the extent that it was... What are you all doing here? There's an execution today. I am offended on behalf of you all. Ooh, hello. What we got here? Ugh. Ah, oh, we can ask the fellas their names. We can't ask this lady. Welcome to the Jolly Roger Inn. I'm a Vales and Lager. Occasionally we get some whiskey in here. Nothing fancy, stranger. I'll drink to that, kid. Sounds fine to me. Not a fan of execution, sorry? Though. Well, it better. You're out of luck if you're looking for anything better around here. I mean, I think we... Uh, anyway... Let's ask about Kit, shall we? I'm a lonely bartender in a small town. Are you here to save me, eh? Maybe. Give her some of that charm, Rome. No? No. <laughs> Sir, the debt. Rome seems like a pretty cool guy, but... I don't know, he's... He's losing some points with the ladies, in my opinion. Welcome to the... Sounds fine. Want it better? Sounds we fine. brew it downstairs. This shite, but it does the trick. Why don't you ever look at me when I'm talking to you, kid? Made from the best water and grain. That's what they tell me. I'm no brewmaster or chemist for this matter. Okay. Not a bad place. Just good folks trying to get by. Enjoying the art execution now and then. He's alright. Can part. be a right bastard. Don't like public drunkenness or fights. He can crack a skull or two. I've been hearing a lot about... That was the sheriff, right? Ah, oh, the lads are good guys. Farmers they are. They drink their crops. I bet. He's a big bastard, ain't he? Kurt? Uh, yeah, Kurt. I like you, kid. I just decided I like you. I'd like a drink. What do we got? Jolly Rogering. Brew it downstairs. It's shite, but it does the trick. One bly? Wow, snake oil cost me 25 bly. Yes, please. I'll take the shitey ale. There we go. Pound one. Go, mate. Give me a bly and we're even. Right here, right now. You pay her and begin to sip your drink. It's as refreshing as you hoped it would be. Not all that shite, then. Six or seven of these and you might get as giddy as a Lenarian whore. Six or seven, hey, how about the... I don't know you. You knew in my tavern. Uh... Yeah, I guess so. But I don't think that's any of your no, business. I've been here for weeks. You got a problem, pal? Jason Statham, who... I don't know, it's like Jason Statham, who has, like, the body but he never had the confidence to break in. It's like an alternate universe where Jason Statham never got into acting because everyone told him he was shite or something. Looks like he just got turned down for an auto loan or something. I don't know what's with that face. He's got the body, though. And then some. The only problem I have, friend, is what the amount of nose hair you're spurting. You're trying to catch boogers as a hobby. That's more of the wit I was looking for, Rome. Just apply that to the ladies. Just, you know, flip it, be a little smooth. You're quite the smartass, friend. You're <laughs> lucky there's an execution in town and there's more guards around. Otherwise, you and I'd be having words. Stand down, Jason Statham wannabe. You're lucky I have a pair of tweezers. Oh! <laughs> he likes it. We're best friends now. You're a funny friend. <laughs> Let me buy you a drink. Drink. Let me drink your drink. That's my response next time somebody buys me a drink. Let me drink your drink. Thank God we're not the poor bastard whose head is about to roll. Damn straight. Toaster. Yeah, I think we can all drink to that, basically. So think about the, like his little muscle shirt or tank top or whatever. Like I feel like these should be higher up on his shoulders. I don't know. Something about the way he's wearing it seems a bit off to me. <laughs> Seems more like it's more like like chest support, like what well, you, you know. May we never face the gallows or a marriage. Oh, and Kit's like, oh well. <laughs> you can see her like, ah. 
Come on by afterwards. Let's have some more drinks and talk about things. I mean, I do like, I'm not good with the ladies, but I like the ladies, Kerr. Don't get me wrong. Why is there such a space between the R and the D, too? Is it Kerr? Is that how it's pronounced? All right, Kerr. You're all right. What'd you think of that exchange there, Kit? Nothing? Okay. Goodbye, sir. She looks like that woman from Portlandia. Can't think of her name. Let's talk to some of the locals. Maybe these are the more Davian types. Leave the guy alone. Just try to get to the man. says to him, or says, Look, you can't be building a house out of that. Where do you try building a house out of? Now, why can't he build a house from mud and sod? What is that voice? I'm getting to that, you interrupting bastard. Now, where was I? You can't build a house. So I says to him, Robert, you can't use that. And he says, why not? It's my mud and I'll do what I see fit. Sure. And I says, Robert, that ain't mud. And he says, oh, oh no. Brown and muddy. And I says, yeah. But what else is brown and muddy? Oh, no. I mean brown, sure. I don't know if muddy's the right word. You know what he says to me? <laughs> what? He says, so's your wife. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, fellas. You're, you're more uh, these ales in than I am, apparently. So I says, you got me there, you bastard. And while my wife may be brown and muddy, your field is made up of pure shite. Okay. <laughs> field of shite. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> yeah, looks like old Agate's been letting his cows and bulls run amok all over Robert's field. They've been plopping out monuments to chewed grass everywhere. <laughs> so he was going to build a shit house out of shit? What is that boy? Ah, oh, bothers me. Not the, like it's the actual voice I'm thinking of, but. Uh. I know. I mean, the place would smell like shite, but this place would actually smell like shite. Anyway, glad we eavesdropped on that conversation. Ooh, dagger. You can't reach it. Free tag? What? Where are they putting these used mugs? Is that on display? This looks like someone dropped that there after they, uh... He ignores you. Perhaps you should talk to the man on the other side of the table. Man, you want me to get together with Kurdit too, don't you, narrator? He just kind of eyeballs you for a bit, and you decide he's not ready to converse. Yeah, I talked to Kit. Hey, there's beer in my glass. Good for you, Pat. Is that a problem? <laughs> yeah, because it should be in my belly. But a boom. What? You are correct, sir. Drink up here. All right, I'm going to the execution. You guys are lame. <laughs> the Jolly Rogering. That sounds like a slamming good time. All right. Where is this execution? Uh, there we go. All right, so I think it's south. What? Did I not save over that? Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I think it's down here. Or not. Well, let's enter more people's you homes. You knock on the door, but you really have no desire to be polite. <laughs> You'd knock... Oh, I, so are we breaking in or not? I'm confused. <sighs> what the heck is that? Well, that's a bright and sparkly... Ah, magic shop. Casting McSpells would approve. Let's check it out. Ooh. All right. Yeah, they love that foreground little uh, animations right there. You couldn't reach them without a stepladder. You don't have one, and it appears one isn't even in here. Probably just uses levitate. And he's thinking, oh, if you're not a magician who knows levitate, then... You know what? You don't deserve getting to those materials anyway. That's fair. Is that Wordak? Who's oh, this? Uh, 
Prospero. From the sea, are we? Prospero. <laughs> All right. Touche. Oh, it's left in some way. Oh, even better. All right. Good line. How insightful. Allow me to quote that in my book of Who Cares. All right, Prospero. Ah. Now, young man, is there something I might help you with? Where are you? My name. Well, you may call me Prospero. If you couldn't read my little caption down I make here. it most of the town calls me Mr. Magic. It amuses them. <laughs> Mr. Magic. That's silly. It's not like, not a cool name like Mr. Nice Guy. That's true. He was the only one that could land Katrina, that casting expelled. Magic? Well, that's quite a discussion. Perhaps we can converse about it when we have more time. It just sounds like all the dudes are hitting on me. There's an execution coming soon, and we'd better not be late. Rayford gets into quiet a tizzy about these things. Are you, like, obligated to go to the execution? That seems weird. I thought it was just more of a fun social event. <laughs> Except for the guy, you know. Goodbye. Ah. Seems like everything's on hold until we go to this execution. It's not like I'm not looking for it. It just... Volksville's a very large town. Deceptively large. Alright, where's this guy getting executed it already? Looks like they're getting ready for the execution. Nice. But it's not quite time yet. Ah. I suggest you explore more of the town. You should probably also talk to more people. That's what I would do. But <laughs> I'm not you. Sadly, I'm just a disembodied voice. It is very sad. Are you the executioner? Hey there. Just killing time? Whoa there! Hello! I mean, he loves his work. He's he's pumped. Sorry, I know that I'm shouting. I lost control of my voice in a freak accident, and now I always talk like this. Like uh, Will Ferrell in that SNL sketch. That's unfortunate, sir. Well, could be worse. Rayford stations me here so I don't talk to a lot of people. Good call. I agree. Well, I'm going to continue standing guard. You have a great day, sir. Oh, you're not the guy who looked like you had an executioner's axe right there. I thought that would be funny, though. I mean, not again, not for the guy getting his head chopped off, but like, All right, I'm going to cut your head off now. Just that full volume. All right, what else does this lovely town have to offer? Ooh. Yo, where'd you get... Oh, is that that lady? Good afternoon, sir. Lady Kibble? What? Lady Kibble? Boy, you must be tired. No, I haven't been running through your mind all day. <laughs> we need some new lines, man. She made us a mile away there, Rome. Uh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, what do you respond to that with? <laughs> Stutter away, stutter boy. All right, Lady Kibble. Uh, boo. Well. <laughs> yeah, that's more the room than I know. Smooth but... move, x -Lax. Classic. Hello, sir. I am Dr. Frank. Doctor, friend, storyteller, and all-around good guy. Uh, that'll be for me to decide, Dr. Frank. Good to know. You're just like an angry mage. <laughs> What do you dress like, Rome? <laughs> no, no, I, I just bought these robes in the last city I visited. A grubo. It's a great city. A messing culture. And now you're here? Oh, yes. I'm traveling north, but, you know, bridge out, so I'm staying here. <laughs> All right, Dr. Frank. Sounds like fun. Take it easy. Yeah, I don't think you're someone I want to talk to for another second. Oh, yes, I will. Thanks. <laughs> Everyone's, like, doing a voice that I... Like, a character that I've heard before. I shouldn't be too surprised, but... Yeah. Hello, sir. I'm Burke, and these are my apples. Can I interest you in anything? One bligh for an apple. Uh, is there a giant around here that I would need to buy 50 for? By chance? Hello, sir. I don't know, I'll buy an apple from this guy. Why not? Thank you for your patronage, sir. Enjoy the apple. I'm sure I will. What's that? Oh. That doesn't see... That does Eat it! Eat the apple. You You need to equip braces in this slot. Apple-shaped bracers? 
An apple a day is an apple a day. Or keep Dr. Frank away, right? That doesn't seem to do... All right. Apparently we're not capable of eating. Who are you? Yeah, yeah, what do you want? What's up, Lumbo? Oh, and welcome to Matthew's Meat Hunt. Our meat beats your meat. They make me say that. Do they? Who makes you say our meat beats your meat? But, uh, what's up, man? I want to know about Kit. Can we talk about Kit? I don't care about these other people. Oh, he's got rations. Uh, oh, that's expensive. Well, seeing as I can't eat apples for some reason, I guess I'll buy the rations that I already have. The ranger wraps up some potato and meat and practically throws it at you. What a charmer! <laughs> Alright. Can I what actually eat that? Yeah, I have three of those now. Let's save. I guess he's not hungry, but I'm just, like, curious to see if we can eat this. There must be a better way to... Not starving? Yes, it's... Putting the food in your mouth, kind of chewing it, using your teeth, and swallowing it. That's all there is to it, really. Gentlemen! Whoa, boys. We better stop here for now. Please. Rayford's got an execution going on. Super smooth faces with lots of facial hair. It just doesn't make sense. Don't worry. We'll be back later if you're game for some action. <laughs> the fifth guy that's hit on me. Just like a, a child's face and then a bunch of facial hair. They're too busy with their dice. They're too... Dice game. Alright. Is it time for executing or what? I've been pretty much everywhere in Volksville. Who is this guy? I'm talking to you this time, buddy. Good day, sir. Oh, it's not hard to approach. Yes, it certainly is. I would stay in chat, but I must be going. We've got so much happening today. Rayford wanted me to go get something, but I can't remember. We so rarely have public executions. Really? I've come on a good day, then. You are coming to the public square, right? I wouldn't miss it. Especially when everyone else in town of is going to be friend. there. friend. Wouldn't miss this. There you go. Excellent. See you there. Make crime always cower in the light. Eh, indeed. I might be a rogue, I'm not sure. Well, this should be an interesting day. Alright. Make my way to the public square, eventually. That's probably the last person I needed to talk to. So, let's save and take in a nice execution, why don't we? on this screen, y'all. Or not. Kind of gave me that heads up like it was time. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, that's full circle. Wait, where did I go last time? It's weird. I thought I came down here originally. Where'd that lady go? By the way, the men outnumber the ladies in my experience so far in this town, like... 10 to 1. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be staying in Volksville for very long. Where's the pub? Ah, the bank. Well, if we are a rogue, this is point you of interest You can hear the homeowners talking about tea or something beyond the door. Better not mess with it during the day. Ah, that suggests to me that we might be able to break in later. You can't rob these merchants. All right. Now we're thinking with a thiefy mindset. You can't rob these merchants. What about the bank? Welcome to the Bank of Sinmaria. There Sin is a sign Maria. on the bank door that Close. reads, Closed for Execution. I think the... Uh, the... There's no... Execution, execution E, might have a similar size. Sounds like a call Whoa. for the execution. You probably better make your way back to town. Good lord! All right. I guess we just had to go on every single screen. I'm assuming that's what was happening right there, and not, not just some timing coincidence. All right. 
They've been building up to this execution for quite some time. This is even going to get its own special save slot execution. Ring in the prison. Oh, we even have like a special screen that we didn't have before. It's hard to really tell. It just looks like a homeless guy. I don't know. Tattered rags, man. It is by the edict of the king and the laws of the land of the Valley of Krasna in the kingdom of Lonaria that here in the town of Volksville, I, J.S. Rayford, am here to carry out the sentence in the matter of the people versus the criminal, Marcus Van Houten. Millhouse's great, 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 great grandfather. Does the criminal have anything to say? Probably a few more grades. Let me head roll. I defended myself and stole to feed my own starving body. If this is life, then my head is better served up fresh on a pole for all you people. Very well. Marcus Van Houten, you are sentenced to death by the automatic blade. May the next life be better than this. There's a next as life? As I don't have to look at your filthy Face, Rayford! Your conscience is almost as filthy as my... Oh! Take his head, <laughs> tar it, and put it on a pike outside yeah, anyway. town to warn others of our justice. <laughs> his headless body to a crow's cage to be pecked clean. I like and thus it is for criminals here. The ambient I will not responses in, in the background. Jurisdiction. Do you understand? You are all witnesses here today. One, I didn't expect Rayford to look like that. And two, did anyone pick up on that? Yes! <laughs> all the blood. Someone had a very good execution. Not that Rayford guy, not Marcus. Would like to see you in his office. It's like one of the Hello peons there. from Warcraft. You're a visitor or the to our town, I take it. Peasants. Heck yeah. Why, yes, I am. Just admiring the beauty of the area. The river is quite the sight. Huh. Yes, it is, stranger. Yes, it is. Might I have the pleasure of your name? <laughs> yeah, I'm down. I mean, you know. Yes, my name is Mr. Rome. Mr. William Rome. Pleasure. J.S. Rayford. Town Magister. Pleasure. Well, I have some matters to attend to. Please stop by my office later. Why I'd I come love by this to time? chat with you some more. Sounds good. Good evening, little man. Six good guy evening, that, Mr. Rome. Six guy that's hit on me. I'm gonna have a counter what up on the screen. Asshole. <laughs> Rome's not into it. Alright. Well, since it looks like I'll be here a while, I should try to make a friend or something. I mean, my thoughts go immediately to Kit, but find Mentor. We leave town, maybe get into our first battle. What say you, Udo? Did you take in that execution? Hey there, Udo. Well, hello, Dev. Prospero scared you and gave me a thousand pretty. I didn't mean to tell My, yeah. that was certainly scary. I wouldn't want my head to roll like that, or end up on a spike. Heard that, Udo. Yep, it's head on a spike. It kind of creeps me out. That's what it sounds like, the head on the spike. Ah, you've met Kurt. Big brute, isn't he? Well, he's definitely an interesting fella. Loves to drink. Pretty well restrained, too, for an ox. Yeah, we had kind of an interesting chemistry. I'll leave it at that. Well, you're in the Valley of Krasna right now. Krasna. We're part of the Kingdom of Lenaria. Everybody get that? Kingdom of Lenaria in Volksville, Valley of Krasna. Alright. What you got? Alright, oh, I know what you got. Your stuff's really expensive. Like, you know they're selling alcohol for 125th, the rate you're charging for snake oil, my friend. Oh, is this that guy's head? That's awesome. <laughs> it's the severed head of Marcus Van Houten. 
Sadly, it doesn't look too good separated from his body. I don't know why I laughed. That's probably not the reaction that uh, Raymond was going for. What if it talked to us? I don't take... want to take the hat. Don't you, though? Like, I don't Like, I get maybe putting that in the town. Uh, it's not going to help tourism, I guess, is my issue. That's my thought. Someone's walking by, they're like, Ooh, maybe we could have a bite here in Bulk's. Oh, head on a stick. Maybe not. Let's let's try the next town. Maybe we'll find a McDonald's. Yeah, let's just check out some more of the surrounding areas. Maybe we'll get into our first. Thank you, Kiko. Celebrating the 10th anniversary of Let's Play with Breggins as we the do this. The guard is busy patrolling and doesn't have time to spend talking to you. Besides, you don't want to talk to the law. Because we're a rogue, aren't we? We're a brigand. F Acre Farms. F Acre Farms. You assume there's a farm around here somewhere? Sky looks lovely this time of evening. The woods have become a bit more cultivated here. To the west you can see a farm, and to the north some fallen trees. I would think to the west we could see the town of Volksville. You attempt to pull the axe out of the stump. You just can't seem to pull it out. Well, we're not a fighter. Still trying to figure out what kind of hero or anti-hero our Rome is. Alright, might be time to find out if you can swim there, Romy. Oh, okay. I feel like in a different game that might have been enough to <laughs> drag us under. Ooh. This is... I feel like there's a staff of Arana we can grab somewhere, and she's gonna tell us we need to make some sort of sacrifice by that music. I like the music, though. I don't think we're in a safe part of town. Whoa! You could feel something was amiss when you got here. You prepare for combat. Is that part of his head, or is that a hat? You're going down. Alright. Quest for Infamy. Battle tutorial. It's turn-based. You do... If you don't act in three seconds, your turn will be skipped. Oh, goodness. To act, click the action you'd like to perform. Press the play button to begin the fight. Slash, hack, block, stab. I have no healing potions. Hopefully we can take down this enemy. They seem to have less numbers than we do. That's good. Less numbers is always good. Down it. <laughs> Vomited on me. Damn it! Ah! Oh. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Whether you're getting vomited on or he's just missing. Yeah, again, we're not a fighter. Damn it! Pukedoid. Space Quest 5 style. Oh, that was a big one. Hacking plus Damn one. It. Strangest battle. We got him! Well done! You've defeated yet another foe, solidifying your position as a total badass. I mean, I don't know if we solidified it after one dude. Let's search the body. Searching the corpse reveals some blies, which you pocket. That's seven beers. That's a good night out. Or three and a half for me and Kit. We could split the last one. It could be cute. Maybe taking an execution on our second date? Uh-oh. Well, he was wearing some armor. <laughs> Apparently not enough. Let's check it out. Crikey! His damn head fell right off into the stump. Marcus style. Got to admit, that was equal parts cool <laughs> and gross, as there were still a few rotting tendons holding it on. Yeah. You peer inside and notice an old steel helmet, complete with horns. It's too bad this guy died, because he might have been a badass. I like that everything's in terms of being a badass or not. You take the helm, figuring you could use it better. Clearly, if the man's dead, we could always use it better. 
pop that on? Where do we pop this on? You need to. You need. You need to. You need to. Is the helmet not armor? What's going on here? No helmet. You try with all your might. Can't do anything with it. What do I do with this helmet that fits my head perfectly? You'd, lo you'd love to wear this, but it's too small. Ah. You've got a large head. All right, so we tried. Oh, butterflies. We grab butterfly. Oh, don't climb that tree, dude. You attempt to climb the tree. You don't get far, but you feel that you're getting better. Wait a minute. Hold up. Do we have stats? Oh, we do have stats. We're not specialized yet. Oh yeah, let's specialize. What are our character types? I don't know if we want to get into any more fights at the moment. Infamy 10, right? We were all kinds of respectful to that uh, town magister. I kind of regret that now. Oh, uh, there's our clock. Daytime, evening, nighttime. And we can rest. You have no time to rest right now. Don't we? We have nothing going on. What are you talking about? We literally have nothing going on. You don't on. have any magical ability. All right, rub it in, why don't you? We're, I know we're no casty McSpells, but... Oh, we can sneak. Here we go. Yep, that's the thiefy... The thiefy shuffle, as I always... Or never called it. All right. Might be a good idea, though, considering we almost died from one dude. Oh, our stealth went up by one point. That's exciting. They nailed the Quest for Glory sneak animation. It was as ridiculous then as it is now. Oh, nice, it went up another point. After walking through the forest a bit, you come upon what appears to be the main entrance and foyer of a long abandoned and burnt down mansion. Huh. The place must have been massive! You see it stretch out to both the west and east. To the east, you note there being the ruins of what must once have been a beautiful garden. How can you tell that? It's probably just, like, when you say something was must have once been a beautiful garden, that says to me it's just like, you know, weeds now and dead grass. How can you tell that from that? Let's check and see if there's anything worth salvaging. Man, our stealth is going up fast. I wish it went up this fast when we were a thief. You don't have... Uh, stealth, eight. No wonder it's going up so fast, because we're bad. Oh, thievery, five. I didn't even see that stat before. Yes, I want to be a thief. I just decided. You place your hand in the chimney. Wait, there's something in there. You can feel a loose brick and... Ah! Wasps! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you just put your hand in a wasp's nest. They were definitely stinging you. That was almost <laughs> as bad as the time your legs fell asleep in Swart's cart. Uh, I love that. They were definitely stinging you, bro. <laughs> Did my health go down at all? No, we're fine. Good thing we're not allergic. Are there more wasps in there? That can't you be. You place your hand... Ah! Oh, wow, okay. You just put your... You just put your hand in a wasp nest. Mate. I like the music in this game. Whatever it is you're trying to... Don't seem to be working. I don't see anything else worth interfacing with. Let's check out this... Used to be an amazing garden. Whatever it is... This must have been someone's pride and joy once. A large hand-carved fountain and reflecting pool is now filled with green, scummy water and overgrown aquatic plants. To the north, you see a path and a cemetery beyond. I have to check that out. There's no way in hell you're going to drink any of that water. Drink. No time to sit around. You try with all your might. There's no... There's no... Imagine if Quest for Glory always had like a little pop-up that shows you every time like a stat went up one point. <laughs> Just be constant depending on what you were doing. 
we got here? Here lies Edith. Here lies my poor wife, much lamented. She is happy, and I am contented. Ronald Blake was hanged by mistake. His words. Shed a tear for Jimmy Brown, poor Jimmy is no more. For what he thought was H2O was H2SO4. Yeah, that'd be a problem. The graveyard is sc Here lies Johnny Yeast. Pardon me for not rising. But a bunch. Sir Alistair Strange. Here lies an honest lawyer. <laughs> and that is strange. Here, Delia is buried at fourscore, when young, a lewd, rapacious whore. Vain and expensive, but when old, a pious, sordid, drunken scold. Here lies an atheist, all dressed up and nowhere to go. Huh. Yeah, I suppose so. This grave holds the remains of Stephen. I told you it wasn't a rash. The ultimate told you so. Death. Martha Dias. Here lies the body of Martha Dias, who was always uneasy and not over pious. She lived to the age of three score and ten and gave to the worms what she Gravity. refused to the men. The graveyard is. Alright. So we're the zombie and we have to fight. Sturdy. Yep. It's definitely the door to the crypt. And it's def. Hmm. What kind of a thief doesn't have a thief kit? Maybe we're not a thief. We're definitely not a fighter. We don't know any spells. What are we? Just a loser. <laughs> oh well. Oh wow. Burning the midnight oil there, eh, buddy? Greetings, sir! Grave digger, do you have a property? Oh, you're busy. There's always time to chat. No one here's going anywhere. Grave diggers always have that sort of sense of humor. No one wants to talk about Kit with me. Well, I'm fine. You can call me Bud, too. It's the name I like the best. Well, this is the valley's graveyard. Lots of graves here, and some tombs, and crypts. There's an old caretaker's and funeral home here, but no one's used it in years. This is like a perpetual, super angry face. Just very disgusted and disappointed with you face. He's like saying to his, his wife of like 57 years, he's like, I love you. Or he's just got that scowl. It's a nice old place, but it's sorely run down. It was the old caretaker's place. Don't know now how long it'll stay standing. People think it's haunted. Beautiful chapel in there. <laughs> well, some of the bigger ones belong to rich families of the town. And to your, I guess. Well, I, well, the Killingtons for one. It's on the east side. Big tomb. Can't miss it. I'll have to check that out. There's a sad story there. Father, old Jarvis, went nuts, they say. He burnt down the house with the whole family inside. Some say he killed everyone before he lit the fire. Some say he locked them in, and everyone burned alive. Killington. Whatever happened to that poor family? I don't know. I don't want, I think. Heard that. Well, it was a pleasure talking with you, sir. Don't be a stranger, but also don't be making me bury you. I'm not keep you employed. All right, let's take a look at some more of these graves. <laughs> no one's questioned the way I'm walking. Know what went wrong? <laughs> the statue of an angel. It is stone and has wings like angels do. Did it just move a little when you blinked? Don't blink. Blink and you're dead. Don't turn your back. Don't look away. 
and don't blink. And the floor is lava. Here I sit, broken hearted, came to shit, instead I departed. <laughs> instead you crapped out, it's more like it. <laughs> Rome. Minion Mikey dared ask why. For this small sin, he surely died. This tomb was obviously for someone very important. Killington? Leave the tomb alone, dumbass. What? Wasn't expecting to be called a dumbass by the narrator, alright. Is... <laughs> Peter Shady regrets swimming with the lake lady. Ah... I can you say no to the Zolka, though. I don't this graveyard him. is sufficiently creepy. This grave, this grave. All right, let's see if we can't find that Killington tomb. Oh, okay. There's the. Uh, what he's talking about. Because in no way is this abandoned house inside the graveyard creepy. You open the door and enter. Explorer. <laughs> Either a total the badass smell of or a total dumbass. And mold hits That's you right. right in the face as you enter the old mansion. You see that it's quite dilapidated. You also see the door to the chapel past the broken stairs. Why do I feel a King's Quest Four moment coming on at some point? Having to dig up the graves and find the prized possession of each ghoul to give them eternal peace. Their tormented souls. Ooh, that still scares me, but imagine me playing that game when I was, you know, five or whatever I was. That scared the crap out of me. This is a beautiful carved wooden pulpit. It looks to be in remarkable shape considering how everything else looks in this place. Yeah, it's true. Let's give a sermon. Oh, let's open it up. Oh, I should probably do a, uh... Father, Son, Holy... Hold on, I gotta do it fresh. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. What? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Open! That's how we did it at Catholic school. You rub your hands all over yourself like a showgirl. You think about an alternative career. Oh. Up, up, down, down, left, right? I don't know. Stealth's going up, I know that. Yeah, probably more watched Quest, or King's Quest 4, but it still scared the bejesus out of me. That one scene. The whole game's kind of creepy, actually. I don't suppose I can get up those you stairs, try with can I? The stairs are out, so you can't get to it. But what would you do with it if you got there? Depends what's up there, narrator. Depends what's up there. What's our stealth at by now? 17. You Beef break inch. the broken mirror a little more, <laughs> because why not? We're a total badass. It's just what we do. Is that clock still going, by the way? Don't know where it was last time I checked. We you rest. have no time. You can't sleep right. Now, what important things we have to do. They haven't really, like... There's no, you know, overarching quest or anything. We started the game by almost banging a Baron's daughter, and we ran away. That's... There's not anyone trying to take over the world, as far as I know. We're just trying to get some. This really is a massive graveyard. Rows upon rows of tombstones with the occasional large tomb breaking the monotony. A hell of a lot of people have died in Volksville. Live too. This really... They just like ran out of funny, uh, witty little uh, this epitaphs. This really... Alright, so this must be the Killington's tomb. At first glance, it looks just like an ordinary stone door. But when you really gaze at it, there seems to be something different about it. Alright. 
Looking closer, you see a shallow indentation on the door in the shape of a shield. Damn it, we still need a shield. Try as you might. Yeah, I haven't found one either. You try with all... You play around with it, you play... As long as you played around with it. All right. Second reason to find a shield. Wait, did we go to the... Right back there? Did I try going to the right? Alright, the path didn't go anywhere. This really. Alright. So we'll find a shield, and that will presumably open that Killington's tomb. Maybe we'll find out some truth as to what happened. Oof. It's a sad story. Alright. looks ridiculous. Especially when he's like coming in from the back. Coming to the foreground, just that, that thiefy shuffle. No time. Again, I don't think we have anything to do. Nothing pressing. Nothing urgent. Probably won't get another fight if we uh, keep... Sneaking everywhere. Hello, gentlemen. Doing some fishing? Hello there. Bah! I didn't see you there. Rattle! Been messing with this net for the last hour. Yeah? Isn't that pond a little small for the net? Aye, it is. But I lost me pole just a bit earlier. Biggest catfish I'd ever seen hopped up and ate the bait and hook hole. Took off. Yanked the pole right out of me hand. Well, that's unfortunate. Sure is. It's me livelihood. That were the best pole I ever had. Who knows where that demon fish took it. You sure it's a demon fish, not just a strong fish? That beard looks fake, by the way, Brattle. I know that's a rude thing to say to you, considering I don't know you that well, but... They are crafty creatures. What are you talking about? They're as stupid as a pile of rocks. That one's just lucky. <laughs> what can you sell me? How much you charge for these? What? His fish... All right, his rations only cost four blies. I spent six on what I get, like meat and potatoes or something. Yeah, give me some fish. You have purchased a deck. Nice. You have purchased right. an old fishing net. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, whatever. We got a net. We'll go fishing. You know what they say? Give a man, sell a man a fish. He's fed for a day. Teach a man to fish, or at least sell him a net, and don't teach him anything about how to use it. And maybe it'll work out. That's the uh, brigands' version of that. You've got nothing to gain by dunking that in the pond, genius. It's better than the dumbass he dropped on us earlier. So this is our time to choose our class. Surprise says to me. Well, I should right. be silly at fixing it. Not my job. That's true, especially when you can like easily walk over it. But something tells me in an adventure game, we're going to drown. The only way to take this bridge is to walk over it. <laughs> it's really not that far, Rome. Come on, man. All right. You know your limitations better than I do. Oh, is this person back? We can like. Oh, all right. Whatever. But we can still check in on a lot of these people now. And Whatever it is. We have, like, sunset conversations with them now, too. It's a different time in the day cycle. We should probably go see our drinking buddy at the tavern. Any excuse to talk to Kit again. Let's see. Did time pass at all? No, it did not. Considering we've been walking around, that's impressive. I don't know if it's like an actual day-night cycle like in Quest for Glory, or if it's more event-driven, if you know what I mean. 
Yeah, let's go to the tavern. What am I doing looking at graves and fish? All right, David Blaine. Who's this street magician all dressed in black? Oh, what, mate? What can I do for you? Uh, I don't know. What do you do, Ober? Fun. Well, the tavern is about as lively as we get around here. There you go. There's a farmer's market off in the corner of town. All kind of people hang out there. Probably not at night. There's the regulars, but occasionally travels show up to showcase the little oddities and all that. Well, this is it. A sweet little town to call home. Okay. I didn't see you earlier in my rounds of Volksville. The name's Ober. And this is Costigan. Hi, Costigan. <laughs> God. Oh, Gorf's a prat. If he ever pesters me, it's usually for a blight to get a sausage or something. I just hand him one to shut him up. He gives it out worse to others in town, though. Frankly, I think he's dumb enough to get himself hurt or killed soon enough. I'm sure we met Gorp, but I just... I don't remember. Right. Nice to meet you, friend. Good luck in your travels. Thanks, Ober. I pissed in that earlier. <laughs> I didn't mean to go that way. No. Trying to get pissed. To the tavern. Oh, I think we can cut through here, can't we? Actually. There we are. Oh, yeah. Gotta save before we enter the tavern, because who knows how this night will end. That sun's gonna be... Come on yeah. over. Have a pint. All right, Statham slash Kurt. Duh, duh. <sighs> Look at this fella. He looks too handsome to enjoy a drink. What's that supposed to mean? It's the weirdest thing I think I've ever heard in my life. What does that even mean? <laughs> yeah, let's get him some apple juice. Shut up, turd. I'll take some milk. <laughs> I'll take some From milk. your mother's breast, again. Oh! I always go back for a second. Oh, with the again. Just rolled it off. That little just eh, animation right there. Now bust your lip for that, mate. I just killed something outside of town. I don't think you want to talk to me like that, turd. Shut up. You'd piss yourself trying. <laughs> All right, Chase. He's a good guy. Boys, this is Mr. Rome. Rome, meet the boys. Not sure why Kurt's taking such a liking to me. I don't know that we were. All right. Oh, gentlemen. We're just having a few pints. Please join us. Sounds good. Why don't we have some fun? You up for a drinking contest? Always. I was gonna say no. I'm always up for a contest. And I'm always up for a drinking. Sounds good to me. But never at the same time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to leave. Splendid. All right, the rules are... Drink these pints until you can't drink no more. Okay. Prepare to change your religion, sir. Simple enough rule. Yes, prepare to change your religion. Drink up or give up. Uh, drink up. I mean, I don't advise you to play along at home, but I'm gonna sort of try. <laughs> A bad idea. Oh, the cursor is getting all wonky. Oh no! Better keep this on the left side. <laughs> this is amazing. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's getting so difficult to control! They thought I wouldn't notice. Still kind of make that out. Go, 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 go. Drink, drink, drink. All right, I can still kind of see that. Yes! Oh no. They look exactly the same. They're like at the same height, too. That's not cool. That's literally the same thing. Drink would have had one more letter. I don't know, I'm pretty pissed right now. I'm gonna say it's the one on the right. 
Does anyone know for sure? <laughs> I think you've had enough. I guess that was drink. I win, right? <laughs> and then he just sneaks like nothing happened. Hey, Kit, did you see me? How about that, huh? How I'm a lonely bartender in a... Alright, nothing new there. Damn it, Kit. Alright. Well, after all that drinking, I could use a drink. One Jolly Rogering ale, if you please. Here you go, mate. Give me a bligh and we're even. You pay her and begin to sip your drink. It's as refreshing as you hoped it would be. The least I could do after all that. That was insane. Six or seven of these and you might get... We just... Yeah, we're as giddy as a Lumerian whore at this point. Oh. Why don't we have some fun? You what? Are for a drink. I'm always up for a contest. Splendid. Does Prepare that mean I quit it? All right. I'm not matching it this time. That was insane. I guess I clicked the wrong one. I don't get it. Like, you're just guessing at that point because they're literally the same. There's no other indication. I guess the D is a little bit higher than the G. I like that we're immediately sober again. A <laughs> Lemayan horror. <laughs> yeah, it would be irresponsible for me to try to match our hero. I've forgotten his name, but I'm going to blame it on the Jolly Roger and Ale. Alright, that's still very clear. You can still clearly see that that I think you- No! Cursor! Curses. And <laughs> he just- Man, I wish it were that easy for me. Just shake my head. Alright, I'm good to go. Why don't we have- I'm always prepared. <laughs> no sense, but whatever. Yeah, don't- don't play along at home at this point. We'll get back on, uh, normal drinking rules track after this. Still going. Like, it's... It's literally 50-50 at this point. I clicked right last time. My, that left one might be a bit lower. Yeah, all right. I think we got it. I yield. <laughs> I yield. You could drink like a fish. Damn. Damn. Thank you. Sad Jason Statham. I try. I try. <laughs> you know, you just might be the kind of guy we could use. In the Thieves Guild? He kind of looks like a more of an Eternal Order of Fighters kind of what guy. Do you do? Well, we're businessmen. Sounds like a Thief Guild to me. What do you sell? Body order? Right. Be, be nice, Ron. <laughs> No, we procure items that need to be yes. liberated. Oh, you've come to the right man. Gotcha. Obviously, you don't use that gins or a touch of yours. No, <laughs> our targets are usually much larger than mere thievery. The bank? I'm interested. Go on. Well, I'll need you to do something for us. You know, to prove your worth. That sounds like a job interview. Only much more physical. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in this thieving job for work. Or to work. I do want work. Give me a thieving job. You might say that. I'll get to the point. There's a beast that lives just outside of town. It's some kind of weird mutation or someone's creation. Okay. I don't give a crap. 
All I know is that its teeth are made of pure silver. Huh. Silver teeth. Silver teeth, eh? Sounds like a child. I want you to kill the beast, cut out its teeth, and get them to us. Yeah, I guess I couldn't steal the teeth without the beast realizing it. That's like, <laughs> that's the kind of job only Fifi could pull off. <laughs> Do you want me to cut the teeth out of its head and give them to you? That's grim. That's grim. Yeah, but I also need the teeth melted down. I can't trade teeth to people. <laughs> Too suspicious. You up for it? What do you think the beast is gonna come after them and find out? Hey, hey you got my teeth, don't you? Path of the Brigand. Oh my God, the stars have finally aligned on this channel on the 10-year anniversary. Yes, I will follow the path of the brigand. It's just, it's just meant to be. Sure, I can do that. That's incredible. Here, take this. It'll heal you if the beast smacks you down some. I'm so happy right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm down in my glass right now. Thanks. That should be fun. Fun. Excellent. I'll see you back here. Good luck, friend. All right, there you go. Here's a boost over the wall. I'll be back in the tavern. Meet me there when you've got the silver. So you're doing the hard job, are you, Kurt? <laughs> Getting drinks from uh, Kit, my lady. They close the gate at night. Look at there. Ah, oh, it's the same climbing animation too. I'm just curious. What's my climbing at? Fifteen. It's like it's very limited stats, but it's all the ones I'm looking for every time. Thieving, stealth. Climbing, they're all right there. Mystical power, that's odd. We definitely don't have that. Nothing mystical about us. You can't make it over the gate. You feel- Our climbing went up by one point. You oh look, up. that's enough to get over the gate. You nice. climb over- I like the music box kind of chimey music right here for nighttime, that's nice. Let's enjoy this night sky. The sky looks nice and clear, which is good, because you hate inclement weather. Hard to be thieving or ripping silver teeth out of a beast. That way. Mm, ambient water sounds. I like that the birds have been replaced by bats here at night. I know I'm not like a full-fledged brigand yet, but like, I don't know. Thieving kit would have been nice. You are carrying one. Yo, potion, nice right there. Taking care of me a little bit. The door is locked. Ah, oh, I want to break in there so bad. What do we got here? Fish? Bend well, they... down and pick up the fish. Something tells me we couldn't grab one you of play these. Play around with it, but nothing seems to happen. Play around with the fish. It's kind of Tim Burton-y, that music, actually. Good call. Suddenly, the oddest and largest beast crashes out of the forest. You don't know what the hell it is, but you prepare for battle. So much for- Oh my god, what the hell is this? That's like a Five Nights at Freddy's Nightmare. What the hell is that thing? It's got big claws. Can we run? It's got more health than we do. It kicked us. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm too drunk for this. I've had like Damn 17 it. drinks. Damn oh my it. god. Damn it! I love that move of the beast. Damn it! Can he 
need to get a freaking tetanus shot after this. Six. Good lord. Well done. You've defeated yet another foe, solidifying your position as a total badass. Damn it. Beastmaster, all right. Brigand slash Beastmaster. Beast is carrying nothing. Suck. Uh, auto saves on the beast. I feel like we should down this healing potion now. What are we at? 12 of 40, yeah, we gotta pound this thing. You drink the healing potion. It's smooth and silky, but tastes like rotten flowers. Nevertheless, you feel better. How better? 20 points better. Alright. Here we go. Just compulsively saving now, now that we don't have a healing potion. Oh, uh, there's our old friend, the, uh, the corpse. Oh, it's our old friend, the bot. So is this the beast we were looking for, actually? I, can I cut its head off? Oh, there we go. Give you me them teeth. your sword and cut off his head. Good look, I drank. All right. Do I have a head in my pants now? I do. You cut the teeth out of the skull. Nice. It takes a minute, and it's really ghoulish. You're the world's worst dentist. You now <laughs> have a set of blood-stained but pure silver teeth. Cool. How do we, like, melt these down? Is that part of the deal? What's up, Joe? Alright, we got the teeth. <laughs> do I have a head in my pants now? Well, I can't speak for real. I don't know, maybe he'll explain to me what to do with the teeth. Marcus's head still just hanging out there. You climb up. What else can it do? Can I like melt it down at the blacksmith's place? That f I remember they said the fire was going. You always out here, David Blaine? Hello there. Oh, mate. What? Yeah, same old stuff. Nice to meet you. Right. I killed a beast while I was out. Not bragging, just saying. Might have been up here, actually. <laughs> Get it together, bot. Oh, nice. Here we go. And he's open late. What luck. Nice night, eh? Nice night for teeth, Melton. Yes, it is. Clear night. Always is after an arm has been executed. Really? Is there some meteorological rule that I should be made Nasty of? Nasty business. It certainly is. How can I help you? Well, Smith, I got me some teeth, and I need them melted down. No, I can't melt those. Something seems fishy about all of this. What? What are you talking about? You're above melting teeth? You watched a man get his head cut off. What's the difference? What? Oh, he's got better stuff, by far. Throwing blade. Ceremonial dagger. I took it over. I found it. I didn't even make it. I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't made anything yet, and I'm afraid the townspeople are going to find me out. You've got to help me. Leather armor. Can't afford it. Can't afford it. Spikes. Heavy chain. Wow. Wow. I bet you could let it go for less than that. I bet I could steal it from you, so I'm going to hold off. Yo, mate, I'll melt my own teeth. 
You have no need to put that in the forge. Well, how am I going to frickin' melt it? Got this sweet helmet, by the way. What do you think of this? You have no reason to give... You have no need to put that in the forge. Well, shoot. It's so weird that, like, it gave us the option to talk to him about melting the teeth. But... But he would not melt it himself. Don't like have anything to like. I could see like maybe we need to put it in. Can we put on like the helmet and like melt you it ourselves? You place the beast's teeth into the helm. Is that like something I could do with like multiple items? All right. So now we can like melt the helmet. We probably just needed to like put it in. This. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. You're about to put the helm into the forge when you realize you're not a total moron. <laughs> you're just a dumb. You burn your hand without something to hold the helm with. Oh. Good point. You have no reason. Do you have something I can like? How can I help you? Uh, uh... No, I can't melt those. Something seems fishy about all of this. Okay. Well. Goodbye, stranger. I do hope your time in our town is a pleasant one. be more pleasant if you'd melt my teeth. Honestly. It's a... Oh. Well, I tried. Let's see what our, uh, our buddy has to say to us. Our old drinking pal. Let's see why I need to melt the teeth. Here, you they're in no hell. reason to give that. They got the teeth he wants. You have no reason to talk to Kurt. You should be trying to get him what he asked for. What do you think I'm doing? Oh, they have rations as well for five gold. Yeah. He's a big Goodbye, sir You quickly slip the pint glass into your cloak You'll never know when you'll need one Alright So we're kind of a thief She was looking right at us, but whatever well, That's something Can I move the teeth into the glass? Not that that's like any better We can like kind of hold the handle though you can't. Where are the helmets where those teeth are meant to go? No, yeah, I don't know. So you're gonna say that it has this, teeth in it? This helmet is awesome and horny. It is also horny full of silver teeth. What? In Volksville, there's a sound. Where the girls are hot prison. Hello? I... As you begin to speak, the town drunk decides it's time to leave. But we can talk. Hmm. I think we should follow this guy. Do you get do you see the town drunk? Can I piss right in front of this guy? You, like a vagrant, decide to urinate in the cauldron. He's fucking right at way us. Of saying, I was here. Okay. Hello there. He's, what, he's, mate? What? Did you watch me piss? Nice All to right. meet you. Hmm. Maybe the blacksmith wants a mug. Stealth's gotta be pretty good right now, yeah. I'm assuming 50 is the limit in Quest for Glory, or 100, I should say. We're halfway there, in true Quest for Glory style. 
Hey man, want this sweet mug from the tavern? You have no reason to give that to the blacksmith. All right you then. No, there must be a better way to accomplish. There must. That doesn't that... seem to do anything. Why do you, you walk over there? Old, then? You try. You what? should wait until the blacksmith can't see you. To do what? Whatever you're trying, you should wait until. On something here. Do you want the mug horse? You can't give whatever that does. There must. You should wait until. Is he gonna like turn away or something? Oh yeah. What was that noise? Uh, distraction. Okay. I'm on board. Oh, and there he's got his tongs. Okay. Okay, go. you got the blacksmith to go investigate the noise. Now what? Now this. <laughs> Walking around. You pick up the tongs. You had better use them quickly as the blacksmith could return at any moment. Fair point. Let's save in, a, in the original roam slot. All right, tong on the you helmet. Grab the helm with the tong. There we go. Melt them teeth. You hold the steel helm over the flames. Awesome. Soon the silver melts into a pool of silver. You quickly remove the helm. You quickly cool the helm and silver down in the bucket of water. The helm cracks in two and the silver sinks to the bottom of the barrel. Get those teeth. You silver. take the plunge and reach into the barrel. While you now have the silver disc, you also have a wet arm. You look like you either pissed yourself or don't know how to wipe. Nice job, fool. Why would a wet arm look like I pissed myself? Who pisses on their arm? I go in a barrel, sir. Or a pot. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I just peed out there. Does this guy want these back? Is that going to be like a big deal? Is this like executing offense level right here? I saved. I'm just going to walk away with the tongs. See if he does anything. You should probably finish whatever you would... Fine, put the tongs back. You place the tongs... Saint Rome. Alright, I got you. Silver. Invokes the... Oh, we're gonna be a brigand! Sit down... Where the girl... It's a woman with a hooey that I love. I just hear Malcolm Corley right there. All right. There you go, man. Ha <laughs> ha You cheeky bastard. You did it. Yes, I did. Come on. Did you expect anything less than a man who bested you in a drinking contest? <laughs> oh, the third time's the charm. You're damn right. You might just be the kind of lad we need to join our crew. Sweet. If you're interested, we've got a lot going on right now. I can promise you plenty of adventure and plenty of booty, if you know what I mean. Booty? All right. We're like hanging out with Kit, or what's going on? Well, judging by this sausage party gathered here tonight, <laughs> yeah. I only assume you mean valuable goods. Ha! Right you are. The whoring comes later. <laughs> the whoring. I got a lot to show you and a lot to teach you. I think this is going to be the start of a beautiful friendship. All right, Kurt. It's a you spend a few hours with Kurt, who helps you refine the way you handle yourself in battle. Nice. You'll be able to kick even more ass now. So do we steal or do we kick ass? I don't... What are, what are, we, what are we doing? Yay! Okay, my good man. Why don't you find yourself a room at the inn? Old okay. Kiss will take care of you. Just don't go sniffing around Ina. If you know what's good for you. Where's the end? I'll catch up with you in the morning. Come find me in the forest. The forest? I'll be just to the west of the bridge where old Bridle keeps his canoes. Wait, the bridge? I can't go to the west of the bridge. The bridge is out. Okay. I'll look for you tomorrow. Hmm. Basher, you're a brigand. All right. Sweet. You're a brigand. All right. Get a screenshot of that right there. Put that on a plaque. Put that in the intro. All right. Kit, don't know if you heard, but big news, I, you have nothing new to say. All right, well, whatever. Welcome to the Jolly Roger Inn. I Sounds fine. Well, it better. Should 
She doesn't have a lot of competition, but she is uh, certainly the best looking lady we've come across here. Is this the end? What's the point of walking up those stairs? What? Uh, all right, I'm up here. It's exciting. It's like George Lucas for some reason, or one of the guys that worked it. He's got weird red eyes. He's like one of the guys from the credits of uh, the credit scene of the first Quest for Glory. All right, what time is it? Still early. Where's the inn? That's what I'm saying, Joe. It's the bank. I still don't have a thief kit or anything. Alright, I don't know what you're doing. He looks like the blacksmith has given up when he's coming back. <laughs> You've been looking that whole time? Because of like a broken glass sound? <laughs> Literally the most gullible man in all of Volksville. This door is pretty. What you play? Where's the inn, bro? I said I'd been everywhere in this town. There's the apothecary. The door. That'd be a good place for a for an inn. You'd knock on the door. No. I don't know if Brigand is meant to be fighter. I thought that was more of the thief track. But he says we're better at fighting. If we're more of a badass, then we don't need to worry about sneaking, I would say. What's back there? Kind of wondering. The door. Seems like there's a lot of places to steal from in this town, so that's cool. Assuming we can do it. <laughs> oh, here it is. I, Why did I, this did not seem I, like a place I, we could go. You don't need to talk to him. And you, and you know. Why a dirty, smelly, and rather unpleasant. Alright, he's annoying. Uh, get, get off the screen. Alright, yeah, let's crash. What a quaint and lovely place. You actually bet the rooms and beds are nice here, for a change. Oh, apparently the thief track is called the Rogues. And the Mentor, was that that guy playing dice? So we're not a thief, we're more of like a fighter, I guess. But Brigand suggests to me that like, that's more of like a thief, I would think. But Rogue makes sense. Alright. Well, I would rather be a thief, but I can't not be a Brigand. It's just... You know, it's my DNA, so. This is a nice inn. Hello. <laughs> you Hello, see where... stranger. All right. Inna, at the inn. Hey. Nice toaster. <laughs> Smooth. Thanks. Nice beard. All right. I grew it myself. <laughs> I bet you did. I bet you did. I mean, kit and all, but Inna? Uh, should we go straight forward? I feel like we gotta do a little bit of chatting first. Pa bought this in years ago, when I was little, and I've lived here most of my life. I clean and take care of the guests. Do you now? I bet you do. I bet you do. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? I was suggesting something pretty suggestive, but... Vokesville right. is very quiet, but I like it here. I go down to tear with Pa every few months, but I love my home. All classes are probably thief to some degree. That's true. I don't like Rayford. I know people say he's good for the village, but I think he's a bad man. Rayford, a bad man? My pa is the greatest. He takes such good care of me and this inn. I miss her. Oh, sad. All right, here we go. Fingers crossed. I suppose he'd be interested in meeting me for a drink at a pub later. Huh? No. She isn't interested. Damn it, Kessel. No one's asking you. Oh, fair enough then. Can't blame a guy for asking. No, you can't. 
I totally would. But Pa would break your legs if I went with you. Hmm. We'll have to figure something out, won't Good we? Good lord, you're gonna get me killed. <laughs> I mean, the Baron's daughter didn't. <laughs> Maybe. But it's a good time, though, isn't it? <laughs> I, probably, yeah. No, suppose no. No, I could look. <laughs> All right. Well, Inna is definitely well, on the I was radar. Talking to you, Inna. Inna. Oh, such a gentleman. All right. Who we got here? Looks like a paleontologist. Who's this guy? Well, hello, young fellow. How are you? Ned King. I'm above ground. It's a start. Indeed. Can I help you? I don't know how to fight. <laughs> oh, you like a tutorial guy? So, you want to know about skills? That's a pretty exciting topic, so I'm glad you asked. You can check out your skills on your character sheet, which at the I time know time how to do that. Is the statistic That's so sort of all the statistics were final. I hope Hold on. So you can check out your, the left side of your ca on the right side are the skills I'll talk about here. Climbing is self-explanatory. Stealth is your ability to sneak around and not be heard. You raise oh. this by simply sneaking around. So I shouldn't Although even bother sneaking class, anymore. Thievery is your ability to steal shit or to pick locks. The more you pick those locks or steal, the better at it you become. Okay. Again, though, only rogues can raise this above 50. So we can still steal, we just can't... You know, we can't get to thiefy level. That's okay. Not trying to be the next thiefy. Uh, I know that's mystical impossible power task. Is the All the statistics rise on a sliding scale. So at first it might only take a couple of attempts to raise your skill level. Finally, there's infamy. The more you undertake tasks in this game, the more infamy you gain. This is very important later in the game, because if you've gained enough infamy, you'll get more help in your final tasks. I hope that was some help. If you need to know about combat or the creature, got any tips for uh, getting around Ina's dad? Well, I travel from land to land looking for new species of animals. I catalog them all, and then I publish my findings. I have several books in print. Bet you do. Meta King. Well, it was nice talking with you. All right, let's talk to Kessel. Hello there, stranger. Ugh. Hello there, innkeeper. Kessel's my name. This, as you may have guessed, is my inn. Nice. Nice inn. Lovely. Head. Love the view. <laughs> I do my best, and I promise the rooms are cozy. Excellent. Hi, Ke Hello, sir. Yep. She's my daughter, and don't think I don't know what she looks like. Yeah. I've been growing a goiter since the day she passed into womanhood, and every man in this town has been sniffing after her. Yeah, but, you know, I'm, I'm a brigand. I'm not like other guys. I keep an old hickory stick back here, just in case I have to crack a skull. Can she make her own decisions there, Kessel? Excellent choice of protection. Oi, <laughs> thank you. Just say, sir, for safety's sake, that I hope I don't have to smack you upside the head for betraying my trust and good nature. <laughs> I sort of not. But let's say that if you had to, I'd know I deserved it, and I'd take the licking like a man. Huh. Of course, you know, I'd beat you till you're dead, sir. There you go. Doesn't mince words. <laughs> I don't enjoy beatings that lead to death. For her... <laughs> it might be worth it. Uh, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna be all pervy in front of her dad. I don't enjoy beatings that lead to death. I'm gonna take the high road. <laughs> not many people do. You think I'm kidding when I say I'll bash you for taking advantage of Ina? <laughs> no, <laughs> sir. Ha! <laughs> what a tough old prick he is. The only thing harder and more stubborn is my old hickory stick. Thanks, Gogo. Yep, she's my dog. I've been like excellent. I, That's all. I, I guess we could do both choices. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it might be worth it. Despite what I just said. You're a funny bastard. Oh, okay. Well, I love this town. 
lived here all my life. So did my folks. Father used to be a woodcutter, but I said, screw that. Don't feel like swinging an axe all day. I couldn't even get one out of the stump I passed earlier. So now, I take care of travellers when they come in, and I feed people. It's not a bad life. Okay. Well, when I came to own in this building, it had been some kind of adventurous guild in Mead Hall. It was a wreck, really. Apparently, the adventurers around here were really more of just a bunch of lying drunks. Great stories, but they couldn't take care of shit. I'd like a room, please. Nothing too shabby, but nothing so uncomfortable. Why, sure. So I guess you don't want to be staying in the stable, I take it? Ah, yes, yes. We have fine rooms here. My daughter Ina will make it up for you. That's reasonable as hell. Five flies a week. Five boys. You can start a tab if you like. Yeah, that sounds fine. Well, your room is up Lord. the stairs, down the hall on the left. You're in the deer suite. It's decorated with boars. Ah, I'm kidding, of course. I could have five beers, or I could stay at this place for a whole week. What Good happened Lord. there? I'd like to say it was something clever, but really, I just got drunk one night and thought it was funny. Now I'm too ashamed to go back on my own joke. <laughs> like a man with conviction. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Anyway, we serve dinner here just before sundown, so if you want to be eating with us, just wander it around that time. Lovely. We have a few regulars that like to come in and eat, so there's plenty of people to chat with if that's your thing. Chatting is my thing. Eating is not my thing in my experience, but chatting, certainly. Uh, that'll save us some rations, too. We should try to make Thank a you. point to do that. Okay. You be having a good night, okay, Mr. Rowan? Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Kessel. And, uh, you know, you were going to show me to my room? All right. I guess I can, uh... Give up the sneaking now. I should go back to running. It's more of a brigand move, apparently, in this game. Whatever it is. Not a bad room, gotta say. Stayed in a lot of, uh, a lot of inns in my adventure gaming days. This one's not bad. Top half. After a long, hard day, you <sighs> Man, I wish I could pass out that night. easy. <laughs> Creep after her in front of her dad. Meanwhile... Uh-oh! What do we got? Master, the beast has been slain. My pet! Who's done this? Oh, is that the thing I killed? A stranger, it appears. Got that bastard's teeth. <sighs> Contact our friend in town. This one may be trouble. A weird cult operating near town? What's going on with that? All right. Stuck You're in the middle. Starving. You should go downstairs and get some breakfast from Ina. Yes, breakfast is what we want from Ina. Whatever it is. What's in that room? Well, you certainly think Kessel and Ina keep a cozy inn. The place is comfy enough. You've stayed in worse places for certain. That's what I'm saying. Well. All right. All right. We are back. About to start Quest for Infamy. Uh, I guess officially, you know, or a newly minted brigand now. It's our second day here in Volksville, and, uh, yeah, let's head on out. We're in the inn hey, right sir, now. There's a note here for you. Kessel. Kessel and Ina's inn. The note reads, Rowan, meet me outside of town, just past the bridge where old Brattle keeps his canoes. Kurt. Kurt is the man who made us a brigand, so... He's our buddy. Jason Statham, I think we kept calling him. And you'll see why if you haven't been watching. Good morning, sir. <laughs> good morning, sir. We have options here. <laughs> is it a good morning, Kessel? I don't think Rome is the kind of guy who's like, yes, it is. 
Good morning, Kessel. I think it's more of a... <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. If you wanted some breakfast, just sit down and Ina will serve you. Oh, I forgot about Ina. How could you forget about Ina? Thank you, my good man. You'll see why in a second. You sit down at the table. Love the narration. Here's your meal, Mr. Rowan, sir. All right, Ina. Looks lovely. Thank you, dear. You wolf down all the food and give a proper belch. I'm sure she appreciated that. Hello, and Mr. Rowan. Anything new to talk to Ina about? I probably wouldn't know since it's been so long since I did the last episode. I think we got a stern warning from her dad when we did that, but let's do it again. I suppose you'd be interested in meeting me for a drink at a pub later. Maybe things have changed. Maybe he's had a complete change of heart after one night. I like that look for him, for Kessel. No, she isn't interested. You're right there. You're not in a closet. Oh, fair enough then. Can't blame a guy for asking. Oh well. No, you can't. I totally would, but Pa would break your legs if I went with you. Yeah. Good lord, you're gonna get me killed. Again. <laughs> Maybe, but it's a good time though, isn't it? <laughs> it's harder without the legs though. All right. Well, it was lovely talking to you, you know. Oh, such a gentleman. All right. Anything new, Castle? Hey, Castle. Hello, sir. Eh, probably nothing new. All right. You be having a good night, okay, Mr. Rowan? Goodbye. It's morning, Kessel. Are you all right? Kurt didn't smack you well, around, did he? hello, young fellow. How are you? I think we met this guy last night. Neto I'm above King. ground. It's a start. Maybe not. Indeed. Can I help you? I don't know. All right, he's the tutorial guy. Well, it was nice to... I think I'll figure it out. Thanks, man. Oh, Mr. Rowan, tonight's the town market. There's a performance by the street performers. It's usually very, very wonderful. You shouldn't miss it. It's usually very wonderful, Sounds Mr. Rowan. Lovely. See you there. Yeah, we'll be there. Sounds fun. Do you have a dancing kata named Shima? Perhaps. All right, so we get... Oh. As you walk into the courtyard this morning, you see a group of men in green robes. Second pair of legs up there. And a lady in a rather there. revealing outfit. It's like her legs go all the way from here to up here. Legs for days. But the embrace of Ta, the god of power, is the path that will save you. How'd you do that? In his becoming, you will be realized as new beings. Beings of power, beings of experience. And he shall protect the righteous and loyal in the time of the great darkness. I see she went with option B for the, uh, the uniform. I'm glad she did. Those of you who would give of themselves to a greater power and a wiser path, step forward and be anointed. We shall bond together and rise anew. Coming in hot, cult leader. The woman scans the crowd and her eyes fall directly on you. Yeah, they do. He's like the Templars or something? Broken sword? Anyone check that out? And you, sir. I can see that you are a soul in search of something. What gave it away? A pot to piss in or a warm body? Well, aren't we all? In search of a warm body. Of course you seek those earthly pleasures. Who does not? Who does not like the feel of flesh against their flesh? Uh, corpses? <laughs> I was We're gonna say all that. corpses. Some are just rotting faster than others. Well, said and why should you not desire these earthly comforts? They are ours to revel in. It's just sort of a two-person conversation there, cult leader. Thank you, though. But when we cannot partake of these anymore, we should ride into eternity. How do you pronounce that name? Tar is the only way. Tar. I'll pass though. I don't do my deity choosing before lunch. Damn it's right. easier Just to be breakfast. flippant, isn't it, young man? <laughs> it really sure. is. I was like you once. Then I saw the power. If you only truly knew what I knew. If you'd seen what I have seen. Buddy, I think you've seen far too many of your own hallucinations. Fear. I sense fear in you. Yeah, it's a mystery. That's what they all say. 
Don't you know that? All your creepy whack jobs tell everyone they're filled with fear. That's the oldest trick in the book. I love Rome's just he doesn't sees. doesn't give an F vibe. I know there are those of you who fear. Come with us. Come with Tar, and together we will. Where's the sheriff? There he is. <laughs> All right, that's enough of this. I don't like you, but do your job. Peace. Take your followers and leave our village before I decide to enact my own religious movement on you. Wait, well said, ah, yes, Rafer. the noble lawman putting his mortal laws before the eyes of eternity. I said shut your lip. This isn't a discussion. Get out. You do me wrong, sir. Even you will have your time before Tar. Fine then. But for now, I'm afraid I must escort you and your people out. I always feel like he's oh, wearing a t-shirt under Thank that jacket. You. Let's go. No, 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 it's just like a, it's a fancy we will shirt. Take leave. But those who wish to come with us are always welcome. And with that, the weird cultists weird turn their cultists. back and take their leave. Though not without their leader giving you an icy stare and the woman checking you out. All right. All the ladies of Volkville. You can't blame her. <laughs> Rayford turns to you and gives you a curt nod before he turns on his heel and walks away. You yeah, know, but I dig the... If it were... Right. Block Valley, asshole sheriff, cultist. This is amazing. <laughs> Still probably better than hanging by my neck at the Baron's gallows. Yep, where we fled from. Anybody, uh, what do we think? Anybody gonna go with the cultists? You oh, may? hello, my lord. Hello. Oh, well, then, hello. What happened to that wit, Rome? I must be on my way now. Take care. Uh, that was Hello, it's weird. Yeah, but if they have women like that, I might go see what they're all about. I like you have two different levels of voice acting in this game. You have, like, I'm on board with Rome and, like, a lot of the, you know, most of it. Then you got Farmer and Villager 7. Well, yes, they are quite odd. Townsmen. Moving in the woods, going up north to all right, you don't need to talk anymore. Good day, Mr. Rome. Hey, Nails. See your weird baby face. I oh, take care of them. I'll reshoe them, feed them, and I enjoy their company. I also make saddles for riding. I'll know who to come to if I need a saddle, Mr. Nails. Well, I don't sell them, but I do have an old one I can trade you. Huh? I need a new hammer. Mine's getting worn. If you bring me a hammer, I'd gladly trade you for a saddle. Wouldn't be an adventure game without some sweet item bartering yeah i'll do that i'll be on the looks up all right volksville i think i said it without the s earlier it's a pretty quiet town never much trouble except for gorth he's always causing trouble frickin gorth I love the town what more can i say really it's all right i buy it much as the one before though <laughs> things have been a little different here what with the bridge north being out and now the port of tear shut down but really, things change very little. All right. Take care, Mr. Rome. And you, Niels. I'll work in the uh, dialogue they forgot to put in. And you, Niels. Good day, sir. Good day to you, my fine fella. Enjoying your stay in town? It's amazing. <laughs> yes, no, I've stayed in worse places. Just lovely. I think this is more the Rome line. I've stayed in worse places. Me too, for sure. Once Rayford made me sleep in a pig pen. Said it'd give me perspective. And did it? Good to see you, sir. Enjoy the rest of your day. And make sure you catch the magic show tonight. Oh, is that what it is tonight? He said there was some sort of gathering happening tonight. Here's the rogues. I guess I won't have much to do with them since we went the brigand path. Huh? Hi there, fella. How are you? Everyone in their weird baby faces, like waxed over baby faces. Which I wouldn't mind, but like the facial hair. Sorry. Are you listening to this, Slick? I can't be a rogue now, can now I? Now there's a beautiful city. Is everyone telling me to go to Tear? Well, sir, pleasant trail. Later, Slick. You start to 
Ah, uh, that's where they had the hanging. Seems like only yesterday. What do you got, apples? Hello, sir. I'm Burke, and these are my apples. Can I interest you in anything? One bly for an apple. Wonder if we'll need to give any to a, uh, giant, uh, a giant in exchange for, I guess, sir. An apple a day is an apple. I guess I already bought an apple from this guy. Again, apologize, it's been a bit between episodes this time. Oh, wait, this is where they cut off the guy's head. I thought they hung somebody. Now his head, they put it on the pike outside. Hey there! Whoa I... there! Hello! <laughs> Coming in hot, Carl! Sorry, I know that I'm shouting. I lost control of my voice. That's unfortunate, sir. Well, could be worse. Right. Good call. I, I agree! I think I well, remember that. I'm going to... Alright, try not to rehash dialogue and such. There's the magic shop. We'll have very little use for doing anything there. Yeah, talk to Chris Angel again here. Hey, oh blur! Hey, it's Give me a I want to buy some sausage. <laughs> That's quite a look, Gorth. Fine, Gorth, just take the damn coin and go get something to eat, will ya? You're a good boy, aren't you, Ober? Ober just glares at him. Well, I'm out of here. Goodbye, loser. Oh, Gorth. Gorth takes a look at you and squints. Oh no, he must be using that last brain cell of his. We just met him when we're already ripping on him. What are you looking at, stranger? Dead man, if you don't change your tone. Your stupid, ugly face. <laughs> nice bolt cut. Oh, I want to ask him about all these or say everything to him i'll just go with the classic your standard stupid ugly face your stupid ugly face of course what did you say little man i said i like your haircut dumb and dumb it was said, great your stupid ugly face of course double down well i uh look at you having trouble talking just open your mouth a little wider son he just doesn't care you better watch your back boy you're lucky I've got a sausage to go eat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even going to swat that low-hanging fruit. <laughs> Have fun with your sausage. Have fun with your sausage, Gorth. I will. Like his walk. What a specimen he is, eh? Ooh, our infamy just went up. There you go. All right. You all right, Chris Angel? Hello there. What, oh, mate? What can I do for you? Is that a lot? Oh, it just moved. Okay. Well, the tavern is about as lively as we get around here. Yeah, we need to go back There's to the tavern to see our friend. Occasionally, travels show up to showcase the little oddities and all that. Oh, Gorf's a prat. <laughs> if he ever pesters me, it's usually for a bly to get a sausage or something. I just hand him one to shut him up. He gives it out worse to others in town, though. Ugh. Frankly, I think he's dumb enough to get himself hurt or killed soon enough. Yeah, by me, if he doesn't... Yeah. Anyway. Well, this is it. A sweet little town to call home. The name's Ober. Costigan. Hello, Costigan. Don't mean to kill you. Nice to meet you. Alright, let's get ourselves some goods. The Doyle rules. Every town's got a Gorth. How can I help you today, young man? Hey there, kid. How are you? I'm not sure if I can get spells or not. It's a good question. Uh, I'm good. I'm doing great, Pa. Thanks for asking. I have a feeling Rome respects his elders. Nice to hear. What you got? Should we get a little smorgasbord, a little bit of everything? Trail rations? We should probably get some trail rations. You have purchased there, seven... Do, 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 do. I kind of like that. You have purchased Glitch. some fresh carrot. You have purchased a hock of ham. Probably see you how much these an... are. I don't mean to keep buying everything. I want to know how much stuff is. Uh, I don't know if I have one of those yet. Salami. You have purchased. Is that an ottoman? What is that? Oh, a tinder box. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite the adventurer. <laughs> is that an ottoman? Put my feet up. Oh, a tent. That is nice. Oh, we gotta have a climber's rope, I feel like. I'm gonna make sure I don't have one already. I don't wanna waste 150 bucks. Nope. I think that's a good purchase, right? Let's go Rome 2. Yeah. Can't go wrong buying a rope. Whatever you're trying to... 
I know, we're, strictly speaking, we're not a thief, but... I'd like to purchase a spear. I'm here to help. It said... Climbing gloves, yeah. Required to scale any wall, so... I don't know, I feel like we need this to climb, right? Oh, what is that, a crowbar? Diamond tipped. 500 bliss! Lies. Um... Did I buy a... Uh... I've already got one! Okay. Can't own more than one artichoke. That would be madness. You have purchased a climber's kit. Hope I don't regret that. It's alright. Make all that money back when we uh, scale... The nearest... Bank? I don't know where I'm going with that. Hello? You can smell the pun. I'm trying to talk to this guy. Oh, hello, my lord. Oh, well. I must be on my way now. That was a lady? All right. Ah, the pub. I think they said Kurt was outside of town, so we need to go see him. Gotta go say hi to Kit every day, though. We love Kit. He's a big bastard, ain't he? All right. Nothing new there, doesn't look like. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, Kit. Look forward to our next meeting. All right, let's go see if we can find Kurt somewhere outside of town. Let's go to the front of town and leave this way. Still getting the lay of the land down. This kid is very fetching. I'm a fan. I'm hoping she's not just an NPC and, you know. I think Rome, Rome would like to get to know her a little bit the better. The door is locked. And you're not a rogue. The hole in the bridge appears to have been fixed. You reckon the old fisherman finally got around to fixing it? Oh uh, yeah, this was busted before. Is that Mr. Statham? Rome, there he is. Lovely today. You hitting on me, Kurt? I'm a kit man. Fairly lovely, thanks. Why so? Well, we need a little help. Our prize horse, Mastodon, got loose last night and ran away. He runs off and then tries to find some female horses to have his way with. Usually he runs off to the north or east. Alright. He's a skittish sort. Find him and then bring him back. You can meet me back here later. Alright, gotta get Jason Statham's horse back. Great. Sounds like I'm doing bitch work. We've all had to at some point. Yeah. Good luck. We're the new recruit comes with the territory, I suppose. Let's give her a save. North or east, they say. Let's go north and east. I can't remember the graveyard was up to the north a bit from here. Well, hello there, Mr. Rowan. Good to see you. What can I do you for? Ah, Brattle. Yeah. What do you know about Tyr? Is the city as great as everyone says? Oh, the beautiful port city of Tyr. Well, it's a bit west and south of here, but I try to go any time I can. Such neat sights there. And the fish they have on the docks are amazing. I get my nets from them. They don't compete with me, and I don't compete with them. Mostly I feed myself, family, and some friends anyway. Sounds like a great life, Brattle. You know, I can't believe he let Marcus's. One day, oh, we heard Rayford accused him of crimes. Some people whispered that he stole from Rayford, but I gotta be honest, that didn't seem like Marcus to me. Maybe Marcus had some dirt on him. Not that Marcus was good, or even an innocent man, but usually Rayford would just lock someone like him up. Yeah, he definitely knew something on Rayford. Rayford's got a whole closet of secrets I know we're gonna find out about at some point. Well, he keeps law and order in the town. He also sends guards out on patrol, and they keep me safe. So, I guess I'm okay with him. Yeah. Is that beard real? Is that a rude question? Talk to you soon, stranger. So Elsa's voice in Quest for Glory 5, the original voice actors, <laughs> their uh, accent was such, such thick, kind of German... Uh, vibe on it that they just they had to replace her. That's pretty fantastic. 
I would have liked to have heard that. I'm sure those audio files are in some Sierra basement. Does Sierra still have basements? I don't know. So here's... I remember coming here before. Yeah, this whole area. Hauntingly beautiful. We're looking for a horse right now, though. Part of the, uh, oh, hold up. Is that a corpse I can... You should probably leave the poor bastard alone now. Oh, did I kill well, that earlier? He was wearing some armor. You should probably... I forgot that we did that. Okay, whatever. Kurt's horse! Where are you? I like this. How did I end up doing that? So I just... This is just a little circle right here? A little loop? I feel like Katrina's about to show up. You have come, it is dangerous in Mordavi at night. <laughs> Perhaps the spell will take it, and then everything's happy on this screen. Hello, beekeeping? Hello there. Hello, sir. How are you? I don't like that they don't give you a face. Granted, I can't really see it right now, but how the bees are. Or... I'm Midas, sir. I tend bees out here. People are afraid of getting stung, so I keep them outside of town. It's nice of you. They're interesting creatures. The way they work as a colony fascinates me. I'm lucky enough to work with them, but even I still need smoke to manage them. Smoke helps keep the bees docile, but did you also know smoke will make wasps and hornets run off like crazy? <laughs> I did not. Yeah, they don't like it. You have to find something to burn that will make a lot of smoke, though. I feel like we'll need to know that later. Dry stuff doesn't work as well as something slightly damp. I would try to mix something damp and wet, like moss, with something dry that easily burns. <laughs> Bees can't fly over this. Yeah, very, very small stone wall. Honey's amazing. Not only is it sweet and nutritious, it's also a good salve and has healing properties. I sell my honey to both Gwen and Jared. Gwen uses it in their rations for energy. I just purchased some of said Jared rations. Jared uses it in his healing potions. Is he making nice living Thanks that way? Thanks for stopping by to chat. Not too many folks do. I don't even have my own face. Animated at least. Gentlemen. Yeah? How can I help you? Hi, Shaw. What's your deal here? Hi. It's not a bad little town, eh? I'll be known to have a pint with Kurt or argue politics with old Burr. For a shifty lucky fellow, he's actually very well educated. Spent all his youth hanging around in the library of Tyr. Best place to go if you're looking for something to know. Tear this, tear that. <laughs> I'd spit on the ground, but I wouldn't want to waste water. He's a dirty <laughs> villain posing as a sheriff, and I've known me some villains. Wow. Recently, I had a bunch of decent people just rounded up and thrown into his dungeon. I think I'm lucky I ain't down there. Hmm. I've got a decent look at the people these goons carted away. Two paladins. Were paladins, I swear. Who arrest paladins? Very, either a very confused individual or someone who's up to no good. Another was a barbarian sort from the south. Another was some kind of salesman, and one just seemed like a clown. Harmless. Hmm. It's a fabulous garment, eh? Oh, yeah. It actually provides me mobility and comfort and air for me boys. That's great, Shaw. Sure, I've thrown one or two in my life, it wasn't, eh? <laughs> huh? Call me Shaw. Shaw's my name. My name is Shaw. Always has been. Always will. It's a good name and a strong name. Hey, you take care now, sir. It's a dangerous world out there. It's all right. I'm a brigand. Thanks for the heads up. There's Udo. Full the circle. Is busy patrolling. Oh, there's one of those guards. All right. Well, let's try going east here. Farm Acres. Well, this is just a lovely old farm, set upon the rolling hills outside of Volksville. 
You can only assume that this is where those three drunks from the pub work when they're occasionally sober. Oh, little go. Oh, little go. No thanks, you gave up goats for Lent. I wasn't trying to... It's a lovely looking goat. Well, lovely is a subjective term. He appears to be leaving little goat droppings everywhere. Gotcha. Go in the, uh... Anything? We're looking for a hammer, aren't we, to trade? Hammer, hammer, hammer. There's no other tool. Saw? You pick up the saw. There we go. Nice. Whatever it is. It's always interesting how they just know the tools you're going to need. There's no other... Yeah. Pitch you're fork. not the devil. <laughs> you're not trying to kill Jason Voorhees. All right. Inventory's coming along nicely. That is an axe. You attempt to pull the axe out of the stump. You just can't seem to pull it out. Hmm. Not enough of a brigand yet, I suppose. We'll get there. We'll certainly get there. Befriend the guy. I should have given the goat the carrot, right? And then have it ram Gorth. King's Quest style. Taking some liberties there, mind you. Uh, yes, please. Whatever this is. You take the stick. Yes. Large Whatever is stick. I feel like we will definitely fall in the water if we try. Maybe not. Okay. So this is the stick screen, clearly. A little Leave squirrel. the little fella alone. Alone. Uh, hello? That's quite the look you're going for here. Hello there. Cultivate it for yourself. Hello there, fellow traveler. Let me guess, Jack. My name is Jack, and you are? Rowan. You can call me Rowan. Very nice, Mr. Rowan. What's going on, Jack? Well, I am just a traveler passing through, but I've come to enjoy these woods. They're quite peaceful compared to the South Woods. They're full of brutish men. I also suppose I enjoy this because the power of magic runs strong in this forest, although I sense both good and evil magics abound. Mostly sadness, though. Yes, I'm a practitioner of the magical arts. I tend to favor earth and ice magics. Is there, uh, good elementals? I guess you can't teach me any. Too Good dumb. Eye, sir. What is You our... don't have any magic. Right. We're brigand. Stealth 50, thievery 5. How did we get our stealth up so high? Climbing 16, blocking, infamy. Alright. What the hell would you want a bird's nest for? To wear the hat? Some games, you need to check them. We use this on the tree. There must be a better way to ac that. Does, there must. How did I buy this? Well, that's odd. You've entered a rather ominous-looking part of the valley. From the smell, you determine this is a swamp. You notice a small boy sitting a near brando. the edge of the entrance. Whoa! Hey, Mister. Hello yourself, little master. Little master. What are you doing in the swamp? Just enjoying the yeah, sights. Taking in the sights. <laughs> You're funny, mister. Thank you. Got a name, kid? Hello, sir. Hello there, young man. How can I help you? Hobbs, perhaps? I'm Hobbs. I live in Volksville. Have you been there? Nothing like adults trying to do kids' voices. Well, uh, yeah, I... My name's Hobbs. There's all kinds of neat stuff in there, huh? Sometimes I play near Rayford's house, but he always yells at me for making too much noise. Yeah, it sounds like Rayford. He's always yelling at us kids to stay away from his well. His well. So I come out here to play. He doesn't bother me up here. Is he hiding bodies in the well? 
Something's going on with Rayford. Arresting paladins and then murdering them at night, stuffing their bodies in the well. I don't know. It's not such a bad place. I mean, you do have to watch out for swamp rakitis and other monsters. They never catch me, though. I'm too fast. I'm too fast. Yeah, I guess we did sneak everywhere in the first three, expecting to I be. Never come in here at night, though. A thief. Too scary without fireflies. Fireflies. Oh, I like to play in here, and I collect plants for Jared, the town pharmacist. They help make his potions, and he gives me a few blies. Blies. I need to get some more fireflies, though, before I can do anything. Let me guess, you need me to get you some fireflies. Well, it's so dark and thick in the swamp, I usually bring some fireflies in to help me see. I'll bring them in and let them go so I can see around. Well, I usually put some glowing fungus in the bottom of a glass jar, and that just attracts them like crazy. I found fireflies near the farm just outside of town, but I know there's some out in the grasslands, too. I think I saw some earlier. Well, I didn't get that myself. Jared gave some of that to me. He said it was the last of it he had. Ah, of course. He did say he got it from somewhere up north of town, but that I shouldn't go there, either. Probably that one hauntingly beautiful area that I commented on earlier. I use these to collect stuff for Jared and to put fireflies nice. in. I've got an extra. Here you go. You'll need it to get some fireflies. Just gotta ask, right? Hobbs hands you a small clear jar. Perfect for catching fireflies. Can't wait. Well, I didn't get that myself. Jared gave He did. Right, 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 right. All right. Goodbye, sir. Good talk Happy to you, trails. Hobbs. So the swamp is just north of here. We saved. Let's take a peek. It's pitch dark in here. You can't destroy. find your way anywhere. I assume I'll die. Or it won't even let me go. Just as you start to pull out your sword. <laughs> Alright. So we'll have to keep an eye out for, well, we gotta get the fungus. Maybe we can get that. You're on a up. ledge high above Ooh. a waterfall in the corner of the valley. Oh wow, look at that. The majesty of the waterfall here immediately catches your eye. It's most impressive. This is probably the most amazing part of the valley. This whole area is just beautiful. The water collects in a deep blue pool below the waterfall before it begins to flow through the valley. It's quite breathtaking, actually. You're going to have to find a way down from here if you want to get to that water. Hmm. Let me guess. You'll have to find a better way of doing that. You don't see a great rip here, but you realize you could tie one of the ropes. Oh. Nice. You pull out your trusty rope and climb down okay. to the banks below. I love hearing that. Our trusty rope. Sweet. Money well spent. And our climbing went up. I think it went up a little bit too when we were like trying to climb the uh, the gate earlier in the earlier episodes. Love the prism right there. The waterfall flows into this room. Well, we got a jar, but we need to use it on the moss. Don't put that in the river. Don't put... You can't attack that. You just look like a dingbat. You trying with But what do we do now that we're here? You take some moss off the Oh there we go. Moss. Good call, B. That doesn't work. I thought we wanted that, it for the that. uh Hmm. Well Okay. Got some moss. Is there anything else going on there? Nothing like a good climb, eh? I don't know. Might be persuaded to do that one more time. You pull out your trusty rope. Lost for the smoky fire. Glowing moths, and there's... Yes, okay. Different varietals. You already got some. You try... You don't see anything you want to pick up. But... It was enough to, like, come over here and act like he was about to. Alright, well, I guess that's all we have to do you here. You don't have the skill to climb this waterfall by hand. <laughs> Maybe you will have the ability in Quest for Infamy too. 
That's a, that's a Sierra trope. Always teasing the next There's game. There's no reason to climb this tree. You can see all the way you try. Alright. Oh, Robert. I guess. Nothing like a good. Yeah. I guess we're good with that. You can't take it, and you aren't riding a horse. Hmm. Still haven't seen it. Have you seen the horse? Jack? This looks like a screen out of King's Quest V. Alright, this might be the fancy stuff. That does not. That does not. Hmm. There's no way in. There's the graveyard. You place your hand in the chimney. Wait. Ah! Wasps! <laughs> you just put your hand in a wasp's nest. They were definitely stinging you. They're definitely that was almost stinging as you. bad as the time your legs fell asleep in Swart's cart. So bad, you. It's getting stung by some wasps. You try with all. Cause why not? Anyone see any fancy moss? You try with all. It's little thing. Mother Nature has done a pretty good job of reclaiming this area. Yeah. Standing in this corner of the woods are little remains of the house now. Then you wonder if that sort of. This was once a great fountain, but it's not been looked. Growing in the water are some lilies with some rather fetching flowers on them. You consider the contrast between the beauty of the flowers and the ugliness of the fountain and water. Then you fart. Oh, wow. Well. Look at that. You look at the remains of what must have been the west wing of the old mansion. It's pretty impressive. You imagine the fire that destroyed it was a sight to see. Whatever it is, whatever you play around with. Hmm. Press on. Horse? Oh, bear. You could feel something was amiss when you got here. You prepare for combat. Let's do it. Damn it. Damn it! Uh, ow! Run it through, Rome. There we go. You need to get your stats up, bear. Damn it! Damn it! Maybe we should be focusing on one Damn skill it. in particular. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Bear is destroying us. Damn it! Holy! Damn it. The bear killed us! rendered unconscious and gravely injured. You feel cold, blackness, nothing. The bear looks pissed. You wake up on oh, the well. cold floor. You take your eyes a minute to adjust, but you believe you're in the apothecary. Phil! Glad you're up. You've been out most of the day. What happened? Well, Hobbs found you out in the woods, huh. so he went out to get you and brought you back here. I have healed you. That's nice of the bear to just not finish killing me or eat me or anything. Oh, Jared, I don't know what to say. It's my job. Now be more careful. Am I always going to have that safety I will, net? I will. Thankfully, there's a you healer. You should find something relaxing to do to help you recover fully. Like I the have some special pills. Yeah, I bet you do. I bet you work at the, with that bear. That bear is your, uh, yeah. <laughs> You hand Jared ten blies for ah, his trouble. There you go. Thank you, sir. As the day winds down, you decide to check out the performance in the town market that Kessel mentioned. Wasted a whole day. Didn't even find that horse. A street magician is performing his act in the market. The townspeople all look happy with his little show. You've seen worse, but you've also seen better. Sure. Someone have a PA? Oh, of course. 
How are you hey, belly? Man, watch where you're going. Gorth, you pick. Oh wait, am I healed? Well, that's not very nice at all. You should really have more confidence in yourself. Huh? Huh? You said little man. And I assumed you were talking to your um twig and plums. Ah, oh, the mouse. What? No, I. Uh, oh, well then, do your bollocks get in the way again? <laughs> oh, I see. So maybe you're just looking for me to pound you. I warned you, Gorth. Absolutely not. I just think you should see a doctor about your swollen boys. <laughs> They're obviously making you cranky, Mr. Uh... I'll kill you! <laughs> okay, Mr. I'll kill you. But I really don't know how you can fight with your bits off sore like that. <laughs> you are dead meat, pal. He just doesn't. All right. Oh, we're all healed up. You asked for it, Gorth. Everybody hates you. I'm doing this town a service. Getting well rounded in our combat abilities here. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it. Once they're high enough, we'll never miss again. You guess Gorth wasn't as tough as people said he was. Nah, he seemed fine. You manage to overpower <sighs> Gorth, and he falls to the ground. You wonder if you should put him out of his misery, or let him live to pick another fight oh, another wow. day. Huh. Oh my god. I mean, honestly, I think Rome would probably let him live. I don't, I think he's just, you know, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't consider him that much of a threat, and he's like, that's kind of a, but we're also having some fun here, so... And everybody hates the guy. <laughs> oh my and god. He deserved it. What's going on here? Oh, I just killed Gorth. Well, this big guy came out of nowhere. Gorth bumped into him and attacked him. <laughs> we all saw it. Of course, the whole town's on my side. Is this true? Yes. <laughs> hey there, Xena. I believe it. Gorth is always starting trouble. This was clearly self-defense, Mr. Rome. <laughs> They're probably going to give me a medal. I know it was. I was there, defending myself. <laughs> I don't like trouble in my town, though, Mr. Rome. If trouble seems to find you here once again, I shall be forced to do something about it. Do you understand? Crystal clear, boss. All right. Somebody take care of Gorth, and the rest of you <laughs> stop gawking. Let's dance. Musicians, play some music. Yeah, try to ignore the Hulkin Mr. lump Rome, of Gorth. I'd appreciate if you'd stop out there. by my office sometime tomorrow. Ah, uh, will do, Chief. Freaking man! You did a good thing. That Gorth was a real bastard. <laughs> yeah, he was always bothering my wife. Right, I'm feeling better and better about that decision. One time, he punched me for drinking my ale too fast. Will Forte? One time, he punched me for drinking my ale too slow. Oh, love. One time, he punched me. <laughs> he used to walk into my home, fart, and leave. Why don't you lock your door? You're a hero, Mr. Rome. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Fantastic. After your battle with Gorth, you return to the inn to get a good sleep. There we go. You awaken much refreshed. That should top off our stats. Let's take a peek. 80, oh, 80. Climbing one up, obviously. Hacking, slabbing, and stashing. Wait, what? They're all coming along. Hit percentage 64, so that'll go up in time. All right, day three. Let's go roam for starving. Why aren't we running? Always be running. Since we don't care about the ways of sneaking anymore. Well, well, it's the man who took down Gorf the Menace. Good morning, sir. Good news travels. I was just defending myself. <laughs> He's not even like going with the story anymore. They were standing right there. Hell of a defense, sir. It impressed most of the town. Wow. They haven't seen me dance yet. <laughs> well, the farmers that hang out over in the pub wanted me to tell you that your ale is on them today. Awesome. That's my first stop, then. Sounds like a tasty proposition. Just might have to make my way over there to take them up on that. You should. It'll be fun. Old Martin Japsworth's back in town, too. He's what we like to call a hoot. 
Martin Japsworth. Oh, yeah, if we get him drunk, he'll start telling all manner of wild stories. But he won't if he's sober. He's that does sound like a hoot. It's a private man. Yes, sir. He's usually in there at night. Lord knows where he is during the day. Probably sleeping off last night's mistakes. Probably. Hey, you, know, you see me kill Gord? Hello, Mr. Rowan. Nothing new here, unfortunately. Hey, I killed Gorth. Castle, can I take your daughter out for a drink? No, suppose you be no she isn't interested. And I'm still in the bathroom. Oh, fair no, you can't. I told you. Good luck. <laughs> Maybe. But it's a good time, though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, right. it was lovely talking to you, Ina. Oh, such a gentleman. All right. Oh, I gotta get my meal. Sorry. You sit down. Here's your meal, Mr. Rowan, sir. Looks lovely. Thank you, dear. You wolf down all the food and give a proper belch. Same as yesterday. What? You should go see Rayford this morning. Uh. He did ask you to come, and he does get ornery. <sighs> Got a horse to find, a hammer to find, and trade. All right. Get my free drink first. No way I'm talking to Rayford sober. Well, there. It appears you're all taken care of tonight. Farmer's got your tab. So I hear. Well, I'm lucky. Give me a pint to start. I'm gonna take it from there. Nice. You got it. Just don't get so drunk you start troubling her. Trouble finds me, kid. Oh, didn't mean to have my skull in your cleavage there. <laughs> that well, was unintentional. The farmers? I like them. And I'm not dumb enough to start with Kurt. Still looking for that horse, Kurt. Found it. Yeah. Uh, nothing new. Nothing about Gorth here. Can I get another one of these for free? Guess not. Rations seem like they might be cheap. Uh, that was a single day's ration. Okay. Gentlemen, thank you for the drink. Well. If it isn't Mr. Bruiser himself. Mr. Bruiser. Mr. Fisticuffs. Mr. Arse Kicker. Any more? That was a hell of a fight, young man. Thank you. I haven't seen anything that vicious since Laddie came home drunk and tried to have his way with the family dog. I uh, mean, all right. That wasn't my fault. In my defense, he looked very similar to my wife. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call old school comedy. Butter boom. You've got a point there, sir. Anyway, disgusting stories about dogs aside, <laughs> sir, Gorth has been a pain in the ass this town for years. But thanks to you, I don't think he'll be much trouble for a while. Well, you should have killed him years ago, then. Amen. Once, he made me smell his butt because I stepped on his shoes. Do it. Do we need to keep hearing all the things that Gores did to people? My god. Wipes the egg, alright. One time, he threw me in my own heap of cow Oh, milk I was being. Because he oh, yeah, let's my keep going. corn was too mushy. What else did Gores do? So, we're buying your ale tonight. Go on over and talk to Kit. You're all taken care of. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate the gesture. But Gorth merely picked a fight with the wrong man. Or oh, the right man, eh? Eh? All drink to that. Salute! Salut! Salut! It's seven in the morning. So, me and the wife took a trip up to the castle market a few months back. A nice little trip, eh? Yeah, you know, she wanted to buy some things we can't get here. And I was gonna go sell a few of the vegetables I grew in the garden. So we went up and we had a great time. I went to the castle once. Got thrown out for puking in the moat. Set it up, set the moat, monsters. Larry, you sound like you have a problem with alcohol. I'll uh, leave it to you to antagonize the moat monsters. So, yeah, how'd it go up there? Oh, it was great. I sold out my stuff, made a good coin, and I bought the wife a necklace. She was all happy. It's nice. Gotta keep the ladies happy. <laughs> yeah, Larry. What do you know about ladies? You're single, middle-aged, and even your female dog hates you. That bitch has issues. Anyway, I had a bit too much ale, so I thought I'd let the old ball and chain drive the car home. 
Oh, this can't be good. How long is this gonna go? I do need to see Rayford at some so point. So she starts by whipping the horses good, and they're running at breakneck speed through town. We get to the gates, and the soldier's guard is just freaking out. Yeah. That's so clearly the guy that do does that Rome's boys, I'm pretty sure. Towards an exit. So they stop us, and I ask my wife where she's going. Or the narrator, I'm sorry. No, she don't hear too good anymore, so she says, Huh? So I tell her, he wants to know where we're going. She nods and says, Oh, we're going home to Volksville. Betty chuckles. <laughs> I like to think of him as Lair Laffer's great great grandfather. I like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then he said, Ah, oh, Volksville. Just as little luck sex with the ladies. I with a woman from Volksville. She said, Huh? So I leaned over and said, He thinks he knows you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, that was that was worth it. One more for the road. We brew it downstairs. Uh, I was told I get free drinks. He's a, ah, all night. I'm a low, he's all not bad. Made from. Welcome to. The, Sounds fine to me. Well, it better. Uh, it's definitely not free, fellas. I'll take one more. But still, I shouldn't be playing. That's on the farmers tonight, pal. Oh, okay. Nice. You sip your drink, and it's as refreshing as you hoped it would be. Especially because it was free. Six or seven of these, and you might get as giddy as a Lenarian whore. Ah, uh, we already had our drinking contest. So I should still have 44 gold. Right? It's a leather pack. You have some... Oh, all right. Or lies. Still haven't gotten that horse. There's something about them I don't trust. Don't like magical things, and it certainly feels magical in there. Think they're cursed. They used to be Killington's personal hunting woods, and you know how the Killingtons were cursed. I'm new here, so not really. Well, they used to be a really rich and powerful family here in Volksville, but apparently they met a bad end. The ruins of their mansion are to the north. The family was cursed, they say, and it was the cause of the end of their line. Bummer. There are no more of them left, so their old mansion lies in ruin. They're a bunch of creepy bastards, but I think they're mostly harmless. Like all these all weird right. cults that keep popping up. Yeah, the cult people. I already forgot about them. You know, I usually stay right down here in my valley. But I'll tell you, it's pretty damn annoying to have that bridge out right now. I hope it'll be fixed soon. The guy watching it now is a bit twitchy or something. I can never get a read on Hummel. Hummel, not to be confused with Kimmel. Have you been there yet? It's pretty amazing. Don't get on Valeris' bad side, though. Valeris. She's beautiful and deadly, I tell you. If I could have impressed her enough to win her affections, I'd be a happy man. She weren't having me, no. And I wasn't gonna press my luck. Ah, uh, not too much. Just honest man and trying to make an honest living. Isn't always easy with Rayford around. Heard that. I don't know what's up, but he arrested a bunch of people as of late. And we're yeah. talking about people who shouldn't have been arrested. Yeah. I heard one's a paladin. Hopefully it's not Mr. Nice Guy. Usually they're goody two-shoes. Oh, she was she. in town one day and the next gone. But the rumor is she's sitting in Rayford's dungeon. I guess he's not offering up any details. All right, we'll go investigate hey, ourselves. Hey, you taking care of yourself, sir. Hey, there's beer in my glass. Is that a problem? Yeah, cause it should be in my belly. It's seven. You are correct, uh, sir. Drink up, eh? You're correct, sir. Drink up, eh? All right. It Where's Rayford's place? I think it's right out, right up front here. Nice moves with Gorth. Don't <laughs> worry, next time I got your back, you'd be surprised the damage one pissed off guy in a wheelchair can do. Alright, Neil. Sounds good, my friend. I like you. Alright, I'm still looking for a hammer. What are you hammering with right now, by the way? Anyway, let's oh, get hello. this over with. Are you feeling okay today? That was some fight yesterday. To be honest, it was about time someone stood up to Gorth. I was tired of having to throw him in the cells for a night. He used to give me wedgies through the bars. 
I hope we're hearing Gort's stories all the way through the end of this game. Why, hello, Mr. Rome. Thanks for coming to see me. All right, Rayford. No problem, Mr. Rayford. What's this about? Just Rayford is fine. I don't need the honorific of Mr. Well then, Rayford, what can I do for you? Well, I was just curious as to what you plan to do here. Hmm. Yeah, set up some roots. I don't know, I feel like we're more passing through. But I think this might piss off Rayford more. Look, I, I realize you're trying to be humorous, but I'm serious. What are your plans? Just get busy 24-7, what can I say? Seriously, I love kids. Listen, you little scumbag. <laughs> I don't like you. You're trouble, and I can smell that like stink on shit. Okay. Well done. You must have wonderful olfactory senses. I'm tired of you. And if you don't watch your step, you won't last until the bridge is repaired. Do you hear me? I also smell you. <laughs> Get the hell out of my office. One more bit of trouble from you, and I'll turn you inside Shit. out and make you wear your ass as a hat. I've heard that one before. Okay, I've got it. Just staying at the inn until I can leave. Good. Mind your manners. No. Who's this? You're in Rayford's office. There's a doorway to the dungeon. The jail cell where Yan usually looks after people Rayford has... It doesn't... He's too... Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Martin's probably sleeping now. He'll be in the pub later yeah. for sure. Gotta... That guy likes to talk and talk and talk. Yeah, Kimmel's, uh... Talk that guy... Kessel, Kessel. Hummel and Kessel. Kessel talked that guy up. I love the law. The best place to learn about the law is I love up. the law. Does the law include arresting Good day. paladins there, Rayford? Mr. Rome. Well, I don't roll a man's head for nothing, but I do have a jail, and it is currently full of people who've run afoul of our fair laws. What, may I ask, are their offenses? Oh, I guess I can't ask that. This is a pleasant little village, and I intend to keep it that way. You've seen how I handle lawbreakers. Yeah, I guess that little bridge is not the one they're talking about. It's mostly peaceful. I'd watch out for the swamp, though. Weird things happen in there. There's also some religious cult that lives up in the peaks in an old abandoned fortress. They seem mostly harmless, but they're creepy as hell. Tyr is a lovely place, though they think far too highly of themselves. We gotta go to Tyr soon, man. All knowledge and little common sense. The mayor is a buffoon. Hmm. Right. Goodbye, Mr. Rome. Remember, keep your nose clean, keep your head attached. Try to remember that, Mr. Rayford. Good to me. Oh, that that works too. Feel free to stop back and chat if you wish. He's got a look to him, doesn't he, Rayford? It's like halfway between like a, a southern sheriff and hmm. Well, do sounds still, lovely. I'll bring cigars. Still trying to figure him out. There's nothing for you to do down there. Mind your business, Mister Rome. You try with you try. Mm. Gotta run. Looking for a horse. Looking for a hammer. The water wheel is being spun by the water rushing down the stream. Any baddies want to go? What's over here? Ah, there, there. That works. I wonder how many thieving jobs I'm missing out on. You quickly swipe the hammer out of its safe cradle in the shop nice. and carry it along with the rest of your junk. Sweet. Got us a hammer just like that. Let's go trade it to our uh, our friend back in Volksville. 
the Tile Helm? Here's your hammer, buddy. You trying with all? Ah, a new hammer! <laughs> Neil, thank you very much. That's what Here's I meant. the saddle as promised. Please enjoy it. Oh, I will. Just gotta find a horse now. I suppose. They think highly, too highly of themselves. Yeah, Rayford would fit in nicely with those folks. Maybe you just need to have the saddle before you... Oh! If you please. I'm sure you know the drill. Your purse, valuables, etc., etc. But we have to get nasty. Damn it, I can't make the thief sign either. Yeah, you don't want to see Lobo get nasty. How about we do things... Not right now. Oh. You grab Lobo and throw him over your shoulder. <laughs> Griff just looks stunned. Awesome. Come on. They want some. I'm a brigand mother. F uh, no. I don't think so. That's awesome. Only one of Kurt's boys could have pulled something like that. Oh, man, my back. You want a Kurt's guys? Heck yeah. Yeah, so. We got a deal. We don't mess with him. You don't mess with us. I wasn't aware. Yeah, neither were we. We know all those guys. Fez and Cuddy are two of my best friends. You know Fez and Cuddy? I love Fez and Cuddy. Sorry, I'm new. Yeah, brand new. All good. We're all set here, though. Damn, Kurt got a bruiser. <laughs> Thanks. See you later. Wow. God, I hope not. <laughs> we brigand our way out of that mess. And then they just, it's all chill now. Hey guys, can we Hello chat? Hello there. Friend of a friend. It's a good way of we putting like it. We like you, but skedaddle. Understood, gentlemen. Have a fine day. <laughs> you too, cowpoke. Enjoy the day, eh? That's funny. All right. Oh, I think I see a bashful monster over there that needs a smacking. Yep. You could feel something was amiss when you got here. You prepare for combat. <laughs> The brigand sign is a body slam, that's right. No wiggling your thumb on your nose for brigands. Taste my stab. And my slash. And my ew. And my swing. I like that move. Gotcha. Well done. You've defeated yet another foe, solidifying your position as a total badass. All right. How much money you got? The corpse. Sweet. What's our bligh count right now? It's a leather pouch. You have some... 70. Okay. Come on, horse of Kurt. Where'd you run off to? I see you. Roar. I won't make you wait. Oh, we got the early stab. Wow, it's like an actual dude. Just with a unique fashion sense. Going with the spiked mace there. It's that's redundant saying spiked that's mace. It's done. All right, you gonna give me some cash too? Searching the corpse. Ten. It's nice smacking some dudes after being all pacifist in nature with Thiefy Jr. recently. I don't know how the monsters have money. I guess I'm a question. I killed Gorth, Hobbs. Did you hear about it? Hello, sir. Hello there. How can I... Yeah, nothing new. We already okay. had this exchange. Right? I have your jar, don't I? Still looking for those fireflies. Got the moss from there. There's Jack again. It's a stuff. It's empty. Never know. Oh, hold up. That is quite a mighty looking beehive. You wonder what kind of bees made it. Then you remember that you absolutely, unequivocally, 
do not care. We're honest. You can't reach it. You're going to need... This might be a bad idea without the, uh... I don't have a tinder box as of yet. Cut the tree down. Doesn't... You rope it. You could use that on the beehive, but then I'd have to proclaim you King Dumbass. <laughs> and in the old days, we'd have booted you to DOS. Try something different. Mm. Whack it with this stick. <laughs> Poke the beehive. That was a slightly stupid move. <laughs> You pissed off those bees by poking your stick right into their hive. Luckily, your cloak in the river saved you from a multitude of stings. How's that? There's a bee stuck in your cloak. You carefully take it and put it within a fold of your backpack, keeping it alive, but unable to escape. Nice and cruel like. All right, we got a bee. I'll take a look at this bee. Oh, there it is. This bee is still alive. The little bastard obviously didn't get a chance to sting you when you disturbed its hive. Hmm. You're now a proud bee owner. All right, horsey. There's my old friend up there. Oh wait, I guess these are just butterflies, right? We're not. Probably wouldn't be able to see fireflies. Whatever you're trying, day. that doesn't. There must. Whatever. There must. That does. You try. That does. There must. Whatever. Yeah, we need fancy. Sure to look for whatever on this there stream. must there must there must that whatever that that you what that don't mess with it. That does you try you try you try. I don't like that I just can't click anything in this area or I, I get no reaction. That does Better said. Yeah, I thought that was pointless, but it then worked out. We got a bee out of the exchange. All right, so we've been in this graveyard back one of the earlier episodes. This is where all the uh, people of that cursed bloodline, that family that lived in the mansion, are buried. Whatever it what it's definitely the door to the crypt, and it's definitely locked and sealed. Good to know, though, eh? Remember this guy. Greetings, sir. Grave Hello. digger. There's always time to chat. No one here's going anywhere. Yeah. There's a sad story there. Father, old Jarvis. Went nuts, they say. He burnt down the house with the whole yeah. family inside. Some say he killed everyone before he lit the fire. I Some remember say this. he locked them in, and Let's everyone burned here. alive. Whatever happened to that poor family? I don't know. I don't want, I think. Just tell me anything at all. Hmm. Well, it was a pleasure... You can't. I think I came in here before. Huh. We're going to need something. <laughs> It's a puzzle. You can't seem to fit. Yeah. You play around. You look under a pew and you see writing scratched into the wood. Maybe a clue as to the puzzle? News? North, east, west, south? You try. North, east, west, south. As you press the final button, the front yes. of the pulpit swings open. Revealing a secret passage, you peer in and venture down. Well, well, it looks like you've discovered something down there. Is this going to be where the cult members hang out? Perhaps? 
Flashlight? You see all kinds of odd debris down here. It looks like this was once some kind of underground structure or castle of some sort. You try with all. You should walk down. You're in a vast and cavernous space. It actually looks like this was some underground antechamber long ago. You see an elaborate stone wall towards the back, and in the middle of it, a door. Who sent you? Uh, Ken sent me. <laughs> Always good to know a Ken. No, wrong. Sod off. No one back here but a bunch of lepers anyway. You should come back after you talk to the right person. Well, at least we have access to this area now. Yeah, I'd like to see that one lady again. It doesn't talk. Just walk. Ken Williams sent me about that. You try with all. Any of these unlocked? Try as you might. Mm. Well, at least we found that. Anybody else want to go? I'm running everywhere, you'd think they'd- hey, gentlemen. Slow day. There's my kilt friend. There's the farm again. I wonder if those guys are here. It's like the middle of the day, no one's ever working here. Hello? Searching amongst the tools, you find a bridle. You take it with you. Was that there before? I feel like I would have seen that. All right, we have a saddle and a bridle now. Maybe that will trigger the horse. Just had to have the right stuff. Oh, have we been this far east yet? I don't think we have. Hello. Hey, you, Appleman. Appleman. He ignores you, the cheeky bugger. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. Oh! You suddenly kick the ladder. I didn't from mean to do the that. Who falls down like a sack of beans? I didn't think that would it's happen. It's all fun and games until someone breaks their neck. Oh my God! Did you realize as you check him, he has. Oh boy, you better get out of here before someone sees you. What? <laughs> Before you mean... leave, you take an apple. <laughs> oh, this got dark. I didn't mean to kill. I already had an apple. That's the worst part of it. <laughs> you want to kill him. Uh... He's too dirty and not your type. For what? All right, maybe Rome would have done a lot of the you things that I said he wouldn't do. You grab the rope. And Is that a problem that I killed that man? I like that he still took the apple without me even prompting him. You run your hands across the wall, but you don't feel anything out of place. I wonder if I should restore, seeing as I save compulsively. Let's try not to kill him this time. Yeah, we're not going to become a paladin. What if what, what if I do it while the guard's standing right here? That's probably that's probably not a good idea with one of. You should come back to murder the guy another time. Hey! 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 Why don't you take your freaking apples probably then? Probably not a good idea with. Probably. not. That's probably not. Huh. They weren't here before. Probably. That's interesting. Weird. Jeez, I'm sick of looking at all you losers. Too many men. 
Not enough lady folk. This map's really big. I'm impressed. Yeah, we'll go up to tier and get a hooker then. And we haven't been to tier to get a hooker yet, either. You paying? Hell no. You think I got the plies for that kind of entertainment? If I did, I wouldn't be here with you. Got you there, hunter number one. Shut your mouth and get the hell out of here. We don't need you scaring away the animals. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll go kill him again. Doesn't just seems like it makes us more infamous, which uh, it's in the title of the game, right? Shut your mouth and get the hell. So you guys are just kind of you seem like a cult, but you're just hunters. Be quiet, you fool. Let's fight. All right, dick bag. Dick bag. I've had enough of you. Say night night. Da, 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 dick bag. Dick bag. You're so going to die for saying something so damn lame. <laughs> that was really lame. Oh hell yeah. Well, this guy's got good health. What happened to your bow and arrow, buddy? Damn it. Both with. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Got no healing potions. I'm just dead this time. I want to kill this guy, but for calling me a dick bag, I want to kill everybody I've decided. Be quiet. All right, dick bag. Dick bag. Dick. So trying to click the sword on him or just walking in the area gets him to come Damn after up. you. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Run, Rome! Looks like you startled the enemy and got away. Why'd we glow red for a second? He just ran right by me. He's like, really? You're just running right in front of me? And we come back to our friends over Hello here. There. We like others. You enjoy. All right. We need to get our health back. Perhaps we should rest up for a spell. You rest for a Yeah, considering we just got stabbed a whole bunch. Yeah, it's still pretty weak. That's 66, man. That's gotta rise. Only hitting every two of three. That's not gonna get her done. When people are calling me dick bags. Kill, I'm gonna, pillage. I'm gonna kill this guy again. Oh, you oh. Oh. oh boy. Oh. Before you leave. Oh yeah. Might as well take a few apples. You don't need greedy butt. You don't greedy. I already had an apple. That was the thing. Some helpful soul has put a sign here. To the west is Volksville, and to the east is not Volksville. Actually. <laughs> That's not helpful at all. <laughs> He's too dead. Should I like hide the body though? Oh, well. <gasps> it's our horse, I assume. Finally found it. You gave me such. Well, it's, it's a hassle finding the you. The horse doesn't want to let you do that. He looks like you might bite. Oh, what have we got? The horse might like. Bee sting? Got a hole. Farmer's market in my pants. Carrots. Horses love carrots. You Good give horsey. the carrots to the horse, which he greedily munches. He seems to like you now, or at least he tolerates you. Aw. Oh, you ate all three. Hungry horse. You place the bridle and saddle on the horse. Nice. With the saddle and bridle in place, you climb aboard Mastodon. You Rest decide down. to quickly return the horse to Kurt. Nice. There you wow. go, buddy. You actually got him to follow you. Ha! Ah, he's a stubborn bastard. Carrots, Kurt. Carrots. Yeah, I had to play him with a treat. But after that, well... Well... Good job. Well, I'm gonna go stable him up. I'm gonna be busy, but tomorrow I want you to meet me. Just head down south through the bushes here. 
Eventually, you'll see. I'll be there naked. Oh, <laughs> great. I have sent me on some other kind of bets assignment. <laughs> no, no, no. Just head south tomorrow. Okay, south through that log down there. Yep, you got it. Oh, also, I've got a map of the Naria here for you. This will help you get around when you need it. Nice. A magic nice. map? I'm sure it's a come in handy. So, see you tomorrow. South of here. Yes, south. Yeah, come on down. Shui will be there to give you a hand. I'll see you then. Take it easy. <laughs> Occupational hazard. I like that story. The guy just slipped. Horse lover. There you go. We're a complicated man. We kill men over apples and we love horses. Putting together one hell of an online dating profile. Can I actually go down here? Interesting. It's a sleeping bear. It's a bear. A big black bear. What, you gonna make me fight this thing tomorrow? I hope I have more HP by then. Oh yes, this is a great and wonderful idea. <laughs> you know that old adage, always poke a sleeping bear? <laughs> Sage advice. That was written by Sir Timothy, who was eventually eaten by a bear. Hold on. Where is my bear poking stick? It also doubles as my beehive poking stick. Why would you give that away? That's true. It's precious gold. I'm gonna fight this bear. I don't have to take kill, this. Kill, pillage. You can't. There's just kill. Oh. Okay. It's a bear. Yep. Arr! Wait. You have a little hat? That's adorable. What? <laughs> what? You're Mr. Rome, eh? Kurt told me about you. Oh. O okay. Didn't think this is how this was gonna go. You're a talking bear. You're adorable. Yeah, I talk. I walk and poop too. Amazing, huh? You're a talking bear. You're a talk. <laughs> I need you to acknowledge you're a talking bear. Oh, you're a real articulate bastard, eh? Look. Just look inside the bush. There's a handle. Rotate it clockwise, and then pull. Go on down. Are you a brigand too? Thanks, talking bear. Joy, my name is Joy, and you owe me a beer. Do I? Joy shows you the entrance to the brigand's hideout, and you oh, walk nice. inside. The brigand's hideout, I love it. My, what a great little hideout the brigands have here. All right. You can see massive piles of their booty they've uh, confiscated over there. And there's a decent lot of folks down here, too. Huh. I wonder how organized the rogues are in comparison. This seems like a nice operation they have going on here. They have a cave, a talking bear. But the rogues don't have a talking bear. Hey, how the hell did the bear get in before me? <laughs> Bear outranks you, Rome. Wow, look at this colorful cast of characters. This is amazing. Brigands hideout. Uh, Kurt, I know I was supposed to come here tomorrow, but this is amazing. Hey there, nice job with Gorth. <laughs> you heard about that, huh? Thanks, sir. That man was a right bastard. Could have been a bruiser with a job if he'd asked me. But instead, he just insisted on being rude to the townspeople. A stupid prick. Well, we all can't be winners, eh? Right you are. See, he was bad for our business anyway. We like to keep to ourselves, and just be seen in town as regular lads. Most people think I work the docks in tier. Most people think I'm a British-born, but very popular. A uh, Hollywood actor, star of the Driver series. And that one where it's like his heart needed to keep being started. I don't remember what that was. When he had sex with Amy Adams in the middle of a crowded market. I'm sorry, let's focus. You're not gonna ask about the bear? How's that not the number one option on this list? Not a bad place, really. Always stays the same temperature, no matter the season, and there's plenty of room for everyone and everything. Well, 
were keen to raid this caravan going north Crank. towards That's the, the bridge Thank you. over the great river. <laughs> Crank. They know what's out, but they're going to store the goods at the tower. They're trying to send them across by rope. We want to grab it all before they get there. Oh, nice. You're pulling a, a job. Are you in? Oh, hell yeah. No. <laughs> no, I'm a good person who doesn't break people's necks for no reason and stab Gorth in the face when given the option. Yes, That's I'm in. I'd be willing to get my hands dirty for. Excellent. Okay. Meet me up on the King's Road just before the little canyon that's in front of the bridge tower. Uh, okay. Sounds good. See you there, sir. When? Well, we're keen to raid this. They know what's happening. We want to go. say it was? That sounds like some Excellent. Okay. Meet me up on the King's Road. Sounds good. Huh. You take care now. May the wind be at your back as well as the sheriff. Damn right. All right. Uh. Hey, Jay. Yeah, Ruin. What's up? Huh. Uh... Yeah, let's talk about you, Chewy. That's my name. Don't bear it up. Ah, uh, you like puns too, Chewy? Yeah. As you can see, I am her sign in nature. Pretty amazing, huh? All of my people can talk. I know you get a kick out of it, but where I come from, we're all bears and we all talk. I come from a land in the north called Erlitz. My people are the Erlinites. We have amazing cities. Someday we should all go visit. Maybe in uh, Quest for Infamy too. Do you realize how much of your pissy grog it takes <laughs> me to even catch a buzz? I bet. What do you I'm do? I'm missing like 40,000 times a day. Someone here needs to learn to brew something besides this weak ass shit. Need some absinthe for Chewy. You know, they get a bad rap, but they saved me. Kurt saw me in a cage on a caravan and set me free. Aww. I asked if I could join them and Kurt said, What, I'm going to say no to a huge damn bear? <laughs> so I've been here since then. That was five years ago. Kurt's a good guy. I left my home to explore the world. I was young and had wanderlust. Unfortunately, in the kingdom of Ayr, I let two guys get the best of me. Oh. I passed out and woke up in a cage. They made the talking bear into a tourist attraction. It kind of sucked. It kind of sucked. That's terrible. I'm glad you have a home here now, Chewy. Hey, nice chatting with you, pal. You take care of yourself out there. Don't end up in a cage dancing for coins. Not sure what turn of events would lead to that outcome, but I'll keep that in mind, Chewy. Who else we got here? Hey there, fellas. Oi there. I'm Fat Rob. It's a clever nickname, huh? I haven't seen you in town. Uh, we used to call him Fat Bastard. Well, I eased up and lost the bastard. Huh. You're still a bastard. <laughs> Sounds like, uh... uh... Yep. Anyway... Welcome, new guy. You can call me Rowan. Well, Mr. Rowan, glad to have you around. That comedian who talks like that. Brian Posehn. Hi, what's going on, my friend? Hello there, new guy. I am Radu. How do you do? Well, I'm just fine now. Look at this place. I think I could really call this home. Yes, for a cave, it's definitely one of the better ones I've lived in. Oh, you live here? So you've lived in a lot of caves? I'm a grown man who issues shirts and I wear a fez all the time. Caves are all people like me got. Oh, that's a good point. Well, anyway, welcome to the crew. Say hey to everyone. For a bunch of brigands, we're a pretty friendly crew. It's nice. I murdered a guy earlier for no reason. Well, an apple, I suppose, but... Thanks, I'll do that. Well met, sir. He didn't even tell me I couldn't take one. I just killed him. Bio con Dios, sir. Bio con Dios. Hey there. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Stefan. And they've given you a face? You can call me Ruin. Gonna be bear level to get well, a face. Welcome aboard. Glad to have another strong back to help out. Well, you're pretty handy with that sword. Cutlass. That's a cutlass. Oh, Cuddy, there we go. Can you teach me how to use it? Because I'm really bad right Sorry, now. Sorry, my mistake. At least I didn't say scimitar, eh? <laughs> I'll give you that. 
I'm Calvin Christopher Corrin the Third. Most people just call me Cotty. C cubed. I'm His Royal Highness, the Fourth Duke of Arstamuth, Sir William Rowan. <laughs> Arstamuth. You can call me Rowan. Ah, sir. Such a cunning linguist, yeah. What wit? We're going to be good friends. <laughs> well met. Well met. I wish Cuddy had a face, then I'd really know we're going to be good friends. Oh, hey, new guy. Welcome to the hideout. Definitely. Got one of the uh, Quest for Glory voices there. Thanks, chum. No problem. Now I've got to get back to putting the vibe out, if you catch my drift. Yeah, but now that old desperate vibe. Got it. Yeah. It's kind of the vibe I, I get. you. Ha! Well, that's an icebreaker. Uh, yeah. Well, that's just a mighty fine restringing job on that boat. Well, thanks. Welcome to the crew, mate. I only have one rule for you. Anything. Put the seat down when you're done, you filthy animal. It's the same rule applied to Chewy. Kurt says you're on the level. Beat him in a drinking contest. <laughs> yeah, episode two. Only other person I've ever seen beat him was his mother. Oh, awesome woman. You betcha. Da, 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 da. So you got bunks. Oh, they got a dartboard. The last thing you should be doing is trying to steal. I'm trying to steal. I want to play darts. You'd Holy. better not take any treasure without Kurt telling you to. It's everybody's booty, and they'd get mad at you. Fair enough. All right, so we got our job. I can't wait. Uh. Ah, uh, not too much. Just honest man. Try. I don't know what's up. What do you? Talked about all this already. This is the same stuff we talked about in the hey. tavern. All right, we got a the uh, brigands job though. It's exciting. Let's go back to Rome. Uh, yeah, let's go back to Rome. It's a moose. You don't want to touch the moose. Don't I? You would try to talk to a moose, wouldn't you? <laughs> Such a Rome thing. Oh, you I got to feel something was amiss when you. I have no health though right now. This guy might kill me. <laughs> Miss. Damn it. Definitely try to. <clears throat> mm. He's kind of weak. Damn <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> Uh, you are rendered unconscious. You have Jared ten. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Every time I wake up, what's my health at right now? Well, you know what? It, there are worse ways to get your uh, your health back. You eat your daily ration, knowing that it will keep you fit and healthy for. What time is it? Did I just waste a whole day? Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Oh, uh, do you want some of this moss I found, by the way? I know it's not like the special moss. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if you don't have any money, that's a good question. He'd be like, well, next time I'll let you bleed out. It's a horse. I should probably check this map that he gave me, by the way. You pull out. Oh, nice. Sweet. Little shortcuts now. Tower Bridge, that's where he said we're doing the job, right? You head up. He didn't say when exactly. In front of you is the massive Tower Bridge. It's a beautiful piece of stone. So here's the bridge Shame that's it's all down. Not washed away. It'll probably take them months to fix it. Yeah, that's why we're stuck in this area for the duration of the game until they get that fixed. A man comes out of the bridge and walks over to you. No money, go blah blah. Hello, can I help oh, you? Oh, right, Hummel. Yeah, they told me about you. Yes, I'm just a traveler. I see the bridge is gone. <laughs> I see the bridge is gone. It's not this guy's fault, bro. Yes, it'll be out for some time. My name is Jared Hummel. I'm the guardian of this place until the King's Work Corps come to fix the bridge. Hmm. You can call me Ruim. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Does he need someone here? Is just like to make sure it doesn't get worse? I don't see how it can. What can I help you with? Well, 
It appears that the snow melt off the mountains was much more severe this year, dislodging large ice chunks and sending boulders downstream. I was not here at the time. I was dining with Frederick and Rin in Hermit Homestead. Didn't ask for an alibi. I don't know. Not blaming you, Hummel. We heard a terrible sound and saw water rushing through the canyon, along with the rubble from the bridge. I immediately made my way north to find the bridge destroyed. Hmm. They are an amazing bunch of builders and engineers. They could construct an impregnable castle using only cow dung and mud. I find that hard to believe. They're on their way to start this repair project as soon as they finish with an assignment they're currently on. To be honest, sir, the project has not been told to us yet. It's quite secretive. All I know is that it's being built in the north, about 20 leagues from the Castle Conninglist. Yes, the people there are very friendly and harmless. They just want to live in peace. I often trade and spend time with them. I've known Frederick since I was a child. Hmm. Tyr is actually a wondrous marvel. You really must walk the King's Road and go see it. The gates alone will take your breath away. Tyr is actually... Oh, it's a nice little town, I guess. I don't spend too much time there. I guess I just don't care for it. <laughs> Tell me how you really Rayford, feel. Eh? <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Rayford. He's a bastard. It's pretty much what everyone uses to describe him. As a bastard. Oh, those are horrible. Just some old house that burned down. Please, stop back again any time to chat. It's nice to have visitors. You bastard. Now All right. you go and drink most of the beer. Uh, Fat Rob, we're about to pull a job. Can you try to keep it together? Rose, I, I drank it all. It's like Chewie just standing there with his little Graham Cracker Adventure hat on and his little scarf. Just being like, ugh, I'm clearly the most skilled one here. The absolute pile of unmitigated shit. You there, move yourselves from the road, you drunk assholes. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't take us seriously either. What? This road? Where else are we supposed to drink? All right, we're all lying secretly. Uh, I'm coming down there to talk to you, Miss Crint. Ambush. Oh, okay, while well, they're talking. You need to move closer. You need... You need to... You need to... So the... Hey! You! What are you doing? Hey, my stealth. Maybe we should have been sneaking. It seems as though the guards have spotted... <laughs> well, that didn't go as planned. Ah! Oh, your... It's alright, we'll get right back there. All we did was take a look at our map, and it launched us right you up there. You had in a man. Talk to him right quick. So clearly we weren't supposed to come at it this way. Hello. Yeah. So yeah. We could have seen all our friends first, but. It a we I there to to be t oh oh oh. All right. Please. Bye. You still don't see why I instantly lose or die or whatever happens i mean there's what three of them and one two three four five we have a bear come on numbers don't matter we have a talking bear you need to hey it seems You unhitch the cart from the horses. There you go. You need to move. You need. You need. There we go. Yeah. No. <laughs> Chewy. Oh. Guy just pissed himself. I do not blame him one bit. 
Hey, nice work back there. That was easy. I'm glad to have someone like you on the team. What was the point of everyone else? Seems like me and Chewie did all the heavy lifting. Ah, uh, just doing my job. Picked the hard way. That's interesting. Well, that was quick. But, infamy is well up. And I guess we made. Do we make any money off of that? It's a leather pack. You have some blood. No. <sighs> I don't know what that's about. Risking my life here. Hey, Cassidy. You missed us meeting a talking bear if you're just tuning in. What can I help you with? Do you see all that craziness that just happened right on the Please. other side of that hill, Hummel? You pull open the door. What is that? Fancy animated cupcake? The cake is a lie, Mr. Rowan. The cake is a lie. I'll see about that. You take the cake and eat Ooh. it. Tastes like cake. What? Did you think it would give you special magical powers or something? No. But I thought maybe he'd come in and like start crying, be like, "That that what, that cake was meant to tide me over until the king's men arrive." I don't know. Why is there just cake there for us to eat? It's no use. You're not built for this kind of work. And then... hmm. it's a weird area right here. I don't know what we're meant to do with it. See, so, yeah, clear that out. Can I get myself They're a new all rusty sword and now? Bucket. You gather a few pebbles. Oh. You don't. You don't want. You all. You already. But I. Okay. We have pebbles. That's good. You don't want to drink. You all. You already carry. Is there any fancy moss? We can jar up. There must be a. No. What an interesting interpretation. <laughs> Of uh, the command I just gave. I don't know why we keep ending up in here. You try with all... Whatever it... <sighs> Okay. <laughs> Murdered some guy because he... Some apple picker because he ignored us. Strictly speaking, that's not entirely true. But yeah, we'd kill him. Looks like you don't want the old noose. It's probably covered in blood and piss. Blood, maybe. But piss? That'd be quite the accomplishment. Aiming up in that way. All right, I guess we're. You're already. Seems like the sights are off on the screen. You're already carrying pebbles right up there. All right. Well, at least we have pebbles from this screen. That's something, I suppose. All the random animals just walking around that you can't do anything with. Uh, haven't been over here yet. Again, I keep oh, going on hey. and on about... Oh, I remember you. Country superstar Swart. Hey, Swart. Mr. Rome, you old rascal. We saw you back on day one or two. That's what happened. Why do you stay here? Ah, well, when I got to the bridge, it was all washed away. The man up there said it'd be out for a few more weeks while the king assembled a team to fix it. Yeah. Yep, it's washed out and gone, all right. The man at the bridge said the mountain snow melted so fast it all came down in chunks, ruined the bridge. He's a decent fella, I guess. Kinda quiet. I think he must yeah. live there alone. Said his name is Hummel. Yeah, it seems okay. Yeah, we set up a nice little camp here. I might try to sell a thing or two while I'm waiting. Ah, but I'll be here for a while, so if you ever need me, just holler. Oh, she's doing just fine. She's a strong girl. Aren't you, girl? Mastodon didn't try to hump her, did he? Take care, sir. Good to see you, as always. Mister, I like the way you wear that hat. Little deliverance reference there. Hello, sir. Hello, stranger. Welcome to home at Homestead. All are welcome here. Ren, you sound like you have a cold, Ren. Looks like we got yourselves a nice party going on here. <laughs> we do enjoy our time here. Is it not lovely? Beautiful. I'd retire here and make awful looking toys. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Anyway, 
make yourself at home. Feel free to ask me any questions. Oh, forgive me. My name is Rin, grandson of Frederick. My grandfather gathers himself firewood, so he's off right now. You can usually find him here, around the fire after dark. Okay. Well, as far as I can remember, travellers from all over have been gathered at this grotto. There's no rule or law here other than act to others as you would to yourself. I like that rule. Well, right now, the bridge to the north is out. It was washed out by the melt one day, the water just began rushing. Yes. It's been a real and Does seem odd. Out. Just yesterday, we had a stranger who showed up and decided to stay because the bridge is out. You're talking about... He introduced himself yeah, a sword. sword country. He was he's a superstar a sword. Donkey. He's made himself a little home in some of the ruins just to the south of here. He's been a very nice fellow so far. Yeah, I like sword. Yeah, yeah, we did the, uh, the quest for glory. When we did all the different character types, those were streams. The paladin wizards, at least. Good times. Goodbye, sir. Take care and enjoy your time in the homestead. Thank you, Ren. What? You enter oh. the makeshift tent of the gypsies. Nice. It's dark inside, but you see your seat in front of a woman who smiles warmly. Is she the Magda of this game? Where's Davy to tell me how Rome is a good name and a strong name? Welcome, welcome. It is good to see you, friend. I enjoy meeting new people. I am Karenina, and you are Mr. Rome, are you not? You psychic? Oh, you're certainly good at it. She's like, I heard you talking outside. Well, I claim nothing. <laughs> I only offer advice. Would you care for me to read your fortune? It's like you're talking to my grandson five feet away. I heard the whole conversation. Sure. Yes, please. Just ten blies, please. You pay the ten blies. Everybody wants ten blies. Whether it's resurrecting me or reading my fortune. Your future blies. seems cloudy. Come back again later so I can try again. Give me my money Thank back. You for visiting, friend. What? Please do come back again. Pay ten bucks for a reply hazy try again later? I don't think so. I mean, I can't do anything about it, but that's not cool. Hello? Who are you? What do you want? Uh... It's okay, Grandfather. Remember, all are welcome here. I know, but this one looks shifty. This is Mr. Rowan, Papa. Yeah. Nice to meet you, sir. Your love and protection of your home is commendable. See? He knows how to talk to the, uh, the older generations. Nice. Hmm. He's a charmer, that Rome. Sorry, he gets a bit muddled. That's okay. I just hope I'm half as keen as he is when I'm his age. <laughs> and that I'm surrounded by a gaggle of young women who attend to my needs. There you go. Thank you for understanding. Please, make yourself at home. <laughs> Come back later. She's already folded up and left. That's right. Can I get some uh, ashes or something from the fire? Man, I can play Quest Story 5 as Magnum. Uh, Magnum Opus. Until he gets murdered. Sorry, spoilers, everybody. Oh, hi, good sir. Well met, stranger. You may call me Jonas. My name is... Might I have the pleasure of your name? You may call me Rowan, good sir. Rome. Nice to speak with you, Mr. Rowan. I must get back to cleaning my wares. If you come back later, I should have my bows cleaned and restrung, if you like. We can have a shooting contest. Ooh. Ah, sounds like a fun time. You enjoy your cleaning. <laughs> An archery contest. Ha! Right. So I shall. Talk to you soon. Long days and pleasant nights. And to you. Can we have that archery contest right now? The arrows are stuck in the tree firmly. Hello, Mr. Rowan. Oh, yes. I enjoy the sport. It's not only a fun game, but it's also a great defense, offense, and a tool with which to hunt. Yes. Yeah. It's the skill that keeps on giving. If you'd like to challenge me in target practice, I'd love the game. 25 flies down says that you can't beat my score. Double or nothing. All right. I will take that wager. Oh, wonderful. Jonas. You can use my extra bow. Let's go. The game's afoot. The game is simple. Just beat my score. 325. <laughs> just take your word for it, I suppose. I just, st I just scored 1 million points. Good luck. Alright, how does this work? 
Oh. Oh god. Bullseye, 100 points. Excellent. Hell yeah. Beginner's luck, I suppose, Jonas. Okay. 50 points. Not too bad at all. Yeah. How many arrows do I get? 75 points. Very good, sir. Very good, sir. It's like a carny. 225. I need another 100 plus to beat his score. 75 points. Very good, sir. All right, as long as I get at least a 50. 50 points. Not too bad at all. Nice. Very nice, sir. Five arrows down. Well, you've beaten my score. Here's your 50 blies. Sweet. Uh, not Very nice, sir. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> it really does. It's like a carnival worker. I'll play again after I've saved. Hello, Mr. It's the Rome way. Oh, wonderful. Don't you know? The game is simple. Just beat my score. 250? Getting worse. 25 points. Oh. Never done this in my life. 50. I'm crushing you. I'm not even trying that hard this time. 50. All right, well, the bow's kind of going. 75 points. All right, 250. 75 points. Ah, Very nice, sir. Just eked it out. Well, you've beaten my score. Very nice. That's a good way to make some money, finally. Hello, Mr. Oh, wonderful. The game is simple. 350. Seventy-five points. Ah, Very come good, on, sir. that's a bullseye, Jonas, and you know it. Fifty points. Bullseye. What? Bullseye. What? Sweet. Seventy-five points. Very nice, sir. Well, you've beaten my. Jeez. Very nice, sir. One hundred eighty. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, we could do this all day. It's a leather. You have some blither. Nice. All right. You know what? It all kind of works out because, like, that lady stole ten lies off of me by just giving me a garbage eight ball reading. More than making it back up from this guy, so. Hello there, miss. Hello there, stranger. Can I help you? I am Cora. Pleased to meet you. Hello, Cora. Pleased to meet you. You can call me a ruin. I've lived here all my life. Sometimes we'll travel out and about into the world, going north to get more supplies as needed, but we've always come home here. I sew and knit these items for our use. Occasionally, I sell some to people. Where and when I get the opportunity. Well, I just came into some money. Do you sell a lot of them around here? Oh, yes. In the cold months, I sew them up as robes to keep the townsfolk in Volksville warm. I have one here I can sell you, Mr. Rowan. It's a bit warm for them at the moment, though. It's always good to be prepared. Yes, I suppose it is. Would you like the robes? Only 50 blies for you. Suppose so. One good performance in archery, I'll take it. Here you go. A lovely set of handmade white robes. Thanks. Hmm. It was a pleasure to chat with you, Roam. Oh, I feel like I should do this one more time. Hello, Mr. Ro I wonder. The game is 325. 75 points. Very good, sir. That's a gimme. 50. Bullseye. That's the best shot I've ever made. Bullseye. Count it. Bullseye. Very nice, Ow. sir. Five. Well, you've beaten. All right. Very nice. Crushing it. Not a skill, but. All right. We're doing just fine. Looks like a nice place to fall and die. Maybe we can 
scale it. Whatever you're trying, whatever you're trying, whatever them them must. That doesn't. Uh. The rapid swirl violently below. Yeah, let's not go down there and this die. If I should talk to Frederick. I miss talking to that interesting guy in the tavern because I got. He just turns his shit. Can you stop it like that? Uh. You know, I'm not just some crazy old man. In fact, I know some things that might interest you. Trouble is, I'm interested in something from you. Are you willing to perhaps trade some services for what I know? What kind of services are we talking, Freddy? Well, see, I need some Kaiser wood. It only grows in the swamp on the other side of the valley, and I'm not wandering over there. I need my fireflies. If you can go there and get me some, I'd be willing to talk about whatever you like. Just tell me anything at all. All right. My journeys were going to take me there anyway. You, rub, you already carry. You rub your hands all over yourself like a showgirl. You think about an alternative career should the need arise. Uh -huh. All right. Oh man, where? Oh, there's somewhere I wanted to go. Pull out my trusty map. Maybe we should go. You pull out. Oh, there, we can go to Tyr, finally. I feel like we should check in on our... There's the Hermit Homestead. Tower Bridge, the Graveyard. Probably just a lot of places we haven't unlocked, really, either. The map, you decide... Hmm. Is this where those hunters were? Man, I wish I could fight them again. You have no. Huh. A pine cone? You pick up the pine cone, thinking to yourself that it's the biggest damn pine cone you've ever seen. It's pretty large. You play around with. It's a stump. Sometimes adventure game designers put stumps in the game just to annoy you. This is one of those stumps. Enjoy. I will. So I guess we haven't been in the Southwoods yet. I would have remembered all this. Uh, we have an old mine shaft here. This is an old mine. It goes into the side of the mountain, and it's incredibly boring. <laughs> Boy, I just told you this, I'll never know. This is an old pup tent. It's pretty big, so you imagine the dwarves slept in a pile in there, which is not pleasing to think about. The smell alone could kill a grown man. Not the kids. The kids seem to like it. To a point. Whatever it is. There's nothing except, you know, root around in the ashes for something. Your oddness has paid off, because there is a few blies in there. Nice. All right, well, stop yelling at me for everything else I'm trying to touch in this game. Narrator. Let's go back to three. So we have like an odd number of blocks. It's a leather. You have some blood. Eh, whatever. Can I go inside? Yeah. Huh. I feel like I've seen pickaxes somewhere before. Whatever it. You're standing in the entrance of what appears to be a fairly large dwarven. Good thing it's all nicely lit. I thought I'd need my. There's always something flying around. I'm getting stuck over there. <laughs> would have thought that I would have needed my uh, my jar with the fireflies. I don't have yet. A little stuff. Ah, oh, we're gonna fight a spider. Yeah, a spider might kill me, so let's save. <laughs> I was so excited. Let's do it. You could feel something. With <laughs> oh, my percentage went up. Excellent. Oh, this little bugger is doing 12 damage a clip. Damn it. Spit 
on me. Man, the number of like close battles I've lost. Dwarven miners. Yeah. Hmm. You could. So I can't run, but I probably could have snuck by it. Damn it. Man, we gotta get better at fighting. Maybe the library in tier will have some books on not sucking in combat. Damn it. Every third hit, we're whiffing with our percentages. Yeah, we do need healing potions. Damn it. Damn it. There's no run option here. Damn it. It's not a good damn at time. All right, same outcome. Let's just try sneak and bite, even though I don't think we have any business in this. Oh, wow. <laughs> you could came right after me. All right, let's just get out of here after this one. This attempt. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm utterly destroyed this time. All right, let's not fight the spider. Let's run away. Wait, what? It's random? Wait, oh no. Oh, okay, yeah. You're not thirsty. Just a little thirsty. You can't, you can't, besides, they're old and decrepit. I just wanted to check in on my guild. Ooh, somebody wants to go over here, it looks like. Wow, look at this guy. It's like a Norse warrior. At least I have a chance, unlike that spider. We always whiff when we're one hit away. Right. That's how it's done. Deer ran off the screen. Searching the corp. Nice. This map is huge. This makes uh, old Spielberg. Hold on, I missed a. Looked like a brigand. Hello, fellow brigand. If you want to fight him, I admit I do. You can't attack. Did I get that early hit in? Run! I love that animation. <laughs> he doesn't run away from the guy. He runs toward and by the guy. Just leaving the guy confused. The woods have become too dense. Yeah. Is a dryad over that way? Oh no, another spider! <laughs> See ya! Alright, let's get us out of here. Let's head to Boltsville, get some healing potions, now that we've made some money. We can afford these things. Ah, hello Mr. Roham. Come, come, you need to enjoy a good smoke after defeating such a blowhard as Gorth. Man, I forgot how much everybody hated Gorth. Hello again, young master. Welcome to my shop. You got... Uh, it's all so expensive. I'm gonna have to do some uh, bow and arrow grinding when we're not recording. Every real man should have one of these. I don't know. 
don't know what I want to buy. I, know I, get... I like that they're, you know, they're actually smoking their own. It's a good sign, that's what I'm trying to say. Well, this is my humble little shop. I've been all over the world, but I have found myself enjoying this valet very much. I like it too, Armand. Plus, I get clientele from all over the world who come to sample my blends. The port ships in much of my leave, all of which I have found myself during my travels. I have personally set up the shipping and delivery of each item. Plus, it's a lovely city to visit when I have time. He has been most kind to me, and he protects my interests. Wow, someone who actually likes Ray Rayford. Ah, back there is the gentleman's smoking room. When it is free, you may go back and smoke at your leisure. I have designed it to make one feel as if they are transported to a different land. That's cool. It is a fine plant, if properly cured and treated. It is the most wondrous way to spend your leisure time. I stay away from such drugs. They have been known to cause wars in other countries. That's true. Yeah. What a sweet town, is it not? A fine place for a man like me to live. Quiet, out of the way, yet if I need to travel, many options are open to me. With the bridge out, it is difficult to go north, but I always have the port of Tyr to take me many places. Right. Goodbye, young master. Well, I don't really know what My to buy from you right now, you. Armand. I know that it won't save me in battle, so... We didn't talk to Chris Angel since we killed uh, Gort. What, oh, mate? What can I do for you? Gort. Nice work on that one, mate. Good riddance, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm selling maps of Lunaria. These will help you get around quicker for sure. Only hundred blies. Uh, well, eh, you know, I got one from Kurt. I'm a brigand. Nice to meet you. Not trying to brag. All right, let's see. What Hello again. Welcome to my shop. I hope you like it, and I hope I can be of assistance. I mean, you've already brought we me have back from potions the, and elixirs. the dead toys. Also, you should know I'm buying components for my potions. All right. You want some, like... Oh, I, re I already tried giving it to you. Well, hold on here. There must... I'd like to purchase some items. Of course, of course. So, let's see. Relic. Can't afford that. Empty flask. Uh, possibly. You have purchased the. You have. Grab two of those. This is the health. Alright, we definitely need some of these. They are expensive, but. You have purchased a heat. You have. You have Let's grab three of those. That should help us save our skin during battle. That again, just getting killed only costs us 10, and it brings us back to full health, but we kind of lose a day, so. You know. Hello there. I'm doing well, thanks. I've got some new reagents for some new potions today, so as you can see, I'm very excited. Can you see? It's my shop. My father was a farmer, but I decided to learn the art of mixing potions, portices, and other healing and health arts. It's definitely my life's work. Don't like planting things. Don't like fresh air. I grow a lot of my own reagents, but I'm always on the lookout for some of the harder to find items. I will always be able to buy tufts of wolf's fur and the venom sack from giant snakes if you can get them. Thankfully, I haven't run into either of those adversaries. Great little town, huh? I've lived here all my life. Yeah, quite gruesome, yeah? It's funny. Right after an execution, people come in to buy potions like crazy. Bet. You've only got the one, though, best I can tell. <laughs> Which is quite amusing, because I cannot make a potion that reattaches a head. His German sense of humor. He's tough, but fair, I, I suppose. He scares me enough to keep me on the straight and narrow. I can't see you coming off the straight and narrow, Jared. You just strike me as that kind of guy. I have a whole array of health bolstering potions, poultices, and pills. Unfortunately, I'm all out of everything right now. Hmm. Everyone bought out my inventory today. I'll be spending the whole night making more. What fun! You say so. Sounds like it. <laughs> oh, it is. I should be getting a whole uh -huh. bunch of new ingredients from the swamps this evening. 
Yeah, what about the swamp? Oh, yes, the swamp is full of different plants and organisms yeah, that hops. I can use in my potions. There's a little boy from town, uh, Hobbs, who likes to play up there, and he collects things for me. Yeah, I met Hobbs. Oh, yes, Good Hobbs. Good guy. Nice boy. Save my life, I actually. Now, I think for about the it. items he brings. Actually, I hope one day he wants to become a pharmacist, too. Dream big? It gets dark in this swamp, too. So I gave him some glowing fungus to help him attract fireflies so he can see in there. Yeah, where do I get that? Unfortunately, I have none left. But it grows up in the Norse woods, usually on old or dead trees. You can see it easily at night. Huh. We haven't really been out at night. We keep dying and, like, waking up the next morning. You take care now. Stop back tomorrow for more. All right, so what... What's our health at right now? Really bad. Yeah, can we stay at the end? Maybe get some health back? This door is pretty... Is that the other side of the tavern? It's like the back side, maybe. Go have another drink and see Kit. Oh, we gotta talk about that job with Kurt. Yeah. Maybe only in the HQ. Hey, you be taking care. Yeah. That's my favorite barmaid. Ah, oh, the lads are good guys. Farmers they are. They drink their crops. Leave it. Nothing new though. I'll have an ale. I suppose it's not on the boys anymore. Kits. A smile on your face. You know what? Since it's yours, Kit. I'll have one. Here you go, mate. You pay her and begin to sip your drink. It's as refreshing as you hoped it would be. Six or seven of these. Yeah, heard that before. All right. Anything new today, fellas? Leave Bath alone. Huh. Okay. All right. Let's try going to the inn and maybe killing a few. <laughs> You don't. All these people. A dirty, smelly, and rough. You smell. You don't. Weird. It's done. Oh, hello, my. Oh, well, uh, hello. I don't understand why these random no name villagers or townspeople are the ones that, like, get him uh, all frazzled. I must be on my way now. Oh, <laughs> Alright. So we'll wait till evening. Then we will, let's get our meal, by the way. You're no longer hungry. Yeah, okay. Wait till nightfall, go to the tavern, and then we'll check out uh, Volksville and the surrounding areas at night. Still need to go to the to, uh, tier. Ah, uh, the you decide to lie. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Mm, well, let's go evening. You slept until dusk, and you feel amazing for doing so. It is now dusk. Day four. Nice. Topped off our health. Good. Good call, E. Alright, we're ready to... run into a fight again, especially since we have these healing potions. Is there anything you can teach me about well, fighting, hello. Ned? I'm above ground. Indeed. I mean, I know how to fight, but I'm bad at it. You don't know how to fight. Before we get into combat, always watch out for your enemy. They can be anywhere and tend to hide behind tr You can always run away, or you can choose to attack. Rogues also have the option of attempting I'm to not throw a rogue. A I'm no rogue. Now let's talk about combat itself. I do warn you, I know all of this in theory, but in practice you might s at the top, right above what I'm saying. Sure. You'll see across the bottom of your screen four buttons. These are your basic com- Each of these moves is attached to a statistic. All of your moves use one specific skill, weapon percent hit, which tells you how likely any attacking action taken in combat, whether successful or not, will go towards raising your skill. The first button is stab. Stab. Probably already well did this, done. but still. Now, let's look at- Stab, slash, and hack. Nicely done. Damn it. Hacking is most certainly Damn it. my preferred attack. <laughs> Of course, I really prefer not to get into so You're a hacker, eh, Ned? You've got one final button on your combat panel, so let's try out some blocking. Uh, that's not the right button. 
try paying... Oh, blocking, yeah. Blocking, or avoiding your opponent's weapon, is... Oh, return combat. five health. A successful... So that's the basics of... Oh, okay. before I let you go, I should point... I just turned on a fifth button on your combat panel. This one is your healing... Sure. Hit the button to click, and what... Okay, <laughs> that's... All right. Ooh, night time. Should we have that drink now, Ina? You start. Hello, Miss. Eh, nothing. Well, it was no. nothing new. Hey, hello. Yeah, nothing new. You, you. You'll know. Dinner? No. All right, straight to the pub. Yeah, maybe we can find that that guy that we missed the last couple days. I don't see anyone different here yet. Maybe not till night falls. <coughs> Why did I? Uh, map out. North Woods. This looks like fancy cologne. You pull Graveyard. South Woods. Where are the North Woods? Mountain you head to path. Oh right, this is where we found the horse. We never went up higher though. Maybe this is where the cult is hanging out. You try to open the door, but you realize it's been rusted shut. Outhouse. Well, you've just broken the lock on this mighty outdoor tree. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. You peer inside. No, just <laughs> no. God, no! <laughs> you should never, ever, ever, ever open it again. It was locked for a reason, <laughs> and you believe that reason to be some extremely rotten curry. Oh. Alright, say no more. Let's see where this leads us. Oh, wow. How about that for a view? You can see the Valley of Krasna laid out before you. It looks pretty majestic from this vantage point, actually. You can see the large bridge that crosses the Great River, but the bridge itself is out and in ruins. Right. You can see an... You can see the Valley of... You can see the... You can see a little collection of tents and carts over there. Yeah, we know what that is. You can see the Valley of... There's the town. You can see the little town of Volksville down the valley. Huh. This path winds tightly up the side of the mountain, leading on. You try with all. You could continue walking this way through the mountains for weeks, <laughs> just to say hi to the Baron and his sons, who I'm sure would be happy to let you reside in their dungeons for eternity. Let's not do that. I agree. <sighs> all right. You put. We need more waypoints up in the north. Here still. You head up towards. <laughs> so moon, I just saw you. Hello. <laughs> so lovely here at uh, in the evening. Oh, I see a sneaky goblin. Rah! Rah! <laughs> Get that preliminary whack in. <laughs> I'm right, gonna do it Ned style. Get some hacking in for our man. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Just gotta get lots of reps. It's the only way we'll get our percentages up. Ew. Nice work. That's for spitting on me. Our hacking's going up. Searching the core. Sweet. Oh, that uh, Jack fellow's gone. The, the wizard. What the hell would you want? <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. I can sell some fruit up. Oh, you want to go? There's you don't. Ah. I forgot I bought some flasks, so yeah, we should try gathering liquids in those now. Good call. 
Getting some good reps here tonight. Our hack is going up. Probably makes more sense to put weapon hit percentage. Probably makes more sense to just keep working one skill in particular. Get that up. Do more damage in it. Searching the core, you also found a healing potion. Nice. I'm curious how much we get back. You were cut. But I also don't wanna. Well, I'm not sure we could take on another enemy without this, so let's try it. So we are currently at 28. Ooh, 70%, nice. You drink the healing potion. It's smooth and silky, but tastes like rotten flowers. <laughs> Nevertheless, we feel better. 48. So, not great, but, you know. Definitely not the big winner of the poker game. I missed that goblin. I wish they were around for us to whoop up on. So yeah, let's try one of our empty flasks. You have to be f***ing kidding me if you think you're gonna drink that water. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. You have to be You have to- Alright, but there's more water everywhere. To... We have to keep trying to get all the various liquids of the, uh, of the land. You have to be f***ing kidding me. Is this place any different at night, I'm wondering? Is the gravedigger still here? Man, you work long hours, my friend. Greetings, sir. Hello. There's always time to chat. Well, it's said that people go in, stay a night, and never come out. Yeah. Well. You rest for... It'll be proper night shortly. We still have no business in the basement of that one building until we learn the secret code. You still out here, Hobbs? It's getting dark, man. Hello there. How can I help? Nothing else. I already know your name. Goodbye. I don't like that it re you have reset the dialogue options. Is that fruit or just part you of the tree? Oh, okay. Well, it's pretty over there. There's no you can't just you can't ah. That was early. Alright. I'm gonna get hacked to 100. Keep an eye on how much more damage you're doing each time with a hack. Fives. You have a feeling of Pride surge within you at your victory. Nice job. Nice job. It's a Oh, what are they called? Search. A Rakuti? It's a Rakiti. 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 Cousin Rakiti. to the goblin, except huh. for the red pigmentation of their skin. The nasty little bastards and cheated cards. So lovely here at dusk. It's our fishermen friends. Well, we'll wait till proper night. Let's head back to the inn. You head off to wood. We get a quick nap and sleep until <laughs> night time. <laughs> So at least we got some fights. We got our stats up just a little bit. Now hopefully we can get our health back. And then uh, explore at night time. Uh, See how differently that looks. You slept until the night. It is now night. So we're probably, we were at like 40 before. So that topped us off. 
attacking is at 50. Oh, you know what? You climb. Actually, it's not a, that's not bad. I don't mind getting my climbing up that way. I want to go see if we can talk to this guy finally. This fascinating guy that everybody's been talking about. As you begin to speak. Okay. I would have bought you around. I'm relatively moneyed at the moment. Walking into the bar, you see the usual drunks. The old man standing at the bar, who you've not seen around before, shouts to the room. Here we go. I have returned. Japsworth. And he looks like that, uh, that guy. No shit, Japsworth. You've been sitting there drinking <laughs> for an hour. We didn't realize you'd left. <laughs> I was gone from this cursed land for six months this time. It's like you never left. Thanks, Will Forte. I only came back. Show on you, good people. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Scott for you on, lads. You know it to be true. Tell us again about the ghost, Martin. Oh. Just a moment. Kit. Whiskey. Whiskey? Are you mad? Do you remember last time? If I'm going to be talking, I'll be needing it. Coin first, Martin. You know the rules. Can I buy you a drink, Martin? The old guy really reeks. Hey there, young fella. What's the good word? Hello there, stranger. I'm Martin Japsworth. Professional adventurer, right? Professional adventurer and all-around man of intrigue and mystery. Pleased to meet you. You can call me Rowan. Pleased to meet you. It's always a cold night in Volksville, ever since the day. You don't know of the curse of the Killingtons? I'd like to know more about that. Well, son, if you buy me a drink, I'll tell you a story of such hey, tragedy, such despair, such mystery. You won't be sorry, I promise. It's the guy that trapped his family in the burning house, right? Uh, sure. Well, I won't say no to a whiskey if you're buying. <laughs> well, boy, this starts over 50 years ago, when I was just a young boy. My father, God rest his soul, was the butler and caretaker of the Killington family for years. And for years, the Killington family was good, happy, and prosperous. They were the richest people in Volksville. Borgovs. Old Jarvis Killington had made good money in shipping and trade, and he built his family the largest and finest mansion just outside the town of Volksville. In the town, he helped develop Killington Square, built all the posh homes there, and fixed up the big fancy bank. It actually was the heartbeat of the town, sponsoring all kinds of fairs and events. He was a good man, man. and my family prospered along with them. <laughs> Your butt we coming lived on. in a small cottage just outside the main mansion. My father loved the Killingtons like they were his own. It's nice. Jarvis, however, got a bit of wanderlust as he got older and the riches grew. He wanted a new challenge, so he took up travel and adventuring. Maybe that's where you got the bug. He used to leave for months at a time, and always returned with some new exotic trinket from far-off lands. And the tales he told, <laughs> they kept this young boy on his toes. He came back energized after each trip, except for his last. Now there's so much more, You've been to and I could remember it, place called Mordavia. Alas, my drink is empty. Ugh. 
Fine. I can most si Don't fall for his crap. You're just fresh blood for him to babble to and get free drinks from. I don't know. I'm kind of engrossed. Shut up, Olaf. Your wife smells like cow manure. It's quite the uh, comeback. That's because I smell like cow manure, and we sleep together. Where was that recorded? Ah, point conceded. Point conceded, old chum. Me made you look like a fool on that one, Japsworth. Fine. Well, I won't... Oh, when he came home from his last trip, something was different and wrong. He looked drawn and pale, and the treasure he came home with, well, well it, was, it was kind of weird. He called it the Eye of Jaeger, and he seemed obsessed with it. He'd stay up in his room for days with it, never leaving. His whole family became concerned, and when he would come out, He'd ramble incoherently about many different arcane things, stuff best not spoken of. Hmm. I heard some once, and it was like listening to something from the depths of hell. He was going mad. My father was very scared for him. I was scared. Life with the Killingtons was all I knew. It got so bad that his eldest son and heir, Jarvis Jr., left the home, saying he couldn't live with a demon-possessed and jewel-obsessed man. No one knows what happened to Jarvis Jr. either. It was said he went up north to the Kingdom of Yara to start anew, but no one's heard or seen from him since. Things got worse for the poor Killington family after Jarvis Jr. left, oh. and more odd things occurred. I remember it well, but uh, I would remember it better with a refill on my whiskey. How much is each of these costing me? <laughs> I could most doubt for Ask up. Something had a hold on him. It wasn't good. We should talk some more over a drink. Fine. Well, I won't say no yeah, to yeah, yeah. Well, see, my father was so loyal that he wouldn't leave. Even when Jarvis started looking like a living skeleton. Drink slower this time. His whole family took sick. My father took sick too, but he'd never show it. He was too proud. Huh. The house fell into disarray. Jarvis wandered the halls, screaming like a madman. His wife and daughters took to hiding in the study and locking the doors. There was madness there, and whispers of the strange gem he brought home. Whoa. I was little, but I heard. I heard about the gem, how it had no equal, how it was priceless, and they called it the Eye of Jaeger. Though it was the, the final act that... Uh, uh, really threw a wrench into my life. Uh, 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 the fire. Uh, the horror. Uh, the, the horror. His eyes trail off as if lost in his mind. <laughs> The fire? It... It took the whole family. Oh. All of them. Burned alive. Locked in the house. And my father tried to save them, but... The flames were too great. The last thing he saw was... The insane smile of Jarvis Killington. Damn. I don't think I can drink enough to forget the screams. Wow. So what... Did you come to warn us about, though? Thought you were. I make. Well, I. So yes, all that, all that happened, and it was terrible. But did I ever tell uh... you about the time I fought the bulls in the Coliseum of Narsica? I thought you had. Well, uh, no, you definitely have not. <laughs> Well, well, Sonny, oh, no. you are in for a story. 
Uh, when I left this godforsaken place, I used my powers I gained from the grimoire I stole from Jarvis to magically be able to beat bulls. Beating bulls is a magical power. Its power comes from beating bulls. So you have to beat bulls to be able to beat bulls. <laughs> you see what I mean? No. It's like it's like a circular power. It's amazing. It's just like you. You're like the best man ever. Uh, I hear you beat bulls too. <laughs> we should start a team. Uh, describe the beginning of every classic success story. I killed Gorth and an apple picker for ignoring me. Good old stories. Well, so yeah, it's but There you go. Woo. It was great talking with you. How much money did I burn on that man? It's a leather. You have some blight. I don't know how much I had going into it. Well, that was fun. What do you think of him, kid? He's mostly harmless. Staggers in here every so often. Rambles on about the Killington curse, treasures, ghosts, and his father. Try not to get him too hey, drunk, Brit. even if he is entertaining you. Uh, I think that ship sailed. It's bought him like five whiskeys. Goodbye. Hey, you know anything on Hey. Wait a minute. Any news uh, about that? Not too much. Uh, okay, nothing new. We gotta go back to the brigand's hideout. Hey. Gotta go see that talking bear again. Leave Barcelona. All right. Well, that was. Hey. Oh, <gasps> it's Kayana from the crazy, uh, the crazy cult people. Hi, <laughs> strange lady, standing in the dark at night. You're not suspicious or anything. <laughs> Please, I'm as harmless as a fly. If I wanted to hurt you, I'd have done it by now. I suppose so. If you wanted to hurt me, you'd tell me we were somehow related. <laughs> Well, we're not, but we do have something in common. Yeah? What's that? Well, we both know something about the curse of the Killington family. Uh, the plot thickens. What? That story old Jatsworth is raving on about. That's <laughs> wash. Did you buy him five whiskeys too? Not necessarily. There is much truth in what he says. That there was a mansion in Eberon Down. I saw that with my own eyes. Yeah. Yes, that, and there really is such a gem known as the Eye of Yaga. That makes everyone crazy. Really? Is it in a museum? No, it's lost. As lost as the entire Killington clan. I don't know, that one son got away, they said, and went north. Lost, eh? Yes, lost. But perhaps not gone. Mysterious. So why should I care? A gem like that is beyond value. I think someone like you might be interested in that. Belongs in a museum. Yeah, then I assume someone found it long ago. No, it's been missing since the mansion, and all of the Killingtons inside of it burned to the ground. Lovely. You know now I'm going to dream about fires, gems, and a burning family. Remind me to thank you and Japsworth sometime. Yeah. Don't dream of that. Just think about it. You could recover something like that and slip away quietly. Why are you telling me? Yeah. So why are you offering me any kind of help? Yeah. I noticed you the other day at the town gates. You seemed like someone who could pull off something like this. And yes, it will benefit me if you do. But I will tell you of that later. Put like a Katrina vibe on me, Kayana? Of course you will. She slides her arms back, and the cloak that covers her opens a little, revealing a little of the skimpy outfit beneath. Trying to play us like a fiddle. Whoa, there, kitten. I appreciate the thought, but it's not doing a thing for me believing a story about some stupid gem. <laughs> Look, I'll be back tomorrow. Why don't you go do a little research on what I've been talking about? The Killingtons, the Eye, etc. And we can discuss things another night. Well, I do need to go to the library and, uh, tear. Well, I suppose. If you're buying a drink. Just be here. I'd recommend starting at the Library of Tear. Yeah, everyone's telling me to go there. Okay, that sounds logical. And for a token of my gratitude in this matter, here's 50 Blyes. That's not a 
big deal. Well, I can't turn down a pretty lady paying me, can I? Yeah, you can. If all goes well, there will be plenty more from us. The cult people? Now, when you go looking, keep this word in mind. Sentai. Sentai. Sentai? What? That might be the code word at the bottom of the, uh... No, Sentai. Trust me. Well, I had to say this has been interesting, Miss, uh... Just call me Kayana. Okay. Absolutely. Good night, Miss Kayana. Kind of thought she'd cast a spell. Well, I'll just stay in town a few days. Wait till they fix the bridge. Catch a ship. Ooh, boy. <laughs> oh, I'm in deep now. Little diehard reference there. I'm talking to myself. Come on out to LA. Have a few laughs. Love it. Alright. We have a busy night ahead of us. Let's make the most of it. You climb over the town gate. Deftly. There's that guy's head. Whoa! It's the severed head of Marcus Van Houten. Sadly, it doesn't look too good separated from his body. It's holding up pretty well, for what it's worth. Right. Yeah, the music is... What? This is awkward. Look, I can't stay long. It's getting too dangerous. We just saw each other. For who? For us both. Look, you need to find someone related to the Killingtons to find out anything about the Eye. So the oldest son. Yeah, so how do I do that? They kept really good records in Tyr. Try the library. Remember, you promised to help. Yeah, and you gave me five minutes before you started nagging me about it. Who said I keep my promises? I do. She flashes a charming smile at you. Damn, she's right, you know. <laughs> also, visit Hermit Homestead. I think that someone there might know what happened to Jarvis Killington Jr. after he left the manor. The older man, yeah, we need to get him something from the swamp before he's going to tell us anything. It's all setting up. Right. I have to go now. I'll contact you later. Probably. I'll call you. <laughs> In her uh, mind, probably means we'll see her on the next screen. So we haven't traveled. There we go. There's our fireflies. Brilliant. Oh, but we need... We need the fancy stuff, don't we? To attract them. He said we'd find it on a log in the Northwoods, I think. The, f the fireflies seem to evade you. Right. All right. I'll be back. got all night. I have to imagine there's going to be enemies peeking out at night as well. Not exactly sure where the North Woods are. Oh, oh, okay. What have we stumbled upon now? You once fought a spectre for nearly an hour, oh. as it didn't hurt you as much, but it never seemed to die. Huh. Might need special powers to take down the spectre. You could feel some. We'll see. Damn it! Does the hack do anything? Damn it! Damn it! Oh yeah, no, that, that landed. Guess it's vomiting poison all over us. That bastard is never gonna bother you again. Nice. Let's go through its pool of ooze. Searching the corpse Whoa. reveals some. All right. I know where Kiana got that money she paid me off with. North Woods. Wow, beautiful. These aren't the fireflies we're going for, but that's still lovely. 
you enter this beautiful clearing and you see some very odd trees at the end of the corridor blocking your path. You swear they could have faces. You begin to think that maybe Armin slipped you something in that notorious Jondarian weedy cells. <laughs> we didn't buy. Uh, he's gonna pick me up Rosella style. I need the axe to swing that I couldn't pick up from that log. What the hell? <laughs> hey, let's not be around the bush here, kid. Cardagas. Oh my god! I can't believe you just said beat around the bush. <laughs> I didn't even plan that. Look, I wasn't trying to be funny or ironic. I was just talking to this kid. Hey, you, kid. You deaf for something? Uh. Yes. Got the other thing. He used to play in a band. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, kid. Very funny. Why are you calling me, kid? Yeah. Because compared to me, you are a kid. He's over 211 years old. Not to brag, but yeah, nice he's not. I made it over two centuries. That's you nice. Put the mouth on me, I'm surprised. Own it. Love that. <laughs> so, what the hell are you doing in our garden? Uh... Thought I'd take a piss in your... I mean, that is the Rome response. That stream is just our piss. We don't exactly oh. have toilets around here, you know. Oh, my comment's not nearly as funny now. <laughs> Don't be mean to the kid. Look, kid, you seem all right, but we're very protective of our garden. And we don't like people abusing it. Appreciate that. Yeah, or walking through it. There's a small... I mean, we gotta get some tree piss, right? You put some water in your flask. Nice. Uh, I don't know if we should fill both these up. Can I, like, empty this? Whatever you're trying... Whatever... Whatever... There's nothing... Hold on, where's the one with water? Whatever you're... Tr you take a sip of water. Ah, water! Nectar of the gods! Yes! You can feel water going down your throat. What else did you expect? I love the King's Quest V description of water. The grandiose... Ah, oh, water. Life-giving nectar of the gods. Fantastic. That is a deep reference right there. I like that. Nice nod. Oh! I don't... guess those tree amps don't mess around. I don't like that. They rip you in two as easily as you would rip a piece of paper. They seem nice until, you know... You're... <laughs> that really hurt. Alright. Oi there, wood traveler. Nope. Yeah. See you later, talking trees. Well, some people call this the 99 Acre Woods. Others just call it the North Woods. The Killingtons used to call it their private forest. We call it home. Well, we can't all talk. Lodomir and I can. Everyone else is just too wooden. Wooden! Ha! <laughs> get it, kid? This is our clearing. If you want to get by, you gotta strike up a deal with kind of deal? Well, I was hoping you'd ask. Me and Set Rodemir, them on fire. we're conservationists. We want to preserve the beauty of the woods. Yeah. But those ass clowns in the ass south clowns. woods run that place like it's a lumber yard. There's a special kind of pine that only grows down there. We need you to bring us a pine cone from one of the trees down there so we can reseed it up here and ensure it doesn't disappear. I just happen to have a novelty-sized pine cone in my pants right now, Car like a plan. Cardigus. Come back! Those ass clowns in the south. There it is! Sure glad I picked this up when I was wandering those... ...southern woods. Well, Radomir! Would you look at this nice young man! I'm yep. nice. Fan of nature he is. Good conservationalist. <laughs> you hand the pine cone to Cardigas. Wow, my word! Have you ever seen anything so pretty? I'm just happy to get it out of my pants. Never! Well, time to do what it's time to do. And what would that be? Cardigas shoves the pine cone into his mouth and crunches. Oh, so good! <laughs> hey, you said you would share. 
<laughs> I forgot. Aw, that's mean. Ow. Oh. Deal's a deal, kid. We'll let you through now. We could have a sleep and get this pine growing. Try not to disturb us for a few years. Okay. As long as I get to come through. Alright. Maybe we'll find that special wood up here. Or moss, sorry. Special wood. Whoa. You see some odd looking arches in the distance. Man. I know I keep saying it, but this map is very large. So many screens. It's like Skyrim. Climbing to the top of the, uh. It's not moss. <laughs> But it is glowing. This is some kind of magic force field. Don't ask me how it works, but it keeps your ass out from beyond the arches. Uh, it's going through there. I gotcha. You're stopped by a mysterious. At least it's not killing me. I can clearly walk right around it, but. You notice the intricate runes here? They look like they can be moved. You decide to take a closer look at the runes. Anyone remember what that guy's name was earlier? I feel like I could spell his name with these symbols, but I don't know. Oh man, I don't know. Yes. Nothing happened. No, it's alright. It really does seem like I just walk around it. Alright. So we'll have to come back once we figure out the symbols. Creepy baby. Is that all that's up here? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the twilight. That looks like glowing moss. There must be a... That doesn't... You can't take it. Wait, see there's a tree in your pants? You can't take it. There's already a tree in your pants. <laughs> Alright, someone thinks quite a bit of themselves. Uh, can we climb up on it? That doesn't... That doesn't seem to do anything. You don't have the skill to climb this yet. You don't have. Nice. I love this. You don't have the. You don't. You, you, you don't. You, you Grind in some climbing. You don't have. You don't. 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 You
They were like one screen south of here. No. Nah, I'm too far west right now. They were kind of east of the town, I think. North here is my old buddy. Swamp's gonna be north. There's that axe I can't. There we go. Sign for the farm. Good memory. All right, so this should do it. You catch a bunch of fireflies inside the jar and quickly put it away. Excellent. <laughs> Swipe. I think we needed all those fireflies, but I guess it is pretty dark in the swamp. This should lead us into the swamp. All right, yeah, Hobbs has gone home for the evening. What time is it? It's the middle of the night. Almost morning, actually, but yeah. All right, so in the next episode, we will enter the swamp and try to get the thing for, uh, I forget his name, but the, the older gentleman who's gonna give us more information on the family, the Killingtons. And we need to go to Tier. Got a whole bunch of things to do in the next episode. Got to go to that library. It's all heating up here in Quest for Infamy. We'll see you in the next one. All right, we are back, everybody. Welcome back to more Quest for Infamy right here. And let's play with Brigands, the path of the Brigand, of course. And last week, we were about to head into the... Hold on. Let's get some game volume there. There we go. Last week, we were about to head into the swamp. So I say we head into the swamp and find that special wood for our friend, uh... I forget his name, but I know he wants the wood, so let's just go inside. It's pitch dark in here. You can't find your way anywhere. That's why I brought my trusty jar of fireflies. You try with all... That doesn't... I mean, maybe just gotta like, kind of rub it. You can rub the fireflies. Right. You cannot. I'm not trying to combine them, but like whatever you you open the jar and release the fireflies. Oh, okay, there they we go. fly out, and suddenly the swamp is bright enough to see in. Pretty cool. Assuming they hang out, they're like until like five seconds later, they're like we don't live here, and they just leave, and we're in pitch black, and we get murdered by. Some creature. Oh, that's beautiful. Let there be light. I love the in-game achievements. It's not even like Steam. It's just its own thing. Uh, all right. This is the only way to travel in the swamp. Night or day. It's it pretty dark here regardless. Wondering how deep the swamp is. Oh, somebody want to go? We're like all rested and stuff, right? We're not about to die. Eh, we're half rested. We do have some potions, so let's dance. Rawr! Rawr! Got that early hit in. Just took your arm off and hit me with it. Did it again. That's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna keep working on our hack. Weapon percent hit went up. Nice, nice work. That bastard is dead. Good to get an early kill in the episode. What you got on you? Searching the corpse reveals some blies, which you might pocket. be might be a personal record for killing the baddies. All right, let's carry on. Why don't we? You start walking after you take down a baddie. I'd be all like, you know, excited and I don't know, got all the uh, dwarfins going. I just think I would I would be. Be pumped. Be running everywhere. Constantly. Is that guy back? Adrenaline flying. Alright. So I'm assuming this wood is going to be pretty obvious. The great is crusted shut. Where's our trusty crowbar? We do have a crowbar, don't we? We had one at some point. Alright. 
missing our trusty crowbar at the moment. Don't remember. I swear we had a crowbar at some point. I thought we bought one. Is that like something you have to replace? Did we like break it on something? An this. old tree has fallen. This looks like a Kaiser tree to me. Nice. There we go. I won't get my boots wet either. Look at that sea bass. I keep expecting the uh, the witch from King's Quest V to pop up and zap me. A trusty saw. You try to saw off the branch, but your saw is too rusty. It just what? won't cut. Well, if you don't use a saw, what the... Should we sort it? You don't want to destroy everything. What would be left to do? <laughs> I guess that's true. What's a brigand without things to destroy? Um... Oh, gosh. We might need a different tool for this. I'm not sure this You've head of lettuce... Oh, artichokes. Not... I think these artichokes are going to need it's it done. It's a leg of ham. All right. Well, that w you can't break off the branch with your back. Ah. Can we like oil the rust off of the the saw? Man, nah, we just don't have what we need. Got to go talk to some An folks. An old tree. At least we know the wood is right there. And I'm assuming the uh, I don't remember catching this many fireflies, by the way. <laughs> But okay. Glad we didn't have to arrow key that tiny little tight stretch right there. Huh. One off lantern. What's this about? The lantern is chained securely to the tree. You could probably get it off if you really wanted to, but damn if it seems just like a lot of work. Yeah, we need some way to repair our saw. Maybe someone in town can help us out. There must be. There must be. It's always a bummer. You leave off in the last episode, you're like, alright, we're gonna get that wood at the start of the next episode. You find the wood, and then you find that your saw is just too rusty. This ever happened to you, game player? I know we're going in circles here, but I think there was... Uh, maybe the screen just reminded me of Bump on a Log in King's Quest VI. The swamp is deeper in this spot. The water is a murky green. Hmm. I we should grab some of this. It's a flask of water. It's an empty flask. Here we go. Let's try getting some swamp water. No? I wish you would at least tell me. No, that's stupid. Don't be stupid. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, if there is a lantern there, why would we need fireflies? Because it's on that screen. Oh, I see you hiding, but I'm about to die, so I'm going to leave. <laughs> All right. Well, that's okay. Let's head back to town. Figure it out. We need to get some sleep. You pull out. Ideally, before the sun you comes head off. up. You climb up. We might need to like gun it. Actually, I think the sun's about to come up any second now. Don't talk to me. I need to get to bed. Nina, you're hot, but I have to go to bed. Uh, you decide to... Ah, uh, comfy bed. Alright, morning. What is this, like a half hour of rest? Got it in. You sleep until the morning and wake up with the daylight. It's now morning. On nondescript day. Alright, look at that. We're almost three quarters of every hit is going to land. I like it. You're starving! <laughs> You read my mind, game. You read my mind. You know? You sit down at the table. What do you got today? Here's your meal, Mr. Rowan, sir. Looks lovely. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. You wolf down all the food and give a proper belch. It's become a bit of a tradition at this point. It's like signing your name with a flourish in the Quest for Glory series. In this game, we belch. All right, let's see. Was that skull and crossbones always above the door to the pub? Any new jobs? Ah, uh, not too much. All right. Hey, you be taking care of you. You too, Jason Statham. 
It's the, have we? I guess we've been in the bank before. You enter the bank. Uh, maybe not. Is that an ATM? <laughs> it's like the only digital electronic thing in the entire world. What? I was joking. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Boobs. Nope. Try again. Hmm. I guess you don't know your pin. Oh well. Well, I haven't opened an account yet. Uh, should we open an account? Can we earn interest in this game? Maybe this fella with a tie can explain something to me. Welcome to the Bank of Volksville. How can I help you? Wait, have you got a bloody nose or is that just a shadow? You're totally a vampire with a bloody nose. No, no. How can I help you? Sunglasses? A bonnet? Sun umbrella? Yeah, albino. I'm sure he's got it sorted. Oh, wrong. yeah. Ha ha. Think you're funny, hey? Hi. Man, how much cooler would his tie be if that? If that. I know I'm funny. <laughs> I know I'm yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. What can I do for you? Can't purchase that kind of confidence. I want to open an account. This is the Bank of Volksville. It was founded by the Killington family many years ago, and we're still here to serve you. Is that an Australian accent I detect on you? We don't talk about them here. But I totally think they were cursed. It's a nice little place, but I prefer it down in Tyr. We still need to go there. I've been talking about it for a while Tyr now. Tyr is but... pretty amazing. The library is full of all kinds of books, even dirty ones. I know, because I've looked. <laughs> That's all you got? Can I give you some money? Have a pleasant day, sir. You too. Stay out of the sun. <laughs> I'll he try. He hasn't heard that every day of his life. Um, man, what kind of a bank manager or teller or just anybody doesn't try to, you know, push their latest rates and everything on you? Don't give Mills anything else. He's an absolute wanker, believe me. <laughs> Do you go to school with Mills, narrator? Uh, there must be a... That doesn't... There mu I talk to these people? This guy's already... You have... Not the best time... He's talking with the... You would engage him in conv... Weird. All right, nothing to do in the bank right now. I guess if we were a rogue, we would have more business here. I'm just realizing. You can't rub these... You can't... It's an old habit. I can't help it. Can't rob these merchants. You can hear the homeowners talking about tea or something beyond... So, we could definitely rob these people if we were a rogue. I'm assuming we can't do it as a brigand. I don't, I don't know. Can you fix my saw, which isn't apparently saw enough to cut through wood? Where is that guy? You start to talk. Hmm. Potion shop, that's not going to get her done. Chris Angel, I don't think he's the man we want. This was the, the sigil of, of the tobacco people, the goods people, probably not. Here we go, there's a man that can fix a saw. Stop giving people. <laughs> Misread that. Good day, Mr. Rome. Mr. Rome. I love Niels. Much as the one before, though things have been a little different here, but really. I think I've talked to you Well, about I don't this. sell them, but I do have an old one I can trade you. I need a new hammer. Mine's a new. I think we already did this. Take care. It's deja vu. All right, what about Uda? Udo? Hi, Udo. Udo. Oh, the great city of Tyr is so full of wonder. You really should visit. We're going. There's always something here in the Valley of Krasna, isn't it? I keep forgetting it's the Valley of Krasna. If you haven't visited Hermit Homestead yet, you should go. It's in the northern part of the grasslands. Just take the King's Road up away and... I don't know. Alright, can you sell me something? No, apparently not. Snake oil. Everyday oil. What if the oil could, like, knock off or rubbing... Eh, it's ailments. Alright, hold on. I don't want to waste my money needlessly. Can you fix this? Giving that giving Alright. 
Uh, where's my money? Well, let's inspect your wares, we will. Of course, of course. All right, let's see. Oil, perfume for the lady. I haven't decided who that special lady in Rome's life is yet. I like Kit, obviously. I like Kayana, obviously. And, uh, and Ina, for dad wouldn't kill me. All right, let's try the snake oil first, because it seems to be the cheapest. You have purchased some snake oil. Let's try rubbing some of this on our saw. You rub the oil all over the rusty saw. It should work a little bit better now. Nice. I didn't think that was going to work, but there you go. Pleasantly surprised. Let's just take our map as close you to the woods up. as we can get. Or the swamp, I should say. Uh, the map only... I don't... Why don't I have, like, a shortcut to the swamp? I'm not sure any of these are any faster. Saws and axes need to be oiled every now and then. Okay. Well, there you go. I didn't realize it. Are you just doing your patrols? Can I cut through here? Oh, look, they carried away the body of the man that I accidentally murdered. Uh, had an accident in front of me. <laughs> While I was... Man, I wish I could, like, pickpocket that guy. There we go. Having a nice day. Oh, there's a... Uh... You attempt to pull the axe out of the stump. Hmm. What if some oil would have gotten the axe out? We'll call that plan B if this doesn't work. Seems like he has multiple different types of oil. Hey, there's, a uh, Jake? Hello there. Hello What's there, it? fellow. Jack. Ah. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Where's the swamp from here? Oh! Kill. Ah! Get that whack in! There we go. Hacking and whacking. Alright, there's... Hacking one up. Hey, come on. We're only supposed to miss every one in four swings. We just missed four in a row. That's not how that's meant to work. Maybe he's more of a, a stabbing kind of guy. Yeah. Vomiting on me. That bastard is never. Searching the court. Hate lies. Don't play for a week, and I completely lose sight the of where. The swamp was. Damn it! It's a very chill squirrel. There we go. It was somewhere northwest or east. Thanks for the stuff, Hobbs. Something like Hobbs. Hopefully our saw is in good enough shape now. You don't need any of his bones. Well, if you know. All right. Don't fail me, saw. You use the saw to cut off a limb from the Kaiser tree. Fantastic. All right, let's go see, uh, what's his name? The gentleman with the, uh, the rover lady fortune teller who conned me out of 10 bucks but then I conned her archer acquaintance out of like, I don't know, $200 so which the bank doesn't want me to invest apparently maybe I put him off because I made fun of him alright, there we go, now we're hacking come on, one hit once we connect, we'll get there. 
<laughs> Bastard. Bless. Searching. The okay. It's a nasty habit you got there of stopping running every time. What am I doing walking? Whatever. That does. That does. The mu you try. You try. You try. <laughs> Just can't you be bothered to actually stop. All right. Oaksville. You decided to head towards. Wait. It's not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Herman Homestead. All right, man. I found your wood. After a bit of. That worked out. Let's try giving him this first. This will be hilarious. Frederick doesn't want. All right. Didn't I promise you? Well, hmm. I never expected you to complete that task. What can I say? All gypsies usually have the best information. <laughs> All right, man, spill it. I want details on the Killingtons or whoever else you were about to talk. Hello, wow. sir. Yeah? Don't forget your end of the bargain. There's been a few. In fact, my old friend Hummel was a settler. He had a cottage south of here. Good man. Moved here many years ago with his wife and young son and built themselves a home out on the grasslands. I didn't know where they came from, and Hummel was reticent to talk about it. But he was a really friendly and helpful guy. He knew all kinds of fascinating stories. You meet a lot of different folks living as we do, but the Hummels were one of a kind. They often broke bread with us, but mostly they kept to themselves in their cabin. Didn't venture out too much, except to hunt or fish with me. Where well, I'm sure they told you some juicy details. He was my best friend. He oh. used to hunt and fish. Shame about his death, truly. It still haunts me a bit. We were hunting in the north woods, you know. Wait. It's kind of spooky in there. But we were doing fine. When all of a sudden he got spooked and started mumbling the craziest things. We were near the burnt down ruins of the old Killington mansion, and whatever he saw in there, well, he turned pale at the sight of the place. Next thing I know, he said, I can't be here and run off. We all ran off to find him, but it was like the forest swallowed him, and we're all experienced woodsmen here. Well, when we found him, it wasn't pretty. We got mauled by a bear, or worse. Truth is, no one knows. We found his body in a clearing in the north woods, but there was nothing around but his mangled body. No tracks or nothing. Huh. Well, we did what we could. We took in his wife and son, and they lived with us for many years. When Mrs. Hummel died, we buried her next to him in graves outside their old homestead. Their son stayed and lived with us for a time, but eventually he moved on. Forgot how much Sean Connery this guy sounds like. Well, his boy actually took a job being the caretaker of the King's Bridge that crosses the Great River. He lives in a little cabin up there next to the King's Bridge. Okay. It's just a bit north of here. Jarrett is his name. It doesn't get too many visitors up there, especially now with the Great Bridge being washed out. May they rest in peace, that poor family. They all died in a horrible fire that consumed their mansion, oh, near half a century ago. Yeah, I forget what was the name of the guy in the tavern that kept telling us those stories about him. Ja Jag? Since we kept buying him whiskey. They were a good family. But the rumor was that the father, Jarvis, came home from some trip as mad as a loon. Yeah, he brought that thing back they with him. He said he stole a gem from the gem. Sentai, which is something a real fool would do. Got it from your mother last week, bro. Well, then again, they often say the rich are fools. Wealthy fools, but fools nonetheless. People say the gem, the Eye of Jagger, is still somewhere in the old ruins. But I think they're crazy. Hmm. If there was anything left in that mansion, it was picked clean long ago. I love living free here on the grasslands of Lanaria. To me, there's no finer nor freer area. We have the King's Road running through it, yet plenty of wide open space to hunt, fish, gather, 
Live a life. He's a good boy. I'd be lost without his help. There's been a few. In fact, my old friend... Damn it, Trebek, you're sitting on a gold mine! Good boy. That was my favorite, the anal bum covers. There's no such thing as anal bum covers. Should we go six for six against this guy? I haven't lost one yet. Why would you get stop? I'll do one more. Hello, Mr. We haven't needed any money in a while, the but the game is simple. Three fifty. That's no. That's no slouch score. Jeez, have you gotten worse? Fifty. Ah. Bullseye. One. There we go. Fifty points. Bullseye. All right, just need a fifty to tie. Bullseye. One hundred points. Not necessary. Very nice, sir. Five arrows Ooh. down. Well, you've beaten my score. Here's your fifty blies. You might want to start practicing, Jonas, considering. I've beaten you every single time, and as far as I know, I've never fired a bow in my life. Always have to take your money, though. <laughs> Lot herbal. Should we get another fortune? I mean, should we give this lady ten dollars for Pushing nothing? Aside the tent. For a reply, hazy try again. Some Welcome other time. Back, Mr. Rome. Don't screw That's me over please. this time. Just ten blies, please. You pay the ten blies. You know a little from what people tell you. Now, you need to discover the rest. Find a place where knowledge is kept. Library. And will be on your way. Library of Tear. to the south. The apprentice knows more than the master. Thank you for visiting, friend. Please do come back again. All right, I guess we'll head to the. All right, let's head to the south. Can I go this way? Okay. What have I been on this screen yet? This chimney is pretty exquisite for a small little cabin. You admire the artistry. You notice an H in the headstone on the hearth. Oh, yeah. It feels a little loose. You'll probably need something to help you pry this loose. What happened to my crowbar? Seriously, where I don't even remember where I bought that. Does anyone remember where we bought the crowbar? <laughs> I don't have a shovel, do I? I don't think that that's my first thought <laughs> when I see a grave. Mm, where's my shovel? You're already carrying some pebbles. Yeah, I think the fortune teller is definitely the... Need a hint? Call the hint line. Pretend lies. Yeah, I'll... yeah, I'd like to know where to get the crowbar, because I swear I used to have one. Am I about to die, by the way? I might need to... Oh, okay, we're okay. So, so hit the sword thing? What's this going to do? What the hell was that? But alas, that was a display of mastery and skill. Good drinking too. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It was slithering off over there. Nothing. A bastard nothing. had nothing. After you took all that effort to kill him, pathetic. And I drank my potion. I lost money on that battle. That's not cool. Ooh, no, no, I don't want to restart. Here's where we pulled off our famous heist. Mm. 
There's another one of those things. It's a lovely screen. You touch the swing. It is brittle and dry. You think better of using it. Hmm. All right, so that all connects around. Well. Nice. So majestic, that music. It's that sky again. You keep seeing it. It's like kind of Star Trek. What? The grasslands are bordered on the western side by a massive deep chasm. To the far north, you see the river turns to the east. And across the river in the distance, you can see what appears to be a castle. To the south, you can see the port city of Tyr in the distance. I didn't, like, ask to know what was going on around me, but... Having admired the view for as long as you could, huh. you return the way you came. It's definitely, like, some, like, Star Trek Generations score-type music that they didn't use. That's what it sounds like. Wow. I know I keep saying it. Oh. The grasslands are bull. To the having a I love the theme of the uh, Star Trek Generations movie. Actually, it's one of my favorite parts of that movie. Oh. You see a pretty sturdy column here. You don't want. You don't. Don't you though? Voyager had that great theme. It's funny, I know the music better than I know most of the actual... What? There's a chasm over... Oh. Hell, can't I just use... You want to go? Is this person? <laughs> I'm a person. Alright, where's my map? I think we just probably warped a tier. I haven't tried it yet. Yep. Decide. Well, this is a sight to see. The legendary port city of Tyr. The massive walls stretch out in both directions, and you can hear the water rushing through the aqueduct above. It's definitely more impressive than the dump shaped like a sword your mate Earl once showed you. Dump shaped like a sword? <laughs> Hello? You know, going for that look, huh? You seem to be the one in charge here. The strikingly large bow. I'll hello, talk to you. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, sir. Welcome to Tyr. Valeris, I've heard of you. My name is Valeris. I am the head of Tyr's Arrows, the Royal Guard of Tyr. We serve the King of Lonaria and protect the port from all enemies. Okay. What's that? You're rocking there. It's, it's an interesting look. Tyr is the greatest city in all of Lonaria, next to the city of the castle wow. in the north. Ships come from all over the world, importing and exporting goods, knowledge, culture, and people. Clearly, you've never been to Volksville. They have a, uh, they have a guillotine. There were several criminals who were trying to import human beings into the land to be sold into slavery. Well, I hope you gave them a firm ass whooping. Slavery is illegal and punishable by death here. Oh, we're Three that. criminals of the boat Hegrether managed to escape and hide somewhere in the city. Hmm. We caught two, but we have reason to believe the third is already dead. Thus we opened the city. Why do you have reason to believe he's dead? Because I put six of my arrows through his torso. Say no more? Oh, I might do it. I might do it. <laughs> there are a great many things to see here in Tyr. Yeah. You may wish to visit the library. There are many tomes to be found there. I've heard a lot of good things about it. The docks it. would probably be more to your liking. You can find work and play down there. You'd fit in at the Salty Dog. Profile of me? You're saying I look like an alcoholic? The mayor is proud of our lighthouse. You should visit if you have the chance. Like rabble. T All right, come on now. <laughs> you saw right through me. Tell me more about the it's Salty an Dog. It's pub fashioned out of an old scuttled ship. Oh, that's awesome. But they have alcohol, right? It's on the edge of the city. You can't miss it. They are in the south of the city, beyond the fountain. 
It's the shining beacon of our city. Literally. Mayor Von Darkles was appointed by the king to oversee the day-to-day -day business of the city. Von Darkles? He was just glad he didn't get Vogsville as a commission. He dislikes <laughs> the forests. Yeah, I dislike Rayford. Though I recall Rayford wasn't happy that he was made sheriff of Vogsville and the valley either. That's like the consolation prize. Whoa. There's a small and quaint forest town to the north. I'm sure you came past it on your way here. As the bridge to the north is washed out, you could have only come from the east. You got me made, Bolaris. Yeah, I got a room there. He is a hard-headed man, and often prone to brash hubris. I deal with him when I must, but I am glad he no longer lives in this town. I feel that he felt threatened by my authority. Hmm. This? Probably. All you see from the top of the lighthouse is our valley. It is all I have ever known. I live by the sea in the greatest port in the world, yet I have never left. And how do you know it's better than Volksville? I love my home. Oh, okay. It is better, Volksville. I'm pretty sure I haven't been inside yet, but... To me, there is no finer kingdom. I so enjoy the northern kingdom and the castle, and I will be glad when the bridge is repaired. She's no Ina, no. She's not even a Kit. Or, uh... Kayana. I don't know. A lot of lovely ladies back in uh, Volksville. All right. You have a pleasant day, sir. Thanks, Volley. This guy just wearing a t-shirt? <laughs> Everybody else has like their tunics and that guy just walked right through me, that lady? What? They don't have time to engage you. They're ghosts, apparently. This guy's just wearing a t-shirt and jeans. Everybody else. Wearing their period clothing. This guy didn't get the memo. It's like, I don't know. He just grabbed this out of the back of his car. Oh, the camel. This camel looks ornery. Just the way you like it. Like my camels, like I like... Oh, anyway. Excuse me. What's with your outfit, sir? What? I'm... Wait, what? My name is Roger, and I'm quite busy. I'm trying to... I... That accent. This is a city of amazing beauty and breathtaking contrasts. It inspires me. And you confuse me, Roger. The art is a living, breathing extension of myself, and it bridges the gap between my subject and me. This looks like when, you know, someone, one of the Sierra people, put themselves into the game and, like, dress themselves like that to make them stand Deep, out. Man. I use only the finest paper and charcoal to put my expression in the physical realm. Give me some of both. And paper is the glorious canvas that oh, wow. brings my art to life. Alright. I will give you some if you should like it. I would. I, you never know. And paper. Here we got it. Oh, we got it. Nice. Give me some charcoal too. It's what too. I use to create art. Here, have a piece so you might create some too. You know what, Roger? You're all right. I don't know how you make a uh, bly, but you're all right. So we got the paper. We got yes, we do. All right. Let's try drawing Ina right now. You cannot combine those two items. Wow. I mean, I know I'm really bad at art and drawing and things like that, but like I could figure that out at least. Not that bad. A camel. Whatever it is, you're. Oh. oh, there. Hey, there. How are you there? Clearly just the narrator, but all right. I'll go with it. Well, thank you, sir. Lionel is my name. Information? Well, that's my game. I've got all you could want to know. Well, you're inside it now. This is the greatest city on the southern continent. Jeez. It was built ages ago under the command of the great king. Ferris the Great. Ferris, Ferris the made sure that the port of his kingdom would match the glory of his castle, Koninglist. Koninglist sounds an awful. All right. He commissioned the building of the great wall that surrounds our city, but also acts as an aqueduct. He had the great library built to house yeah, all the tools. Yeah, we gotta go to that, that library. The Hall of Laws was his edifice to law and order. Dun, dun. The barracks of Tears Arrows were built towards the end of his reign, and he was very proud of the defensive force of Tyr. 
All seven people, I passed them coming in. They looked formidable. The fountain here was commissioned after his death. Ah, oh, he didn't get to enjoy the fountain. Anything else you want to know about Tyr? Just ask me. Kind of sounded like he said, anything else you want to know about here? It is truly an engineering feat. The great river Silmawin flows down the valley through the grasslands and into a ravine, where the aqueduct begins. Almost sounds like Silmario. It carries the water across the top. All right, I don't need to know about all this stuff. I'll just find it for myself. Enjoy your time here in glorious Tyr, city of the gods. I get it. You guys like your town. People in Volksville are like, I live here. It's fine. You know, what's going on here? It's weird. I'd use the arrow key. The mighty library of Tear. Nice. It used to be an old fortress, but then somebody decided to stuff it with books. Oh well. Nerd. Now oh, I'm excited. Let's get some books. It's not that big. It's actually kind of tiny, actually, as far as libraries go in these games. Bookstore in uh, the Land of the Green Isles was almost bigger than that. I think it had more books, quite honestly. Oh, hello. I'm Victor. Hey, Victor. Hey, Victor. Just looking for a new book. Too many to choose from. That's not that many. Hey, Victor. Just looking. Hey, Victor. Hello. How are you, Gareth? Shh. Sorry. Gareth, are you? That's not a acknowledgement, but let's just assume you we are. We have many, many books on our own city. You might want to take a glance at A Brief History of the Port and City of Tyr by Rigo Matchwick. Yeah, I'll get right Great on that. Great little book. Sounds enthralling. Well, I'm trying to develop a new script that's easier to read. <laughs> I'm calling it Belvetica. Belvetica. This is my most favorite place on Earth. I don't leave. There are dormitories in the back, and I've lived here since I was 15 years old. I know this entire place inside and out. Hmm. Been in here for about 10 seconds. I feel like I do, too. Oh, yes. We have five volumes. Uh, uh, no. Hmm. What did I ask about? Well, honestly, the family history is huge. You could try skimming if you like. There is a family tree on page Killington. 40 of volume 1, and the most recent history is contained in the last 500 pages of volume 5. Ugh, who can I pay to get to read for me? Killington family. Jarvis Killington. Jarvis died in a horrific accident. Uh, other details I will not detail here. They were found dead in their home. The manor burned for being cursed. The line of the family ends here. Before the fire. Oh, wow. Wow, that was like a whole compound. Here's the whole tree. Wonder who the oldest son was that disappeared. <laughs> that was very realistic coughing. <laughs> the ambient sounds in this game are uh, pretty fantastic as well. Yeah, I don't know who that Killington would have been. So which one's Jarvis? Is that him right there, Jarvis Killington? Their eldest son, Rollins. The name Hummel caught your eye in that book. Yeah. You know you've seen or heard that before. You recall seeing this name on the headstones outside the ruined homestead. There may be more information there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh. Hmm. Is there anything else, or is it just like automatically going to the pages? The name. That I want? Uh, okay. Well, that's good. I thought I had some sort of control over that. Oh, this book should help you. It's about religions and monastic orders. Information of the Sentai is on page mm, 321. 321. Sentai religious order from the. Uh, that might be uh, what uh, Kayana's all rolled up in. The Eye of Yogurt. Oh, there you go. Huh. Oh, yes, my. <laughs> if I can recall from my own readings, that's one of the Sentai's prized symbols of their order. One of the three eyes of God. Oh, my. 
You could read more about them in this book by Isla Lloyd. Try page 12 to start with. Then it's probably worth skimming a bit. God, their love and knowledge, they have graciously agreed to let me study the gems closely without restriction. I have the utmost respect for these gems. I believe in their rarity, but their divinity eludes me. The priests themselves do not worship the stones directly, nor will they spend any more in the normal room with... Shh, exactly. I like that. Sorry. That is fantastic. There's only three people in here. They're located in a well-hidden and guarded sanctuary under the monastery. I think I've checked that out. The eye was discovered first. Vision of how to construct not only the monastery, the city to support it. A machine. <laughs> Someone's enjoying that book. Totally, the centenary. Not usually this upset. I am curious. Oh sure, let me see. There's a book here about Morai runes. Take a look. Jovan also knows about them. Ask him too. You're the best, Gary. Yeah, you're doing all the work if for me. If you ever have some runes to be translated, be sure to show them to Jovan. He can tell you what they mean. Huh. I think there was definitely a time where we needed symbols. I think it was when we were trying to get to the underground. So, E... Not sure what I want to call that. And then that's like a Taurus kind of plus pound sign. Maybe someone can remember those. Ah, the Maroi. They're an odd bunch. I've seen some around lately. They make my skin crawl. Check out around page 300 Drunk or so in the religions of Tarsen. Moron, primitive ancient clan worship. Maybe that's where Kiana's mixed up in. Physical realm. You shell macab Targ, which means in Targ you have become. Sacrifice. Human and animal sacrifices. Physical form is indescribable. Great beast with long appendages. A flail called a bodnar. Huh. This is my... sets everything. Goodbye for now. Thanks, Gareth. Who's this guy? Welcome to the Library of Tyr. We are home to the largest collection of tomes in all of Lenaria. How may I help you? Oh, God. As you can see, we have many books. So many that it requires a team of my associates to organize them all. If you require a subject, we'd be happy to show you. We have books on many different subjects. Often, they will be a variety of books left out on one of the desks by a former guest. You are welcome to read any you may find laying about. We will be putting them away at the end of the day. There is no finer city besides the castle of Conninglist in all of Lenaria. The port was founded over 500 years ago by the great King Ferris the Brave. I'm also seeing, yeah, Fenris. The road runs from here all the way to the castle in the north. It crosses the great river at the bridge. Recently, though, the bridge was washed out, so supplies going north take a while. I'm told that they've been able to take smaller packages across the chasm by rope, but the bridge must be fixed soon. Yeah. He was the greatest king of Lenaria. He unified Familiar the feuding villages, Erasmus. built the great bridge across the river Silmowin, and commissioned the construction of the Port of Tyr and the King's Road. The road runs from here all the way. I'm told that they... Have you been there? It's such a charming little place, <laughs> though sadly lacking in any kind of library. They have a tobacco shop, though. It's very niche. Ah, yes, the Sheriff of Volksville. Brusque, Brusque man. I've only encountered him once or twice, and I didn't care for his tone. Oh. He doesn't get along with our mayor. Kind of want to see them in a room together at some point. Manfred von Darkels? Oh, he's a true patron of the arts. He not only keeps this city safe, 
but beautiful too. He oversees the soldiers of the city. Manfred von, they're called Tears Arrows. They're a garrison made up of women who are all specially picked and trained from the age of six. The current leader is Valeris. I met her. Valeris is a special lady. She's quite educated. I know because I trained her myself. <laughs> but she is as deadly as she is smart. Quite a lovely looking young woman as well. I don't see how that's for Elvin Joven. Ah, the Killington family. Sad and tragic story, really. They actually paid for a whole wing of this library to be constructed. The Killington Wait, there's wing. more than one? We do have several volumes about the history of the family itself right up until their bloodline died out. Hold on, sorry. Talk to Gareth over in... Section F. Okay. Hmm. If I recall, there are some kind... Ask Gareth. Yeah, he's been very helpful. Hmm. I don't believe I know anyone like that. You would remember her if you met her, Kayana. Mm. You know, I mm. did hear a rumor that he was the only member of the Killington family to escape. Yeah. He left the home just before the Great Fire. Gotta find Jarvis the Second. I know a little about runes. Mostly older tribes used to use them before writing became standardized. Some religious orders and cults still use them out of respect for tradition. Yeah, like the Moroi. Oh, yes, uh, Maroi runes are fascinating. I in fact, I know of a book about them. Take a look here and see if it helps. Thanks, Joven. I appreciate that. Glad to be of help. Just remember that bit about the last rune in the phrase. Just flip the symbol to make the statement end with a period, as opposed to a question mark. Okay. There's that again. E drunk and F. I do like the F, like it's falling down. Like, no, I can make it to my bed. Uh. Evening then, is falling in the valley. I knew I'd been here all day. Man, yeah, that, uh, that what's his name likes to talk. All right, well, thank you very much, Joven. Goodbye for now. Wait, I'm talking to. You say goodbye for this guy? What's not the awkward pet name that he came up with uh, for. Huh? What? And I love you, man? Joven? I can't... What's going on right now? I'm allowed to go in the library, right? So, you see the eye. But you do not know what it looks like. What? Buddy, your back is bleeding. You think I'm going to listen to you? I have a policy to never listen to people whose backs are actively bleeding. Mm -hmm. I will be tar someday and feast on your soul. Uh, Tell him to wear a bib, because I get messy. Hell yeah. That now is the time to leave you with a mark, so you won't forget your place on the water coil. Excuse yeah. me, is there a problem here? Shoot him, Volley. Problem? You may address me as Captain, sir. Lack of manners is a grievous offense to me. She didn't say I had to call her a Captain. I was just leaving, Captain. Special role only for the dicks. Excellent. Have a pleasant day. Bye. Hope you find your missing shirt. <laughs> the guy eyeballs you with the classic death stare. You'd no one anywhere. Soon. Watch your back. Mr. Damn. Ah, worst part is we gotta wait for him to leave the screen. Man, he is like smacking the crap out of his back. Thought that was blood coming in. Are you but... alright, Mr. Rowan? Oh yeah, fine. I'll talk about a shirtless dude with a whip and say by it taking a bikini. My life is amazing. <laughs> it's a weird land. One day you'll appreciate my ability to save you. Oh, I appreciate it already. I'm just ornery. Like the camel. Well, I have other matters to attend to. Try to avoid the Maroi. They're vile creatures. What the hell is going on? <laughs> and then, it's all good. That was crazy. The door is, of course, locked. They must have an attentive janitorial staff. Damn. 
Alright, where else can we go in town you here? You have arrived at what you believe to be the barracks of the city guard, Tears Arrows. This is a house full of dangerous and deadly women. You may have just achieved a life goal. A lady? She appears to be busy at the moment. Does she? Hello there, fair protectors of this fine city. But she's not. Be well, sir. Enjoy our city. If I can roam around Whatever in this barrel, uh, why not? Some arrow keys right now. It's not going well. That just takes me straight to the library again. All right, let's try going to the west side. Should we get any fountain water? Oh, I've got an idea. Let's dip everything you owed in the fountain. Nice job, moron. It's a flask. Come on. It's not the strangest thing you could dip in a fountain, let's be honest. Hello, Cap'n. Hi there. Ahoy there, sir. What's your deal? Welcome to the Great Harbor of Tyr. We're very proud of it. That seems you fun. can find most anything you want or need here, but don't be getting into causing any trouble. You're not Valerius. We'll ship just about anything you want, as long as it fits in a crate. Interesting. About myself. Many ships come in, but I tracks them all. Well, it's where we ship things in. There's always a bunch to load up or move. You interested in some work moving them? Pay a hundred blies. Interesting. This might be good for our stats. This might take a while, but well, okay. Come back tomorrow, and I'll have some work for you. Oh. All right, there. Ahoy. Not gonna remember that with all like the heroic deeds and infamy I'm causing. Die has to be done. Accumulating. You interested in a job? Wait, what? Yeah. Well, come back tomorrow. Jeez. I'm not getting paid for this, right? We didn't like miss something. It's a leather. You have some blood. I don't even know how much money I had before. You turn the door. My god, it's an amazing hub of commerce. Workers stack crate after crate of supplies, and there are many exotic shipments in the gigantic storage space. The ceiling is huge, and you can see the storage space actually goes underground. You head down into the catacombs with the work you've befriended. Miran shows you the hidden part of Tyr, where the men party and relax, and the women dance freely without cares. We couldn't be bothered to animate any of this? The people here are kind and beautiful and you find yourself involved in a physical tryst with a woman from a far-off land. Is any of this happening? The experience you two share is beyond words, and what? when she leaves to return to her homeland, you know you'll always hold a piece of her inside. In here? This is what's happening? As you make your way up from the catacombs, you look around, incredulous at the secret life that lives beneath this great city. Why would you leave? Unfortunately, we can't actually show you any of that as we don't have that kind of budget. But hey, at least I told you. you gotta use your imaginations, everyone. So, in the interest of preserving your sanity, let's just <laughs> say the door is locked. Oh, that's a pretty good joke. I like that. Uh, let's just say it's locked. Our Mills and Sons Shipping Company. The door is locked for the night. Ah, nice loot. Nice kit. Touche, Nelson. What? Wearing a Pink Floyd t-shirt? Do you know the artist guy that gave me paper and charcoal? They just have a more relaxed vibe here. Slash kind of like a... Hi there. Anyway. Play Freebird! <laughs> that sounds right. Pay me 40,000 blethos. And you've got a deal. Man, I'm half tempted to spend the next 27 hours at the archery. Guy, he's making that money. I seem to be short of the cash. I seem to be short of your song. If I leave oh, Just great. Hi there. Pe I seem... I see Weird. All right, where's that, uh, where's that ship bar they told the me about? The door is locked. I know that's gonna be open late at night. Oh hell yeah, the salty dog. Is that a monkey? Just hanging out, putting out the vibes. Alright. We saw a talking bear. We're brothers. Brigand brothers with a talking bear. 
Are we about to become best friends with a monkey? Aw, oh, it's, it's attached to that guy. That's not cool. Hello, oh, monkey. Hello there, sir. Talking to the monkey. Oh, hello to you. <laughs> hey, hey, Mac. Okay, that, that counts as words. Your monkey talks. I, I think this is a personal matter. Oh, yes. I agree, Mims. Mims the monkey. Oh, yep. It is a personal matter. Oh, my bad. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. I'll be on my way now. Bye. Guess that's it. Yeah, he doesn't have the personality to be our best friend like the bear does. Stay but fresh, my friend. Stay fresh? He looks like Eric from The Little Mermaid. You're about to engage this man in conversation, but then you realize you don't want a two-hour conversation on Mars Volta's latest album. I wouldn't expect that from Eric from Little Mermaid. Maybe the guy wearing the Pink Floyd t-shirt. You're about... Mars Volta, that what a specific reference. There's always some jerk in the pub set off in a corner reading a book like he's a scholar and drinking coffee smug douche hole. You wanna talk about that narrator? You want to hit this man, but you decide not to. <laughs> Doesn't strike me as that kind of guy. You want but... to hit Alright. Yeah. Touch the sailor with the tattoos older than you. Good idea. I mean I could probably take that guy. <laughs> Welcome to the Salty Dog. I'm Old Sam. You're there, young buck. My name is Sam Old, and it's my pleasure to meet you. Have yourself a pint and relax. Don't mind if I do. Wait, who's Hello this guy? There. My name is Kellogg. My name is Ruin. Mr. William Ruin. Pleasure to meet you. Well, then. Well. Well. That's a nice outfit you got on. But I think something more classic would be better. Maybe like a, I don't know, an Eagles t-shirt? Yeah? You think so? Definitely. All right. I've got some other clothes in my pack. Thanks, sir. You do look a little too Fifi McSteel's right there, trying to pop his look. No problem. Hey there. How are you? Just trying to relax. Been a crazy few days. Jeez. Yeah? What's been up? Between the city lockdown, the arrows arresting a bunch of slave traders, and the gossip, gossip, gossip of the people. Gossip, gossip, gossip. Drink. Amen to that sail. Oh, I'm actually not a sailor. I work for Mayor Van Darkles. Oh man, I, I thought he was the mayor. That'd be cool. Here. At least here I know when someone's about to put a knife in my back. That's why you got your back turned, everybody. It's smart. Indeed. Like the mayor. He's a bit eccentric and flaky, but he's usually been a good mayor. Usually? Oh, yeah. But lately, he's having weird clandestine meetings with strange people and talking to the sheriff from Volksville. thought they hated I each I other. I just get a weird vibe. Yeah. Rafer definitely gives off a weird vibe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does. Anyway, thanks for the chat. Sometimes you just gotta talk about things. Sometimes you just gotta talk no about problem. things. This guy's just vomiting since I've been here. I don't here. think he can talk, because his mouth is currently full of vomit. Better out than in. All right, man, hook me Welcome up. Welcome to the salty dog, sir. I hope you find your visit pleasant. Just lay your money down, and I'll feed you drinks until you're happy. Say no more, my, uh, yeah, Barky. What has you got, Barky? That depends on what sort of man you are, pal. Uh, let's see. Ale. Lager and rum. Gotta go for the rum, right? That's like the uh it's like the dragon's breath. You pay the barman and down your drink. Holy, Holy shite. shite, that's good stuff. Worth every blind. These and you get totally shit faced. <laughs> your mother once told you not to drink too much because you could make an ass of yourself. Wake up in a ditch somewhere and not remember it later. But you just drank that much. Oh no. Are we dancing? <laughs> oh no! You have what? a pounding in your head. I feel like it would teleport me mm. somewhere random. That farmer's burn. Could be worse, I suppose. You're not sure how long you were out for, or what happened while you were drinking. Still, <laughs> you don't have any knife holes in you, so it wasn't too bad. Damn, that's bits of blight. Uh, James. And what the hell is that? I got coned. What? 
orange cone? When did I pick up an orange cone? <laughs> Why do we still hear the ocean when we're at the farm? It's a leather. You have some bly, those. I don't think I did spend any extra blies, right? I think I had 289. I don't know, I'm still hammered from that rum. Yeah, we're definitely still here in the ocean. Guess there'll always be a little part of tear everywhere I go. That lady that I uh, had that tryst with, she said that uh, I would always, she'd always care a little piece of me with her everywhere I went. Well, I think I'm doing the same right now. I cannot shake the sound effect. Even when we like stack it on top of other things. Do I need to go back there just to like stop the sound effect? Still hear the seagulls and everything. Code. Yeah, we've all been there. Had one whiskey then. The door is locked. Ah. Uh, can you help me with that, Chris Angel? Hello there. Oh, mate, what? You get that oceans sounds and seagulls out of my head. Well, the tavern is about as lively as we get around. There's the regulars, but occasionally travel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what about Gorth? Nice work on that one, mate. <laughs> Still nice. getting the the high fives for killing Gorth. All right, we need to go back there right now. I cannot stand this. You put. Oh, that did it. Ah, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> it will never stop. The sound effect, that's right. Every game I play, I'll never not hear seagulls. <sighs> I think I remember that the crowbar is in the, the general store. Kit? Drinking right now is probably the last thing I should be doing. But damn it, Kit, get me a drink. I'd like to borrow something, Barra Kit. What you want? Call her a Kit. I'll take her malt whiskey. Here you go, mate. You pay her and begin to sip your drink. Six or seven of these in your mind. Yeah, it's not quite as strong as the stuff. Better value, I guess, at the place in tier was only 20 bucks there. All right, let's just crash until that place is open. We'll use our crowbar tomorrow. We'll buy a crowbar and use it tomorrow. Ah, uh, the old... You decide. Other ones? There's one at the barn? I wonder why I didn't have it. You sleep... Maybe it broke, and that's why we need the diamond-tipped one. Get our Ina breakfast. You sit Waking down. Up in Here's your okay. meal. Looks lovely. You wolf down. Proper belch. All right. Let's see how much they're charging. Diamond tip sounds expensive. I don't think I'm getting anywhere as efficiently as I could in this town. Oh my, Owen! It's the young man who set Gorth packing! Well... Is my murder of Gorth worth a discount on the diamond-tipped crowbar? Good job, you old codger. The bastard deserved it. Yeah, I hated that guy. About that diamond-tipped crowbar. How can I help you today, young man? Man? What a jerk. What yeah, a jerk. I heard that old blowhard is... Yeah, I talked to him. Let's see. 500. Oh, but I killed Gorth. Man, that's going to be nice. I just feel like I need to make a whole day of it at the, uh, the archery guy. Just win match after match. I have to think I'd come out ahead, I just keep winning. Let's go back to the farm. 
Who's that guy? You stoked I killed Gorth? Far makers. There we go. Amongst the tools, you find a crowbar which you take and stow in your backpack. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. It must have been like I picked it up at some point and then probably died or quit out. I don't know. And then I just didn't save with it. Who knows? Point is, we can now go back. There are actually a couple things I think we wanted to use our crowbar on, were there not? Maybe the gate in the swamp, but certainly... What's his name's house? Over by the, uh... Probably just should have teleported, but whatever. Oh, uh, we should check in on the Brigands uh. HQ. Couldn't find this screen. Is that like a move I need to learn still? Ooh. Come on, nine. Not. You have a feeling of pride surge within you at your victory. Nice job. Sweet. Searching the core, you also found a healing potion. Excellent. All right, good. Made up for that one we wasted on that random monster. Back to the brigand skills. Where everybody knows your name. Where's the bear? Hey, Kurt. Oh, he's at the bar. Was. He's drinking. What's that? You tell him all about your experiences with Japsworth, Kayana, and the Eye of Jaeger. Yes, finally. Interesting. You know, if someone found that, it'd be a big score. Or it would drive us all mad and have us burn down our beloved cave. You want me to look? Yeah, why not? Let me know what happens. I mean, I've been doing that anyway, but... Will do. Anything for you, Jason Statham. Well done out there, Mr. Rome. Here's your share of the money we made off the loot. Nice! Man, that was several episodes and endgame days ago, but I never came back. How much did we get? It's a leather... You have some blythos. Holy shnikes! That's got to be worth, that was like 600 lies. That's fantastic. All right, time we collected. How you hey, doing? Jay. Chili? Yeah, Rowan, what's up? He's my favorite. Later on, Slick. That's my name, don't bear it up. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I am her sign in nature. Yeah. Pretty amazing, huh? That's not the part that's amazing. All my people can talk. I know you get a kick out of it, but where I come from, we're all bears and we all talk. Should we get the perfume? Yeah, what should we spend all our blies, our newfound blies on? I come from a land in the north called Erlins. My people are the Erlins. Oh, that'd they be the best. Cities. Someday we should all go visit. We should totally go there right now. Do you realize how much of your pissy... I'm pissing right. like 40,000 times a day. Someone here needs to yeah. learn to brew something besides this weak ass shit. Yeah, you need to get the rum in tier. We gotta get that for Chewy. Except I know I'm just gonna pound it while I'm there and wake up somewhere. Can't get it to go, you I know, guess. They get a bad rap, but they saved me. Kurt so I asked if I could join them. I know. We talked about this already. I left my home to explore the world. I passed out and woke up in a cage. It's so terrible. Glad you're doing better now, Chewy. Hey, nice chatting with you, pal. You take care of yourself out there. Don't end up in a cage dancing for coins. I don't know, a couple more of those rums and anything's possible. Anybody else here worth talking to? Hey, Cody. Just getting in some training before we get to new assignment. Alright, let's do it. This might kill me, so... Let's dance. You don't want to do you don't... Oh. Alright, fine. Hey there. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Stefan. I think we already talked. You can call me. Welcome aboard. Many happy returns. Maybe I didn't talk to him. Talk to everybody else. I respect. Ha! Uh, yeah. I, well, thanks. Welcome I to the crew. You. Put the seat down when you're done. Done. Kurt says you're on done. the level. Beat him in a drinking contest. Only other person. I awesome. You bet. Oh, oh hey, nice job. No problem. Now I've got to get back to putting the vibe out. Yeah, put another wood. 
Yeah, we talked to him. All right. Well, that let's. We got a crowbar to use. Uh, we, well, you still here? Yeah. You can call me. Well, hello there, Mr. Rogue. Kurt shakes his head. Must have nothing to do right now. No Not jobs. Not a bad place, really. You right. keep my eye out for the gem that drives everyone mad. I oh, was there, a dummy. You I didn't see the dummy. Oh yeah, in the back. There you go. Any stats going up? Nice. Just generally. Oh, yeah, generally. Did my health go down or was that from the battle or did it go up? There's no we can't we can't practice anymore today. <sighs> yep, five seconds of whacking something will do that to you. All right. Probably not a bad idea to pop in and do that every day. Plus, we get to see our old pal Chewy, MVP of this game. Well, this looks interesting. Looking around, you see you're at the crossroads of the valley. The grasslands stretch out to the west and the north. All right. It so that's how we would have got. Runs alongside them. To the south, you can see the port city looming in the distance. Yeah, I used the map because I was lazy slash confused. So if we go north here and then west, can we just go west right here? Leave the path? There we are. Alright, let's use the old crowbar here finally. You use your trusty crowbar on the hearthstone, and the back of it pops open. An old diary spills out. You stop to thumb through it. Juicy. It's the Elder Hummel's diary, but this last entry catches your eye. Hummel. I know I'm near the end and I'm happy with the life I've chosen for my family and I. There once was anger at what my father did and became, but now there's only sadness for what happened and the loss of our home and lands is insignificant to the loss of my siblings and my parents. I trade up my name for a new start, but perhaps when I leave here I may still greet the Killingtons as kin. Jeremy Hummel. Huh. Jeremy Hummel. We should go see that guy. You pull out. Let's go see that guy. Where's the Where's the bridge? You head up. Here he is. Old. Uh, it is Hummel. my family name. Right. Hence us being. Ah, uh, yes, that was my childhood home. After my father passed, we buried him there. Huh. My mother and I moved out of the house. We just couldn't live there anymore with my father dead sure. when she passed she asked to be buried with him so i complied buried her next to him and i've not gone back but they were a rich family that used to live in the valley i guess i've only heard rumors and stories i don't really care much about them and i don't like to waste my time talking about it thank you check out what i found here i'd like to take a look at this you hand him his father's diary <sighs> Where, where did you get this? Oh, in the hearthstone of the house he grew up in. I believe it was your father's, Jeremy Hummel, or perhaps Jarvis, Jarvis Killington, Killington the, second. the second. He hangs his head and looks at oh. the ground for the moment. He slowly looks back up at you. Yes, yeah. you're correct. Oh my goodness. Indeed, my father was Jarvis Killington the second. The black sheep, the one who left. I mean, I'd prefer to think of him as the one that didn't get trapped in a house and burnt to death by his crazy dad, right? I am Jarvis Killington III. Wow. And to tell you the truth, I'm glad the Killington line ended and I now live as a Hummel. Interesting. There is too much pain and shame in our old name. Yeah. Kind of a badass name, though. Killington. Yes. I'm really Jarvis Killington the third. I just can't believe it. Oh, so you're going to find the legendary Eye of Yager too? I'd like Many to. Many people have tried, though no one's ever come to me about it before. You are the first to find me. Well, you've kept the secret well. Most people in this valley don't care enough to investigate, and the nerds in the library who might have known never leave the place. Lucky for you, I'm curious. 
Huh. What do you want with it? Fortune. Well, you know, fortune and glory. In that order. Yeah, but of course. <laughs> no, I just want to sell it. There are several <laughs> interested parties who would be willing to take the gem for a pretty price. Sounds disgusting. Maybe, <laughs> but at least it'd be gone. And maybe you can get some of your family's dignity back. There's no getting it back. So you can't help? <sighs> yes, I can. A priest of Sentai came to the valley, and he was the one who arranged the burial of the Killington family. He took care of all of the affairs. I later learned he gave a letter to my father. Then he mysteriously disappeared. My father said, I want nothing to do with that family. Never have, never will. Then he said, I took that piece of crap and threw it from the top of the waterfall. Waterfall? Here, have a look at it. I always keep it on me. You may take this with you, if it will help you at all. I'm done with it. It's been too long and I've held on to that family's secrets and shame forever. It stops here. Yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> I don't have anything else to tell you about it. Read the letter. Letter to Hummel. This is the letter the Sentai priest left with Jarvis Killington II, otherwise known as Hummel. All things have their place in the universe. All things have their place in nature. This gem has become an abomination to the universe and to the natural order of life. It cannot be used for good at this time, and it should never be used for evil. In its tomb it should stay, for the prescribed time and four guardians shall ensure its slumber. The masters and the servants, the dead and the living. You are entrusted with this, a piece of your family's seal, Mistakes of your father will cost your family greatly, but in return for now you are the guardians. Guard this emblem, cherish it. When the time comes, pass it on. Make sure it stays with your blood. You tuck the letter away again. Huh. You try with all your might, but you just can't <laughs> seem to do anything with it. We like kind of cordon off like if we're, you know... Wiping up the uh, Starcon logo or something with the uh, little floor cleaner. We can put those up. Thank you, friend, but I have no need for that. <laughs> what a nice way of responding. Be like, I don't want your frickin' orange cone that you got when you were drunk. Blackout drunk. Piss-ass drunk. Alright. Man, the plot thickens. Kind of want to go to that waterfall. You pull Remember how I got to it. The waterfall. You head off towards Volksville. Good call, Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah, we got our crowbar. We, we have. Huh? What do you say? I hate that. I don't know what he. Is he hungry? You want some rations? Well, what is it, boy? What is it, Mr. Raum? There must rations. be a best. You try with. See those? You can't right. Whatever. Yeah, we still got all our money. Burning a hole in our you pocket. The rope and oh, I forgot about the well. Was uh, there a symbol on here? You run your hands across the wall. You run. You can see the mark of the sa What do you try? That does. There must be a. There must. Uh -huh. Huh. You grab. Mark of the Sentai down here. Apple man, this will never not be the screen where I accidentally murdered that guy. Uh, I guess this is the entrance to the South Woods. It's probably exactly what I clicked on before. Thank you. 
still wondering about that axe. Huh? What? That's a little buggy sometimes. Like, he clicks somewhere, and then he just ends up going in a complete different direction. Hasn't been a big issue, just a couple screens. I think it was... One screen up. To the right. Yeah, yeah, the... The well of, uh, here it is. The well that Rayford was, like, yelling those kids to stay away from. You pull out your... Said he threw something from the top of the waterfall. Yeah. You dip your hands in the cool river and wash them. You had some serious grime under your nails, so hey, <laughs> this is a bonus. We already get some water from here. You put some water. Huh. Whatever. You don't see anything you want to pick up. All right. Well, let's head back to town. Nothing like a good climb, eh? I'd like to go talk to that guy again that was in the tavern before that we bought all those drinks for, see if he has anything new to you contribute to this mystery. Mr. Rome. Let's get a new Rome going. Rome 8. How you doing today, Niels? Good day, Mr. Rome. Good day. Nothing. Take care. How you doing, Rayford? Mr. Rome. All knowledge and little common sense. Hmm. Way well, I hear it, you've been talking to him quite a bit. Well, I don't roll a man's head for no. I see a whole bunch of lawbreakers. Good good feel well, dude. Law says you can't talk. A touch. <laughs> Alright. Where? Oh yeah, there is one. Is this his it's house? It's a door. This little cottage is quaint. What kind of an a-hole lives here? I think we uh, just answered our own question. You'd knock on the door. You don't want to fuss with the well right now. You'd huh. All right. Nothing going there. I know it's daytime, maybe he'll just like appear if there's something new, or maybe we gotta wait till nightfall. Did kinda say he only came here at night, I'm pretty sure. So let's rest until night. Ah, uh, you decide. Uh. You slept until the night, and you feel amazing for doing so. It is now yeah. night time. I think we were overdue for having a proper night's sleep. Or day in this case, I suppose. Oh, Mr. Rome, a young lady in a green robe left a message here for you. She told me to tell you to meet her to the north, just beyond the 99 acre woods. Kayana. Thanks, Kessel. I appreciate it. Ina, jealous? You're no longer hungry. Huh. At least not for food. Alright, so we'll go find Kayana tonight. First things first. There he is. Chapsworth? I see this. Yes. My father gave this to me. This old thing is the most precious thing I own. What's My that? My old papa told me it was the greatest gift he could give me. That it was our family's honor and legacy, and I should protect it with my life. So I'm never taking it off, and I never will. Oh, yeah, he's got a little, uh, fancy fancy right there, a little bling. Come on, Japsworth, you old fraud. Enough of this crap already. Barth. Ugh, bah. Forget these peasants. If you really want to talk with me, let's get out of here. What? Okay. I want you all to know that I like none of you half as much as you like me. 
but twice as much as I love the beer. What? Yeah, let's go outside. Guess you may as well follow the old coot. I want well, Kit to get the I wrong idea. Drink. I won't say no to a whiskey. Why are we outside then? Why don't we just leave the pub? It doesn't. So, you have more stories about the Killingtons then? Man, he built this, this treehouse once. It were amazing. <laughs> oh, boy, speaking of treehouses, did you know those drunken oafs that live in the south build them? Huh. Righteous bastards they are. One time I took on three of them at once. Got my ass kicked. <laughs> but I got their liquor, so I really won. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I've heard this before, you old drunk. Yeah. Yeah, well, fine then. Be that way. I need a drink. What? Well, that was fun. Was I supposed to, like, do something while I was... Did I talk to him first? It's weird. I see this? My old... Come on, I want... Okay, so there's... Something I meant to do when I'm outside. Well, I need. All right, Let's say no to whiskey. Uh, will you say yes to ham? Why would you give that away? Most prized possession. What about my orange cone, he's probably got a whole collection of these. He looks like a drinker. Why would you give that? Rather, we know he's a drinker. The old guy give... really reeks. You're not about to get close enough to frisk. Give me the amulet, old man. Or I'll, uh, saw Stop you in me. half. I'll do you over with my hair dryer. That's what I'll do. Giving I'll run you away. through. I mean... You see a drunken, older man. He looks like he's attempting to dress like an adventurer, but he looks more like a stuffed rhubarb. The old guy... I like... The old guy really reeks. Why would you... Stop... Why would you... The old guy... So, yeah... Man... Yeah. I need to pay what? him? I can never like. For it's Wait. a door. Doors are generally used to enter. How's that? I haven't snuck in a while. Good times. I see this. My Nothing cool. unnatural about that. Hey, well, friend. I see this. Cool. Uh, Clearly, there's something going on outside. I just. Guess you just just try going through everything. <laughs> She's really gonna get the wrong idea now. Here, you want some money? Stop give, giving. It's my junk. Stop. My sword. Some food. What? I just don't. Giving that away would be. Giving, giving that away would. Must be something we don't have yet. Stop. Gi Why would. Giving that away would be of no benefit to you. The old guy really reeks. You try the old guy. I see this. My I want you. Guess you. You cannot stop. 
giving Snap. Join this Why cult. That me. doesn't. You need to select an. It's weird. We never got armor for our arm. I feel like we're. You unequip at... your sword. You don't really know why. <laughs> Giving that. You try. Hey, Jabsworth. What's what? that behind you? What? Who I swear I've already done this. Using the flat of your sword, you hit Jabsworth across the midsection. <laughs> <laughs> ha, he so spewed. Ha, that's so damn cool. <laughs> what just? What? You quickly remove the necklace from around Japsworth's neck and stow it oh, in your okay. backpack. Okay. Yeah, mug the guy. That's fine. So we still get our. That's the brigand way, I suppose, of taking what you want. Equip that sword. You have equipped your standard sword. There we go. Yeah, better armor might be. You need to equip armor in this slot. You need. You take. You need to equip. You need. Yeah, you yeah. spend. You have. Sweet. All right. So now we got this. Uh, this sweet... is an ugly little necklace. Oh. You wonder why Japsworth cared about it so much. There are... You examine the small necklace box. more closely. Inside is a small key. Oh, nice. A little key. It's a small yet fancy silver key, which you got from the locket you appropriated from Japsworth. Appropriated. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. This looks like it could open some kind of storage or safety box. Uh. Hmm. Have we come across any of those? Is the the Are you going to be okay? Really... He is passed out. It doesn't. He's still gonna be there, man. Always putting out the vibe. He's hard. He's hard. As you begin to speak, is the woman with who is that I love? Or Malcolm Corley? <laughs> Irish Diddy. What? All right, let's go see Kayana. You climb. So, so he said she's to the north somewhere. We did meet her here the other day, like two seconds after we saw her in town. She's like, why haven't you done that thing I see to do already? So she probably... What's up, Hello fellas? There. We like you. Understood, gentlemen. You too. Enjoy the day. Yeah, I've already done my first uh, big job. So yeah, I'm sure Kayana triggered since we've learned a whole bunch about what she asked us to learn about. Worn out from my, my dead Corley, that's right. Can't beat a Corley. Wait, what? Is that a creature? Oh, you yeah. I feel something was in this room we got here. <laughs> you. Being all sneaky. Dog. Damn it. Damn it. And we'll never miss again one of these days. That bastard is never gonna bother you again. I don't suppose you had any cash. Undead creature like that's probably not gonna go into town and buy anything. Searching the court, you also oh, found a healing potion, which you gladly take. Healing potion help an undead warrior? Who knows? All right, I don't think I need to be in the graveyard. They said north in the 99. Uh, where's the north woods? It's sort of like to the west of here, I think. I think it's up through here. Yeah. You oh. could feel something was... It's pretty stealthy, I like that. 12 damage. Swing with the big boys. It's a nine. Eight. You have a feeling of pride. Yeah, we might almost have a thousand blithes. Search. You also found a. Where we at right now? It's a leather. P you have some blood. Nine sixty-three. Not too shabby. Might have ten thousand at some point in this game. I don't know, but. Oh, 
Not this time. Early hit. Love it. Damn it. Damn it. Our hit percentage has to be at like uh, 77. Nice work. Searching the corpse reveals some bly. Damn, 49. It's a leather. You have some bly, those. 1,012. Uh, what are we at? 78. Nice. That's true. I need the dodge to get the heals. Can't forget that. And my favorite uh, tree, this tree buddy's doing. This looks to be an old and wise tree, which probably means he's an expert on bark and squirrel poop. <sighs> Those guys. Kayana? Mr. Rowan, right I'm glad you could is. meet me. Sorry about the change of venue. I'm being watched too closely to continue going into town. Sounds like Katrina, a little bit. Look, what's going on here? Ooh. Looks like you got a dead family, a lost jewel, a group of cultist types looking for it, and you're a part of that weird Maroi cult? You got some fessing up to do. I don't care how good you look. Ah, so you do find me pleasing? Yeah, who wouldn't? But that's not the point here. I'm trying <laughs> to figure out what the hell you want. Okay, pretensions aside, I'm not really Moroi. I'm a member of the Order of the Sentai. So I was okay. right in no the end. Look. We are a peaceful group who only look to serve humanity. Serve us how? Like in a stew? In a bunch of cannibals? No, huh. we seek peace and knowledge. Jarvis Killington, in his boredom of wealth, took something from us that was very important and very dangerous. As you can see, it wiped out almost the whole family. Now this gem was so dangerous. How come you guys never came to retrieve it before? It was at rest in Jarvis' tomb. It was too dangerous to transport home at the time. We felt it was safe and protected there. Then the Moroi came, and we knew Uata had knowledge of the gem, and would persevere in his mission to obtain it. Utar? What the hell kind of name is that? The Moroi leaders all take a form of Tar. It's the accursed deity they worship. That sounds like a noise you made during sex. <laughs> Not a noise I'd make. Good to oh. know. Anyway, this Utar guy. Utar. His real name was Richard, before he ran away from our temple. See, he too was one Sentai, but our power leanings of neutrality didn't sit well with him. Which is why he's here, seeking the power of the Eye of Yaga. Yeah, 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 this is all well and good, but how the hell is this my problem? It's not, which is why we are prepared to pay you. I cannot look for it, they're already too suspicious of me, which is why we couldn't meet in town. There are eyes in that town that I don't want seeing us together. Um, I want to be seen everywhere with you. <laughs> no mind. We will pay you quite handsomely if you can track down the eye. We know it's in the crypt, as our man buried it there fifty years ago. But he's hidden the pieces to the crest and the key that opened the crypt. I could break in. I have no qualms with that. Huh, I bet. But it's magically enchanted. You're no rogue. If you try... It would burn you alive, starting with your manhood. Are you serious? Right. That's grim. Yeah, it uh, makes a show, so others won't try. That's security. grim. Indeed. Anyway, find the pieces of the crest and the key. Get the eye, and get it to me. We can leave the valley together. I can get you out of here, undetected and safely. How can you guarantee safe passage? We are powerful masters of disguise, magic, and stealth among other talents. You help us, we help you. You know, maybe I don't want to help you out now. I might be better off just taking my chances and waiting until the bridge is repaired. I didn't want to have to do this, Mr. Rowan, but I will if I must. I must recover this gem now, and I need your help. I have a raven ready to go to Rayford. She hands you a sheet of paper. What? Oh no, perversion and theft. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you, only a thousand? Huh. I can send the raven off at any moment. 
Tayana. Well, I guess you have me by the short and curlies, don't you? Short I don't want it like this. I want to help you as much as you help us. All I did was get with a Baron's daughter. Sure. As a measure of good faith, here is a necklace. It bears the symbol of the Sentai. Oh, great. It's also pure gold and diamonds. I suppose I could wear it a bit. <laughs> this will also help you find one of the pieces. One is linked to the Sentai directly. This necklace will guide you and show you how to find what you need. Come and meet me here when you've recovered the gem. Remember not to touch the gem with your bare hands. Bad things may happen. Or you might turn into a giant cockroach like the Chief Thief in Quest for Glory 4. Bad things? It's hard to say, but I don't want to risk it with you. This gem has destroyed an entire family, and it needs to go home where we can protect it. You've already found the last scion, and you have the letter from the Sent High Priest. Go find the pieces. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me before I return to the fortress? Uh... Well, job one. Look, I know this situation is dire. We are so gorgeous. I would let Utar get that gem if it meant I could have you. Really, Mr. Rohm? <laughs> Uh, that didn't land. We are an order of monks and enlightened scholars Ooh. from a city Is that to the from north the flirting? known as Jondar. Our order helps maintain the peace, honor, and tranquility throughout the city. I like clearly like down here she's wearing the cloak and everything, but here it's all tossed back. Jondar is truly a sight to behold. Our technological wonders are the envy of the world and are sought by those who would seek to enslave it. However, we maintain the peace. You must come visit our city someday. Yeah. Oh, have a picnic. They are a loathsome bunch, as is their god, Tar. Tar. They perform unspeakable acts in the name of gaining power. They pretend to ignore the moral compass by believing that the mortal flesh is useless and that Tar will give them a new form in death. I am a monk of the Order of the Sentai. I have been since birth. I was born to the Order, and I have faithfully served them my whole life. I know it must seem tedious, but I know it is the best life I could have lived. Wearing this costume has been an experience for sure. I knew the greedy men of the Moroi would lech over its design. Huh. For men who claim to forsake the body of mortality, they sure do indulge in the pleasures of the flesh when they can. Yeah. The Eye of Yaga is much more than what it seems to be. Jarvis Killington had no idea what he stole. He only believed it to be valuable and a source of power. It ultimately caused his ruin. Like I said before, do not touch it with your bare hands. It must be carried in a container. Guess my jar is empty now, except for that moss. Yes, anything made of heavy metal will do. Heavy this is metal. for your own safety and protection. I do not believe Jarvis was a savage man, only misguided. Stealing the gem was probably the act of a bored rich man. It yeah. is a shame that such a prank caused him and his family so much pain. Oh, him? Oh, poor Richard. Always looking for more power. Studied magic and the dark arts for a time, though I hear he was an awful enchanter. I know he was hurt and possibly disfigured in a spell gone wrong years ago. Spells gone wrong. We all need help sometimes, don't we? I am too high profile with the Moroi right now. You have nowhere to go and nothing to lose. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. It's that kind of man one can count on. Especially when you have the means to pay him. Remind me of those means can again. Oh, wait. I was only curious. This whole thing seems bigger than a knave like me. Every knave has his day. Make sure you wear it in your travels. It will help you find the resting place of the Sentai monk who hid the Eye of Yaga. I am not quite sure where they are, but I know there is someone in this valley who knows. I have not located them yet, and I cannot spend the time hunting, so this falls to you. <laughs> 
Yeah, Chewie doesn't have a lot of options. All he can do is pick him up with his bare hands. I can say that I'm quite sure that one of them would be buried with the Sentai priest who took them and hid them. Finding his burial can may be tricky. Wearing the necklace I gave you... Alright, I'll pop it on. I'm not quite sure I can... The Sentai priest would have hid it somewhere in the valley, but he would have marked where. Probably near water, honestly. We derive power and safety from that element. Look, I'm going off to what might be certain doom. <laughs> doom. I don't see why not. Oh, <gasps> she gives you a nice full kiss on the lips. Score. Score. That's what it's all about. Okay, well, I have a freaking gym to find or something. Focus, Mr. Rowan. Freaking gym. I told gem. you that you had an amazing body. Would you hold it against me? She ever heard that one before? For all we know, like this taking place in the past, he maybe came up with that line. This might be the first time anyone's ever you heard know, it. No, I might just send this raven <laughs> anyway. Aww. Have I told you that you, you know? Look, I'm going. I don't. She gives you an okay. Focus. Score. All right. I guess that's it. See you, Kiana. Hey, wait a second. I will know how to use the necklace to find this piece. It's like beep the closer I get to it or You'll something. No. Yeah, okay, it beeps. Oh no! Sure. Great. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Alright. Uh you know what? Let's uh let's say Kayana meeting. I'm gonna start being a little more descriptive here. I was warned of a glitch in this game. So I'm hoping it won't happen to me, but... Looks like it has a little face, a sad little face. It's the necklace Kayana gave you. Besides being made of gold and diamonds, she claimed it could help you find one of the pieces. Alright. You put the necklace on, carefully hiding it under your shirt in case someone thinks you're a sissy. <laughs> oh, I love that last detail. Just in case someone thinks you're a sissy. Oh, and this, this was, like, magically locked off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You noted. You decide. All right, here's the... I remember we had the E. E. I don't see the... Is this the falling down F, the drunken F? I don't really see the other symbols. Was that on there? It's more like, do these just kind of fit in the right spots? Cause I'm not so sure they do. Nothing happened. Nah, I'm good. Do you remember some of those symbols though? <laughs> Striking out with the ladies, yeah. Well, Quest for Glory meets Leisure Suit Larry. Ah, it sounds like a recipe for success, as far as I'm concerned. This thing's not exactly like, is it? She just said I'll know. You can't Seems attack that. If we're on the right screen, it's just gonna start going. Blurp. I think all this running has done anything for my health. A little odd. It always marginally improved your stats in Quest for Glory. It's a fair point, though. Yeah, when we were in Tear, the, uh, the more I came up and were like, we're watching you. So, yeah. We're sort of on their radar as well. <laughs> yeah, Larry would be going after Kana Hard. We're a, a bit more discreet, a little more subtle. You climb. But, but I'm pretty sure Larry used that line at some point before. If I told you your body was beautiful, would you hold it against me? Gotta talk to Kid after all this, that's what I know. Hey, 
have you seen a uh, well endowed woman in a green cloak? Don't around say that to Kit. No, you know I haven't seen anyone like that around. But if <laughs> I do, you bet I'll scramble to tell you, cause I'm your personal assistant. Love it. Cousin noted. Thanks anyway. No, no problem. That's why they pay me the big bucks. Love Kit. Anybody, anything else new on here? I'm a lonely so. bartender in a small town. Are you here to save me, eh? Is that a rhetorical question? Ah, uh, give me another one of your malts. I'm rich as hell right now. Here you go, mate. You pay her and begin to sip your drink. Six or seven of these and you might get as giddy as... Anything else to talk about? I guess not. Ah, uh, not. Yeah. Hey. Hey. <sighs> All right. Um. We should get some rest. I think I've gotten some battles, have we not? Yep, we certainly have. Kept fighting those dudes with the uh, uh, you decide. Uh, the undead dudes. We got some healing potions off of them. We should probably check our count. Actually, I'm a little curious where we're it's not where we're standing in that regard. You were carrying five. I thought we had You'll more. Stop. Right yeah, let's get some breakfast. Man, I could go for some. You sit down. Walk. Waffles sound meal. fantastic right now. Absolutely. You wolf down all Anything new going on with you, Ina? No? Well, it was oh. I get it. You're the I kind of folks hello. that don't get programmed in additional lines of dialogue. I can appreciate that. You can't Alright, let's go shopping. We're so moneyed. Maybe not spells necessarily, but other stuff. Tobacco, goods. Should buy some goods. Type goods here just in case. I'm gonna instantly be like, oh, I need my money back. I'd like to purchase some items. Yeah. Well, I'm here to help you, young man. Thank you. Again. Just to remind you, I'm the guy who killed uh, Gorth. I already forgot his name. Might as well have some flint and steel. You have I'll take that. You have purchased a tent. Oh, I didn't mean to buy that. Might reload. That's a little expensive. I do want to build a camp, though. That seems fun. Being able to crash away from the inn. Let's see, I want you have this. purchased a small. You have purchased a tinder box. Uh, guess I'll need that. I think I'm gonna hold off on the diamond one for now. We might need that for, you know, something where the normal crowbar just won't hack it. Do I still have the normal crowbar? Or did that break? Now we still have it. It's a small it's like, yet fancy silver key, which this looks like it could open some. Storage or safety box. The necklace is quite a. It's the necklace you're currently wearing. Flint and steel. Right. It's your box of tinder. Do not do that. Trust me, do not do that. That doesn't do. Okay. Well, I guess I'll hold off on the other stuff for now. A bodega. Uh. Don't know that I want to buy anything from these gentlemen. I'd like to purchase some items. Happy to be of service. I like Armand. We got pipe, cigar. He's only got one left. Hmm. 
Man, I really wish I could just bet 800 lives on an archery. Winner take all. We'll save, of course, before we do it, but... Man, that would solve all my money woes. Every real man should have one of these. Well, in that case... You have purchased a smoking pipe. Your salesmanship has won me over. You have just purchased a Walla Roll cigar. You shall enjoy smoking this. You have purchased some Lunarian tobacco. You have purchased. Can't afford any of that stuff right now. I don't know. Hopefully, we need this. I don't know why they would sell it if we don't need it. All right, goods. Any more potions we need? I think he said to come back. In the morning, he would have some more potions. I'd like to purchase. Of course. Doesn't really. You have purchased an empty. You have. You have. You. You, you can't afford. Does. I don't like that right clicking. A uh, relic. Need more money for that. He's a tall. He's a. Hello, Zach. That is weird. You take care now. Yeah, you always say come back tomorrow and you'll have stuff. You're always sold out by the time I get here. Which one's Prospero? This door. It's the back door to the tavern, I believe. All right. You sell anything? Else? Giving that away. No. He's got more oil. Oh, the magic, dude. That's why I wouldn't know. Ah, there's the perfume. We gotta get that for a special lady in our life, but. Rubbing alcohol, snake oil. You have purchased. You have purchased. Buy one of everything. You have purchased some funky smelling. All right, we're broke as a joke. We need to do another job. Where's Jason Statham, man? All right, yeah, let's check in with uh, the magic guy. I just figured we had no business with the sorcerer, but... I don't think I've oh, talked sir. to him since the day of the execution. Well, sir, listen to that. Apparently, he does know manners. That's right, sir. Well, then, how can I help you? Ah, the typical cursed rich family that every kingdom or valley seems to have. I noticed I that too. I don't know if they were cursed. Or perhaps Jarvis Killington meddled with things that he should have not. If I could give you one bit of advice, never underestimate the power of this entire. It's true their allegiance is to good, but they're not beneath any means to enforce it. Ah, the typical... Vulgar a bunch of simpletons and dotes, following an even larger idiot. However, do not underestimate the power of idiots in a group. They can be like a herd of angry elephants. True. Large, powerful, and unstoppable. Very true. I have a small task I need undertaken that you might nice. find interesting. Yeah. Interesting is good. Gold is better. There will be ample opportunities for you to make some gold on your... Let's call it a quest, shall we? Sure. And if you are successful... I have a special reward you will most certainly be interested in. All right. I'm listening, Mr. Magic. Mr. Magic. A number of years ago, I was cursed to only be able to walk within the walls of Volksfell Village. Really? Most of the time, it isn't a concern. There are some small tasks which take place outside the village, which I require assistance with. Sure. Small tasks? <laughs> Maybe not so small. There's a necromancer laid up in the dwarven mines near the beach. And I have it from reliable sources that she's trying to raise a demon. I need you to stop this from happening. Yeah, Voozle. You want me to stop a necromancer from raising a demon? It's not exactly a small task, Mr. Magic. He used to be an elephant herder before the bridge was out. We could even import an elephant or two, just for old time's sake. No, it's not. But I believe the reward does outweigh the risk involved. All right. A set of magical braces called the Braces of Mastery. You wear them in combat, and you'll find you become more adept at your sword work. I've been looking for some bracers. I'll see what I can do. Excellent. Oh, yeah. 
Where's the beach? That's a sharp sign you got there. You know, outside this place. Oh yes, that thing. I have to attract the cretins of this town in here to buy stuff somehow, don't I? Yeah. It's like that guy that would like hang out inside the toy shop when I was younger at the mall and like blow bubbles with that gun and I don't know, twirl things or do the remote control. I don't it know. It worked on you, didn't it? I am a cretin. Maybe. Come on. I know you liked the pretty lights. <laughs> it's so condescending. I love it. A loathsome creature. Go to the mines in the south, and you'll discover that vile things lie deep within. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I kept getting killed by spiders and stuff in there. I remember that. I know the title Necromancer sounds fierce, but you'll find a swipe of the sword to the head, and quickly should do the trick. We'll see. All right. Yeah, I vaguely know where that is. Ish, kind of. I have several available that will be of benefit to you. Show me. All right. What you got? Oh, he's got better swords. Maybe this is what I should have been spending my money on. Oh, that the random. Yeah, that was fun. Spells. Well, I don't think that's what he was talking about. He said something about the sword. All right. Good, we have a fun little quest. Good call. I'm glad we came in here. Even if he didn't have anything for me to buy, I mean, he does, I just can't afford it. We now have a sweet, sweet quest. And we have some healing potions this time, so maybe we can survive those areas. Should I just start trying to give my perfume to all the ladies now? Start with Ina, because she's here. She's closest. Ah, oh, you're so sweet. Whatever you're. Mr. Rowan, <laughs> it's very sweet of you, but that stuff smells like two dead moose rotting in a swamp. Oh, I spent a lot of money on this. The label reads Putri de Destrangle Cat. Sounds pleasant. It ripped me off. Oh well, maybe Kit will like it. Maybe it's more her scent. Guy can dream, right? Seriously, Mr. Rowan? This thing smells like the skeef in the bottom of the draft tray. I don't want to smell like that. Damn it, 250 blinds down the drain. Jason Statham? You have no reason. Uh. All right. Well, let's try going to the you pull up mine. If I could recall where it was, you somewhere in the south woods. There's one of their little tree houses. They are fun. You have no. You have. Just try not to get any too many fights before I get there. I think it was right down here, actually. That was easy. You can't take me so Alright. Let's call this the mine. So there's probably gonna be a bunch of spiders in here. There's one right now. Run by it! And run by that one! And wait. Less talking, more fight. Oh, he wants to fight. Ah! Ah! Nice whack. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember this guy. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have stopped to fight everybody ever. Mm. So it's not a sure thing we're going to dodge. Alright. Instantly regretting fighting this guy. Incidentally. Well done. Total badass. Searching the you also found a heat. Well, we kind of need the blies. You drink the healing. Second is to 39. Man, they charge too much for these. You drink the 39, 59. Sensing a pattern. You drink the 20 a spell. Yep. Come on, our health never has gone up. It's odd. 
Alright, no more fights. I do not have a harpoon. Do I need a harpoon for th <gasps> What is that? You once fought a spectre for Oh, a spectre, yeah. Okay. We have fought them. No, don't fight the you spectre. Can't even run. I think it's a mind thing. It's only a minor problem. I don't think those things had anything. Ooh. These tools are all really old, broken, and of no use. Like your old copy of Mist. I could use DOS box. Might not have been a DOS. Are you game. kidding? You're not going to rest on these old bunks. Do you even know what lonely dwarves did on these bunks late at night, alone for weeks? They read books, you sick, twisted f. <laughs> they read books. Sick, twisted. Oh, wait, no, I'm not trying to leave there. If I wait, they'll just get more turns in and keep whacking me. All right, I apparently can't go that way. Lesson learned. Let's go north. Ah, okay. Wait, what? Is that a dead end? Odd. Wait, what? Okay. The rocks are okay. Different. Oh my god. I need a map or something. Nope. As you were. Books were adult dots. I just feel like if I were a necromancer, I would hang out in the back left of what? If you want to fight him. Oh no! No, 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 Rome! You could feel some. I thought he was already dead. Damn it! Nice work. Hope this guy had a health potion on him. I'm not doing so hot. Searching. Nope. You drink. You drink. Don't. <laughs> Don't. Don't. Roam. You could feel. Do not like that. It's not a given. At least let me get that preemptive hit in. Take him down. There we go. Right, nice. We're, we're becoming quite formidable. Set. Yeah, now he goes. It's of no use to you. Let's get the early hit. You Rah! <laughs> Four damage. Oh. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! That bastard is never gonna bother you again. They are very low quality audio samples. <laughs> the dialogue. Searching the Whoa! What we got going on here? Whoa! Oh, crap! What the hell is that thing? It's of no use. Why is it so prominently animated? It's a shovel. Though? It's of. No what was that thing? Hi? Ah, uh, you couldn't let me go, could you? I'm sure it don't taste very good. You want some perfume? Surprisingly, the Kraken says nothing back to you. Ah, you're going down. Mm, no, he's way too big. It's a large, green, smelly monster. You what? Don't be stupid. Look at the size of the damn thing. 
Ah, uh, you couldn't. Surprisingly. Uh. Do you want a fish? Here's your fish. You need to get closer. Wait, give him the fish. That was both gruesome yeah. and painful. You need to get closer. Terrible narrator. Oh crap. Oh crap. Can I net the big fella? You need to get cl I don't like that. You need Yes. Eat this and leave me you alone. Let me guess, you're gonna snap me in half again. So cliche. That's what Alright. Well, I guess we don't need to hang out with the crack and keep saying I need to get closer, but when I do I die. Would that happen to be where the necromancer is? Like back in that general direction? Don't mind me. At least I can run past everything without too much issue. I just don't necessarily know where I'm going. <sighs> kind of like walked around him in that case. I was like, excuse me, don't mind me. Yeah, map would be pretty, pretty good. Let's see. The Dwarven Mines. Let's see. Okay. I did not upgrade my sword at the magic shop for what it's worth. Seems like there's some good stuff in here. And if I hadn't run away from the Kraken so quickly, I think I might have found I'd have my bearings right now. Come on. You could man. Uh, didn't even get That's a all the uh, health back I should have off of that. Searching the no healing potion. We haven't got a healing potion in a while. Let's go Rome 3 here. Yeah, I can see. Let's see if I can't get back to that Kraken. And then use that as my bearing point. Oops. You could. F I was saw me trying to leave there. Damn it! Don't like how sometimes you just literally can't get off the screen. That's fine. Yeah, no, I didn't upgrade my sword at the magic shop. I bought perfume like a sucker. You were definitely not here just now. So you I could feel. I just unable to run away sometimes. That's too bad. I was getting some good licks in that time.
You've already Let's look at this map, trying to figure out where I might be at this point. Four away area right here. Just clearly we can go down here, but but no. That's why we get caught on some of these baddies sometimes. Is this the crack? Alright, so that's the crack and this to get out of here you head off back to town all right well get a way to get out of there for now so now we have the map at least he was talking about the necromancer I'm not seeing anything about that this says he's part of the uh, necromancer's quest actually so all right So, we can find a map while we're in there, food, a bunch of healing potions, and some cash. Some bracers, more cash. Yeah. It's not like the worst idea for heading back in there. I just, I don't know what to do with the, uh, Kraken. Right now I'm about to die. How much cash have I got for more you have some healing potions? <coughs> Why I Actually, if I'm trying to buy those, I should do it during the day when the man's gonna be open. Harpoon on the uh, on the Kraken. Hello again. Hello there. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. <laughs> How much were these things? Sixty. My God, for twenty health, you are out of your mind. No. Absolutely not. Uh. Those numbers are coming along nicely. Yeah. We never finished in tier. You pull. You dis. Excuse me, Mr. Rome. What's that, Volley? I'm flattered. I don't remember ever giving you my name. So I suppose it is possible that we've slept together. 
But we've already had... I'm actually here under the mayor's orders. He'd like to have tea with you before you leave the city. I haven't gone in the city yet. Let's have tea. That's that's the badass Rome doesn't care for authority answer right there, but maybe this will heal me. Well, that sounds lovely. What a nice man. Let's go then, eh? What a nice man. You head off towards the mayor's house, apparently to have some tea. <laughs> You're excited. You love mayors. You love mayors. I like to keep people guessing. Oh my god. I've brought Mr. Rome as you requested, my lord mayor. Thank you, Captain Volaris. What? This guy? I'm sorry for insisting you come here and using the guards. But you have to admit, as far as guards go, these ones are a little easier on the eyes. Yeah, Bowie's cute, but... Oh, Seth. Easy on the eyes isn't even close. If I didn't have eyes, <laughs> I'd still be able to feel how hot they are. She's like, I'm standing right here. Easy on the eyes, but not so easy on the body. I once saw Volaris hack a criminal's arm right off when he tried to fight her. He had no rights left. I don't doubt that. Looks like he's not even going to offer you a seat. How rude! Wow. Enough, enough. I could go on about the girls all day. What? I merely wanted to welcome you to our corner of the world. Mr. Bean. Well, thank you. But it does intrigue me to know how you knew I was here. Are you kidding? Any time a stranger's in the valley, Rayford makes a noise about it. And then I pay people to tell me immediately about all the noise that Blowhard's been making. It certainly does seem like he's hot-headed. Not even the word. He's an asshole. Man, I, <laughs> I wonder who's less popular. Rayford or Gorth before I killed him. Von Darkle chuckles at his own joke. We chuckle quietly too. <laughs> I don't run the port here with an iron fist. It's true that we are the port of all shipping in the kingdom, and we do get our fair share of gypsies, tramps, and thieves through here. But the citizens of our beautiful city are wonderful, and I won't have them live in fear or have them live annoyed like they do in Volksville. I see. It's true we had to shut down the city and find a particularly wily bunch of criminals the other day, as I'm sure you know. But we found them, and we dealt with them. Well, people like that do need to be dealt with. Rayford likes to make a big public spectacle and have the whole town come watch. I think that's rude. Rude isn't quite the word I'd choose. But I get it. No, I just deal with them. And let the people choose if they want to see or not. The mayor motions over towards the ocean where several bodies, already almost picked clean by birds, are hanging from the ramparts of a turret overlooking the docks in the sea. Damn. Well, live like an asshole. Don't like one, eh? <laughs> 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 yes. So, I see we're on the same page. Same page, paragraph, and sentence. Huh? Good. Well, I hope to see you again sometime. Thank you for accepting my invitation to tea. Is that just code for making me stand here? Like a rude piece of... Thank you for the... tea. Mm, no. You're too kind. Volaris will show you out. I'm very kind, considering there was no tea. And you're just a weird... I don't know. It's all right. I know the way. I know. Thinking you're Mike Tyson with this tiger sleeping right here. Is everyone in this valley an asshole? Seriously. How do you serve him, Valley? Sorry, sir, but I must focus on my work now. If you have any questions, you can go inside and speak to the butler. Butler? You start to talk. Sorry, sir, but I... You knock on please. Come in. I'm afraid Mayor Van Darkles isn't at home. That's but a lie. Look around for a bit if you like. Literally just saw him. And I'll run too. I'll run in your house. The mayor is the mayor. Too busy drinking his imaginary tea. 
This place sucks. Interesting. Oh, what do we got here? Hello there. Hello, sir. Tara. My name is Tara, sir. Tara. Thank you right. for asking. This city is now my home, but I originally come from Kiadia in the south. We are great masters of cloth and dressmaking there. Well, I have many outfits here for sale. I can also do alterations or dye clothes a new color if you like. Yes, I can quite easily alter the color that's of a garment. That's interesting. wonder if that's important. It was a ple- At some point. Good day, sir. Well, good day, ye lady of the walk sweep. They don't lady of the walk sweep. The, door the door is. Hey there, how are you on this fine day? Pretty good, Hogarth. The accents in this game are just all over the place. I can't complain. I hate to listen anyway, huh? I'm just enjoying my day, drinking my ale, and enjoying the beauty of the city. Like the melting pot. Sounds like a good time, sir. Best of luck to you. Same to you, partner. Man, partner. We're in jeans. Hey there, ma'am. Hey yourself. All right, Janelle. Well, uh, I'm lost. Where am I? You're in the city of Tyr. Well, yeah, but... Go bug Lionel in the town center. He'll give you directions. All over the place. Thanks, I'll, uh, do that. Have a good day. Yeah. Hey, you too. Sorry for the smartassery. Oh, I wish she apologized. Please. Smart Asprey is where I feel at home. There you go. Alright, so that leads to that. I think I got my bearings now. What is this? You try with all The massive hall of laws spreads out well, frankly. This place You can't You can't all right. Interesting. You pull out the All right, I want to go check out the, um, I'm trying to think of the best you way to up. get there. And now that I've got this necklace, I want to see if it's going to trigger once we get to the, uh, man, we haven't talked in a while. Yeah? How can I help you? Shaw. Nothing new. <laughs> I'd spit on the ground, but I wouldn't it's want like to James Corden without it. hair, and if he had a goatee. Right. I want to go back to that, um, that well. I don't remember offhand where it is. Can I grease this thing and get it out with my fancy oil? The small label says rubbing alcohol. I wonder what that does. This small bottle of oil wouldn't fix a stuck wagon wheel, but it is just stuck wagon wheel. That doesn't. You pour the oil all over the head of the axe. Huh? Having oiled the axe, you are able to pull <laughs> it from the stump with little difficulty. I don't know why I need an axe, but we got an axe now. Sweet. Nice. I did not get the harpoon. I, di I didn't. See, I feel you like I can hear strange music, almost as if it's in your head, <gasps> but it's almost as if it's coming from the necklace too. Is it this guy? <laughs> oh, I'm still weak. I never slept. <laughs> Don't fail me now! That's a bad time for a miss if I do say so myself. Nice work! Worked out. Oh my god. Searching the Not fighting you. You feel a warm, tingling sensation coming from the necklace you're wearing. You like it. It's almost as if the necklace was drawn to something here. Here? You try with all... 
Whatever. Necklace is going crazy. Almost as if it's drawn to the rock itself. Huh. You take your necklace out from under your shirt and place it on the large rock. Whoa. The rock has opened up to reveal a tomb of sorts. Inside the tomb is a skeleton. You assume he's the old Sentai priest. Well, I guess that's what Kayana meant when she was like, uh, you'll know. He's holding a piece of the Killington seal and a letter. You take both. Awesome. The tomb begins to close on its own, sealing the Sentai priest inside for the rest of his slumber. You wish you had left him a pillow. Whoa, Darth Vader? How's he mixed up in closer. this? Yes, of course. This is just what we want. I just hope he can do it. I don't want to have to try. Don't worry. We'd never trust you with that. What happens then when he does find it? Leave that to me. I have him just where we need him. He'll be of further use to us. Trust me. And then I have my way. Yes, of course. But for now, stay the course. I hope you know what you're doing. On the Emperor, too. Of course I do. This is for the benefit of everyone. Just remember that. Yes, for the greater good. Of course. The greater good. It's nighttime now? Oh, yeah, I've just been standing here looking at that rock. Lord. I need to save. A lot of things have been happening, and I have very little health. So, the. For the greater good, ah, uh, hot fuzz. Excellent. Wells, oh, the apple field, thank you. That's what I was trying to think of. Is it true that there's a place you could shoot a man's head and it will explode? Little too dark down the world. Ah, fine. You pull out. We need some sleep anyway. It's just as well. Um, just you curious decide. if anything's different in tier at night. Ah, you knock loudly. Come to the side gate to be let in. Ah, okay, nice. I give you the once over and let you in. Oh, they leave you alone at night. It's sad. Or maybe your orange rain you prefer it that way. You turn the door. My god, you hit the ex on so We had the exact same experience again. It's uncanny. Ladies. All right. So, uh, what's going on here? Red light district. You want Hey there. Whore? How's business? Hey there, whore. Who are you calling a whore? I got a degree from a famous adventurer school, you know. I just do this for a few extra blies. No, I remember when, uh, Casty did this for a stretch, actually. What happened to adventuring, then? Uh, business really slowed up about 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting back into the game, though. It's pretty good. Peggy the whore. Who you calling whore? Says Peggy the whore. Ah, well, good luck with that. She does have a wooden leg. Hey, you're looking for some work. <laughs> nah, I just like hanging around here dressed like this. Do you like the scent of, like, dead cats or whatever this perfume you're is? You're funny. 
I hope you don't charge extra for that. <laughs> 100 blies for the standard service. Jokes are free. Well, I mean, we're not engaged to anybody. So friends of mine down south need a bit of loving. Be able to house call. Oh, yeah. Can we buy a round for all the brigands? Oh, uh, wait. Just picture one of these ladies with Chewy. <laughs> not picturing it, mind you, but just... Wow. That's an extra 50 blies for a call-out service. I'm good for it. Oh, so it's fair to me. You hand the whore 150 blies. Not even a yes or no? All right. Round of whores for my brigand <laughs> brothers. Just head east along the road from Volksville, and you'll see the lads to the south there. We did a good thing today, everybody. Okay. I'll head over there after me next, John. Say that you do. Huh. I guess we can trust a whore. It's a let you have some blood. Yeah, we still got some blinds. Like that little kick. Hey there. If you're not boring right now, I can't chat. Money talks. Hey, looking for some fun? Not tonight. Your loss, pal. Want me to rock your world? How would you do that? Show me some lies and I'll show- No tonight. If you're not going to pay, then piss off. Uh, this is how you clear out the hunters that are already gone? I thought this was for my brigand brothers. Well, maybe it will. You knock on- Yes. Hello, madam. I'd like to procure your finest room for the night. Certainly. It's 50 blies for the night. It's expensive, but it's a new experience. And we're all about new experiences Sounds good to here. Me. You won't be disappointed, I assure you. Girding up your loins, you prepare for a night inside the Red Door. You awaken the next morning with a spring in your step. That's it. What a night! Hopefully you've avoided any um, <clears throat> uh, health-related issues. <laughs> no more details? Uh, can I, like... You open... There we go. Nice. I haven't been here before. That's new. It doesn't... Tears all right. We've lived here for a while. My dad started this business. Now I run it. My other brother's a banker in Volksville. Oh, nice. Is he the, uh... Yeah. There's plenty to do in the city. Word of advice? Watch out for the ladies at the place next door. Learn that lesson the hard way. Uh-oh. It's the local flop house. You can get a night's rest there and you can get some, uh... company. If you like. Yeah, my health should be topped well, off now. We organize shipping of items I would out think. of here, and we also deal with a lot of incoming stuff. Sometimes people don't claim it, and it ends up in here. But we only do legal shipping here. If you're looking for smuggling or slave trading, you can get the hell out. Yeah, cover your bases. Yeah, like I said, this is the stuff people never claimed. Honestly, it's mostly junk. Anything good has been picked through, so if you find something you like, feel free to grab it. Harpoon? Yeah, unfortunately, there is a slave trader who lives here in town. Voice. Unsavory business. Phone in voice. voice. I don't know too much about him. He lives in a big fancy apartment block in the center of town. He's got a balcony off the second floor. It overlooks the apartment blocks. I don't like what he does, but he greases the right palms. I'm sure the mayor gets a cut somehow. Valeris doesn't know, because if she did, she'd kill him herself. He has his own garrison of personal guards, too, so it's impossible to get close to him if he doesn't want it. Yeah, unfortunately, there is a slave trade. I don't know too much. He has... Mayor Von, da Mayor Von Darkles. He's short sleepwalk. and he likes to sleepwalk. One time, I found him sleepwalking on the docks and he was molesting a fish in a bin. Huh. They're soldiers of fortune that he hires. They're as deplorable as him. Huh. Not only is she as fair as the finest sunrise, she's equally capable in both combat and strategy. She is the reason this city stays safe and protected. You should say Ina. Well, there's me dad, Bobby Mills. There's myself. And then me brother. Right. We just call him Whitey. Understandable. Okay. Hey, thanks for stopping in. So Lost in Town is like stuff I can Whatever I can you grab. Dream, you play What? You put your hand on the stove. By the beard of the broomies, mum! That's <laughs> hot! Why must you do such dumb things? <laughs> for those reactions. You rummage through the junk but don't find anything. You spot an artichoke in there amongst the fruit. Wait, I already had an artichoke. Eh. 
Eh. You rummage. You rummage. You try. Rummage. You try. You try. You play around. You try. Whatever. Whatever. You play. You try. You play. What? What? You play. Whatever. You can't. Hmm. Hey, thanks. You have no Not gonna make this mistake of drinking here this time. Oh, here's the lighthouse. You don't really feel like oh. climbing to the top of the lighthouse. It's a hike, and you can see the top from here. Yep, it's a lighthouse. Okay. Fair enough. Peppers? It's a man carting oh, lobsters, lobsters around. He's delivering lobsters. Well, time for love, Dr. Jones. What? What the hell is that he was supposed to mean? I don't know. Oh, look. Here we go. You quickly snag the harpoon. Awesome. Harpoons are cool. All right. Now we can take on the big monster. And our health has been topped off. They seem too engrossed in their own conversation to pay you any. Hey there. Nice fish. She just nods back at you and continues. You think she must not speak your language. Either that or she's wise to you. Gotta work on that flirt. You're about to engage him when he mutters and curses at the net. Repairs must not... Hey there, nice work on all this fish. It's seriously impressive. Why, thank you, sir. But this comes to me as easily as flying comes to a bird. So it looks like it. What doesn't mean it isn't hard work? Yeah, man. Take a compliment. Again, thank you, sir. I am Jahari. And if you ever need anything from me, please, let me know. I think I will. Well, do, Jahari, sir. You have a great day. Long days and pleasant nights, Sabasan. You don't know exactly what he just called you, but you think it was nice, based on his demeanor. Like, Rome is, like, extra nice to certain people over others. He's a little boat. You'd get in the boat and paddle around. All right, let us fast travel. You try, you put. Well, we have a couple places we need to go now. So I want to go you head right here. I'm going to go right here. Do I still have a better still on my necklace? You took this piece of the seal, the dead piece, from the dead skeleton encased in that massive rock. You open the... There we go. Forgot to read this after all that... Hectivity. I hope this letter finds you well. I can only assume you are a Sentai or an agent of the Sentai, as only one from the Order would be able to unlock this. My final resting place. The Eye of Yager is a powerful relic, one which we do not fully understand, but the power we fear and respect. Must be returned to the Sentai. Don't handle the gem with bare hands. We talked about that. Got to warn Chewy as well. Nor allow yourself to be exposed to it unguarded for more than just a moment. Must be contained and transported in a container of lead or you'll suffer the same fate as Jarvis Killington. I'll leave myself here to guide you and offer you this piece of the Crypt Seal. Find the family key. The last element for entry below the fertile ground. Look for our sign and beyond. Hmm. You grab the rope. You run your hand. The necklace tingles, there and suddenly go. you realize there is no wall in front of you, and you see a pedestal Wall's with several alive. curious pieces on it. Hell yeah. the peg game I like the peg game I've already lost the peg game I think I, I may have Not necessarily yeah I used to do this at the, uh, the the old cracker barrel I got it a couple times where they called me a genius it was nice it was good for my ego
This will not be. Yeah, Cracker Barrel game. You know. As you do. Can't go up, can I? I guess we've already lost in that case. <laughs> it's the Cracker Barrel game. You don't want to be an ignoramus like I just was. I don't know that we can... Okay, so we can make that move. Did we want to? That's hard to say. It's easier, I have to say, when you're overlooking it and you have like a big pile of pancakes coming to you. When you, you got that in the back of your mind. And you don't care as much, you know, you're like... You can't seem to get it. You're like, win or lose, I still get pancakes at the end of this, so I'm going to win. In this case... I don't think there's any pancakes coming. No, I've been doing this channel for 10 years, and now that I think about it, not once have pancakes come during one of these streams. I need to fix that, actually, now that I think about it. Not nearly enough pancakes. These are way too spread out. Yeah, this ain't right. You can't. Nothing is stopping you from getting pancakes. <laughs> Maybe if I win, I'll go make some pancakes. <sighs> A librarian dude will give you step by step to solve it if you ask him. That's awesome. I bet he will. That guy is uh, nothing if not ridiculously helpful. You can't. It's a lot harder when you're looking at it like this. Yeah. You can't. We'll come back. You try. Slash, maybe I'll do that off camera. We you have try. one more score to settle in uh, this episode. I don't know how we edit these things. We got us a giant sea creature to kill. You pull. To the south woods. You decide. <laughs> that whore was quick. At least she got those hunters out the way. Ah, oh, I thought I was organizing hordes for my talking bear friend. The narrator seems to be the only one who doesn't know that we've been duped. I don't even remember what we did. What, did we just get killed or something? Did we run by them? I don't remember. Did I fight them? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, wait. We have a map for this now. Hold on. Make sure we get all the goods while we're here. En route to the... Sweet stuff. Fought, then escaped, and they were gone. So I kind of like glitched out the game. Whatever it is, you're. Tr There's nothing in the sacks except. What? Oh, where is a door of enclosing? On okay. not above that. Whatever it is Let's you're trying see. to do, it doesn't seem to be working. There's nothing in this crate worth taking. You do notice an old map shoved into the box, though. It seems to have a rough layout of these mines written on it, along with some notes about places on it. There you go. That's where we are. Bad. <laughs> Gross. Lake. That's where the uh, creature was. Having glanced at the map, you put it away. 
probably had blonde hair when this channel started. I don't know, speaking of the old. All right, so. Yeah, let's keep going this way. All the way. As you were. It's just, you know, I don't want to interrupt the man while he's working. This place doesn't seem nearly as big when you know where you're going. I have to say. You look inside the barrel and find two healing potions, which you take. You look inside the barrel and you look inside the barrel and then realize so we got already two healing it. potions and a whole bunch of money. You could feel something Map for Crystal Lake. Oh, and and the other barrel had even more healing potions. So we got two and five, and we got 187 bly or something. Man, these spiders suck. Don't make me use one of my new healing potions on you. Or not on you. That really chafes, man. That really chafes. You're not. And now, oh wow, well. okay, so that's, where would I have been here? Ah, oh, okay, I think, there we go. All right, so let's see what we actually picked Look up. Look inside the barrel and find two healing two potions. Two healing potions. Which you take. Score! Inside this barrel are five healing potions and 187 blies. <laughs> Some dwarf is going to be pissed at you. Man, I wish we could just like put a little camera right here and watch him come in and start cursing. Some dwarf is going to be pissed at you. You search through the mining cart, pushing aside the dirt and rock. At the bottom of the cart, you see what appears to be a pair of braces. There we the go. The dwarf who lost these is going to be pissed. A lot of pissed dwarves in these mines. Pop them on. You have equipped your braces of fire. Sweet. All right, what are we even doing this for now? Didn't he talk about he's going to give me some... Let's see, what did that do for us? I don't know. Blocking. Probably got better. Sweet. Or do we have more HP now inexplicably? No, we do not. Alright, let's go have our showdown with the Kraken now. Uh, but not there. More like over here. And up all the way. Just keep dodging till I have great dodge skill, then you can rely on that in place of potions. I guess if you get that up to 100 or whatever, so you're hitting that every turn, it is just a way to get some health back. Slowly but surely. Alright. Round two, mother... Oh, crap. Mm. Eat harpoon. You need to get closer. You need to. You need. Maybe just having this in my hand, it's like grasping me furtively. 
Not today. <laughs> it's bad. Oh, in the eye! Damn. Well, that was amazing. Not only did you harpoon him right through the eye, but you also managed to cut through his body and get the lungs in one fell swoop. Hell yeah. Cracking good times. Infamy just went up for defending myself? What? Don't be stupid. Look at the size of the damn thing. Did he have any cash on him? Uh, he's dead. Oh well. Sweet. Leave and come back, maybe. But the whole thing was like to go in the back. Like that's not the necromancer. That's just a kraken. What? There's nothing in the sacks. Well. You try is what it is, I guess. I don't know. Can I just tell him that I killed that thing? You pull out the map and take a look. You head off. Kraken lungs were a quest item. Sir. Well, sir. That's right. Well, then. Hmm. I have a small task. It just there will be ample up at home a number of years ago. Small task? <laughs> There's a necromancer laid up in the dwarven mines near the beach. And I have it from reliable sources that she is trying to. Re you want me to stop a neck? No, it's not. A set of magical braces called the Braces of Mastery. You wear them in combat, and you'll find you become more adept at your sword work. I'll see what I can do. I mean, I I really Excellent. want that. A loathsome creature. Go to the mines in the south. You'll, I know the title Necromancer sounds fierce, but you'll find. Hmm. All right. Well. See you later. I'll be here. So. We need to find the rest of the you took pieces. This piece of the seal. The of the seal. We'll do that. Uh, yeah, we'll do the uh, the cracker barrel game, and then uh, I don't know, two more pieces to find, and I guess we'll be in business. Oh, there's. Oh, the we got the lungs. The lungs are large and rather heavy. Oh, all right. So that's maybe we give this to the necromancer. You I have no know. reason. Yeah. Okay. Answer might be. You take a look. Yeah, the part that's uh marked bad. I'm glad. Let's try running over there right quick. Don't mind me. Just passing through. So this is to the right. This is whatever was marked bad. It's the chasm. You're already standing. You're already. You back up as far as you can before attempting to leap over the chasm. 
Uh, Made it. Uh, what? Whatever it. You're all. <laughs> what? <laughs> Want to run that one by me again? You back up as far there as you we can go. before attempting to leap over this chasm. Two for two. <laughs> Made it. It's kind of hovered. Looked like the glide spell. You walk into what is easily one of the creepiest places you've ever been. In the center of the room is an altar with a large body of some sort under a sheet. Various instruments of torture are placed around the cave, and the remains of people and animals are everywhere. As your eyes adjust to the light, you notice a woman standing at a large book. Damn it all! Why isn't this working? Do you like perfume? Ah, hello there. What? Who? How did you get in here? The, uh, doorway there. Funny. Mm, and pretty. All right. Well, I've never been called pretty before. Handsome, long-lasting, veer oil. Never pretty. Oh, a man with a big ego. I could use someone like that. I don't think I'll be able to help you, strange lady. This place creeps me out. Oh, pretty boy, that's very sad. What did you come here for, if not to help me? Prospero asked me to find and deal with a necromancer who is trying to raise a demon in these mines here. <laughs> Prospero, as usual, only tells you half guesses and half truths. Would you like the truth, pretty boy? Ah, uh, yes, please. The truth is rarely overrated. That ridiculous wizard would have you believe I'm a necromancer. I don't raise the dead, pretty boy. I create life. And raising demons. What is a demon, anyway? And who would a raise boozle. one if the tales of them are true? That wizard is just Atabies. jealous I left him for a dwarf. Oh, wow. A dwarf? <laughs> oh, man. Gonna let him have it once we get back to Prospera's. It's a long story, sweetie, but the short version is that I found the heart I was looking for in the dwarf. Something that Prospero wouldn't give me. <laughs> you feel like you've come into a play halfway through. <laughs> so, he sent you to kill me, did he? Yeah. If you're the necromancer, then yes, he did. Although I must admit, it won't be as fun as I thought it would be. <laughs> and I can't see much treasure around here. Man. I'm sure it won't. You're like, this is gonna suck. Hold still while I cut your head off. What? You feel a strange pressure in your chest. It's not painful, but it's not comfortable. What have you done to me, witch? It seems that you'll be helping me after all. I just placed a geish on you. You will be able to wander these mines forever if you wish. But step outside and you'll have a limited window before you'll need to come back here. Oh no. <laughs> it seems to me, pretty boy, that you owe me for even entertaining the prospect of killing me. So I want you to help me. I'm building a new lover for myself, one that will be everything I want in a man. I've got most of him together, but I still need two things, lungs and brains. For the lungs, there's an old kraken living in the yeah. underground lake who can breathe underwater for days. I'm sure she has some lovely big lungs. And I need a human brain. It doesn't matter if he was good or bad, smart or stupid, pretty or ugly. In fact, it doesn't even matter if it's a few days old, as long as it's not rotten. I'll fill those brains with everything he needs to know. Where's Gorse? Did we bury him yet? Make sure you didn't kill this person personally, or else they reanimate only wanting oh. to kill you and nothing else, and well... It's a pretty big pain in my ass. There goes that theory. Well, pretty boy, get to it. Brain? So you'll release me from this gas if I get these body parts for you? Sure thing, sweetie. Of course I will. You've got that feeling you get when you're being swindled, but it's best not to take chances where magic is involved. <sighs> Can I just cut your head off and then maybe it'll undo the curse? Let's try it, everybody. 
The necromancer doesn't want that. <laughs> it's not a question of what they want. There's no point in a kill, pillage. Can I take that guy's brains? It's to stitch together body the necromancer is putting together. He doesn't have any. Oh, he needs brains. He doesn't have anything of value on him. He was only born a few moments ago. There is nothing that you try with. All That's a good question, there, surprise. Yeah, there is a head on a pike. A perfectly good head on a pike. You pull up. Bag at Volksville. I wonder how long. Do we have like a different counter that shows how long we can be out here? Do roam four. You don't want to take. But I want to cut you it open. Then. There we go. You pull out your knife and stab the head. <laughs> Surprisingly, it starts to bleed. You don't want to. Wait, what? Do we need blood for something later too? It's an empty. F some blood, I guess. You can't use that on the dead man. You can't. You can't. You don't want to take the head. Uh, I need a sack to carry it. This is turning into like a whole thing. Can I saw it open. You can't carry your brain around by itself. You need something to put it in. Uh, net. A sack? Where am I getting a sack from? Can I just put it next to my money? You can't use that. You got any sacks, Udo? You're just like, why'd you just stab that know. head? Carry it like a football. Hey, by the way, Udo, that perfume you sold me, nobody wants it. Got the sacks. <laughs> Why? I... Uh... I think this guy has Hello. a sack. I don't remember anyone selling a sack. Maybe the general store like people? Of course. Any sacks? Oh, oh burr. Hundred blinds from one beautiful. What? No, don't give me a map I already have. I have two maps now. Absolutely not. I have no use for ever. Did everyone just like hang out here? Any people got sacks? Yeah, yeah. What do you want? Oh. Rations. You. You had. Can't believe he would sell me. A bar. Maybe the farm. Farm. Can't believe he would sell me. Ah! Come on. You take the empty feed How many things are we gonna bar. miss on this screen? Hopefully you'll find a use for it. Otherwise, you're just a dude carrying a sack. I've been called worse. You're not the devil. Don't need a pitchfork. All right. You, you head off. All right. Saw this skull. Do I need to wait till this guy leaves? Woo! You cut into the head of this poor bastard. Scalping it like a pro, you lift the top off and remove the brains, placing them in your feed sack before replacing the top of the head. Oh, yeah. yeah. Obviously, Infamy 195. Hey, that's the only direction it seems like we can go in this game, so might as well embrace it. 
You p Back to the necromancer. You had um uh, you p but actually you just Still can't believe I blew my money on those whores. Still steamed about that. Hey, as you are, my friend, as you are. Alright, we're making good time, though. This would be a good end. Exciting end to this episode. Doing a bang-up job there, my friend. Very difficult finding the exact right spot. There we go. Excuse me. Oh no! No! Alright, you have full health, Rome. You have no reason to lose this battle. Frickin' spider just destroying me! I had 80 health at the start of that battle. Spiders are the formidable. The spider has no loot to speak of, although you do take its venom sack, as they can be used for all sorts of poisons. Nice. All sorts of poisons. Okay. You look inside the barrel and find some old clothes and some edible-looking rations. We take the rations. You look inside the barrel. Take the rations. Yeah, a voozle. Alright, let's get this curse off of us already. Even though we've only had it for about five minutes, still. Made. Glide spell, man. Alright, I got your brains and I got your lungs. There's the lungs, witch. <laughs> Finally, the Kraken is dead. You're such a hero. That's another thing I've never been called. Sorry, sweetie. Would you rather be thought of as dark and brooding? Whatever gets me over this piece of life, lady. <laughs> and uh, one brain. I don't know if he was smart or not. The necromancer doesn't... It's not a brain. That is a... Venom sacks or... Venom sack, sorry. I didn't see that. That would have been the more obvious brain looking thing. I was like, I don't know. Here you go, witch. Well, not much about this guy. Ah, uh, brains. Excellent. <laughs> Fish, that's brain food. You can food. keep the sack. <laughs> Such a gentleman. Well done, pretty boy. I can't tell you how happy I am that you've survived and brought me everything I need to finish my greatest creation. Very smooth brain that With quick be. movements, the necromancer puts the lungs and brains into the creature lying on the altar. He's alive! My Don't tell me I gotta fight man. this thing. Everything I ever wanted and so fierce looking. He could destroy anything. Anything at all. My work is complete. But I need some time before he can be revealed to the world, which is a problem for you, pretty boy. What? Here it comes. We had a deal. Destroy him, my perfect creation. Here we go. That's nice. What? I ordered you to kill him! Get. Kill. Rope. Friend. Aww. He's not your friend! You don't even know him! You stupid creature, kill him! No! And with that, the monster falls to the ground. Dead. <laughs> Again. Aww. Oh, that was different. <laughs> yeah. You killed him! You killed my finest creation! And now I shall kill you! Prospero said just cut her head off quick. Killed him! It killed himself, you stupid green woman. <laughs> you stupid green woman.
Somehow her spell bounces off you and deflects back onto her. It's where you hear Prospero laughing in your head. <gasps> Whoa! It's a cool effect for this game. Whoa! Well, that was easier than expected. <laughs> Except for the monster. Ugly bastard. It's not easy being green. What do you want with her ashes? Smoke them? Snort them? <laughs> Keith Richards now, are you? What do you want? I thought she had, what like, you, stuff. What do, you, what do you... He doesn't have anything of value on... Uh... You don't want it. Ever. You try with all... You try with... Do you have any you play, you potions? Try, you play... Whatever it... Nothing in here that we need? Whatever. There is nothing. Don't want this to be like a, uh, farm scenario. You try, you try. There's what? actually ten things and I missed them all. You get 5,000 blies if you're a sorcerer for doing that? You don't want to. I still did the job for the man. I guess in this case he's going to give me something to make my attack better, so I'd say that's worth it. Alright. Let's say. Necro room in case we need to come back here. It's like sooner than later. You p You head off. Let's just turn in this quest. So you have defeated the evil necromancer. Sure did with some help from you it appears. I have. Although I have a couple of questions for you about her. <laughs> I'll humor you. What did you do to her to piss her off so much? Screw her sister? Her mother? Both? Yes. Oh. Right. I promised you a reward. Here, take these bracers. I have no use for them, but you might find them useful in your line of work. Thanks, Mr. Magic. Bracers of Mastery. Bracers of Mastery will increase your sword mastery by a moderate amount. Alright, let's just take a quick peek here. 81, 62, and 41. You have equipped your braces of mastery. 90 ones. Alright, so that's certainly worth it to me. So now, more than 9 out of every 10 hits should land, right? That's just math. We'll see. I guess while I'm here, yeah. Can we afford any of this? You have some blood. I cannot. I think the cheapest tea was going for was 400. Like the bison wouldn't ever. Mr. Magic. Casting spells. Yeah. Gonna have to uh, do some archery. Maybe I'll do that off camera. All right. As you place the final peg, a small drawer opens to reveal a small key. You quickly grab the key and close the drawer. There we go. Alright, we defeated the puzzle board. This is the key to the Killington Family Crypt. we got the key crypt. to the Killington awesome, Family eh? Crypt. Crypt. That is awesome. Alright, we are back here in Quest for Infamy and change the log right quick. A couple things to mention. Well, three things to mention. Number one, off camera, I beat the uh, Cracker Barrel peg puzzle. So uh, I think I got a, a key off of that, actually. Let's see if I can look. Show everybody the key that I found. This is the key to the Killington family crypt. Awesome, eh? It was awesome. Now, actually, I knocked it out. Pretty, yeah, I know, I'm, I'm getting a little cut off, it's fine. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, it, uh, it, I think I got it on my third try after we stopped recording, so I was 
kind of proud of that. I wasn't at it all night. I did keep playing for about another half hour to 40 minutes after we stopped recording last. Uh, not that you missed anything important, but um, part of the change log is we have a lot of money now because I've been cleaning this archery guy out. It's a leather pouch filled Wait with for coins it. of various shapes and sizes, all denoting different... You have some blithos. 3,500. We've been working. We've been working this guy. I'd say we've been cleaning him out, but I think he has infinite money. I don't know where it comes from. It's one of those little mysteries of the universe, like where all the goblins from the goblin training grounds come from. It's best not to think about it too much. Uh, but anyway, we have lots of money now. We can buy whatever we want. Um... That was about 20, 30 minutes of just solid beating this guy in archery. And one last thing, a lot of folks have mentioned me privately, that, uh, which I appreciate, that um, there is a bug in this game where you can't get all the crests unless you do something in a certain order, maybe. So I just went ahead and just made sure I could get the rest of them. So I know how to do that now, just in the interest of full disclosure. We don't have them, we're about to do them now. But there we go, that brings us up to speed for this episode. And uh, we got Boku Bucks, that's the main thing. This guy, <laughs> he doesn't know when to quit and take pity on him. Alright, so I guess let's just keep on trying to get the rest of uh, these pieces of the crest. So let's see, I thought that snake wanted to go for a second. Let's pull our map out here. It became evening time. That's how long I was doing archery contests with that guy. Having gloves. Oops, wrong map. That might take me somewhere I don't want to be. That's the problem with having two maps in your inventory. You pull out the. All right. So let's see. I want to go. You head to. First, let's try the one that's historically bugged apparently I'll say I didn't have this problem thankfully let's see not down here I want to get back to that waterfall and we'll see why once we get there so serene I think it's up to the right on the next screen, actually. Or the next screen. Yeah, next screen. This land is so beautiful at dusk, I have to say. Up one more screen. <laughs> up with our friend, uh... Well, that's, that's not our friend. This guy needs to die. <laughs> there we go. And we got our, uh... <laughs> our bracers on from that last that last episode kill him there you go nice work that bastard is dead to take a look at my stats it's been a while so not that we need money anymore but searching the corpse reveals some blight there you go like one one hundredth less than one one hundredth of our account alright let's take a look 96% so we're almost guaranteed every time to land that's pretty fantastic uh, hacking 63 we just need to get that up to do a bit more damage but we'll take it for now all right let's try to get behind this waterfall now so we came here before where's our trusty rope did I go buy it already I kind of like that they organize things you in the order that you you pull out your trusty that you get them. All right, drop down the side here. So what I did not do before when I was on this screen was this. You plow through the waterfall and find yourself in a cave. Wiping the water from your eyes, you squint and see a knoll standing on top of a pile of treasure. If you do a search online, they refer to this as the Knoll Bug. He doesn't seem really excited or happy to see you. Why not? Now, what the hell do you want? I said I'd give you some money, but it seems like you're relatively moneyed right now. <laughs> I need some beauty tips. Should we be all sassy? 
I think he'll like he'll make me leave. Oh, I was just looking for something. Mm, something. Of course you are. Everyone wants a piece of my treasure. <laughs> I'll take that sword, actually. That looks pretty cool. Seriously, it was nice to see someone else in here for a moment. <laughs> but if you don't leave in the next 60 seconds, I will remove your head. Oh, no. You stow your climbing kit in your backpack. Man, that was fun. We didn't even have a chance to put our climbing kit away before we got all sassy with this monster. What's the problem, friend? See you later, dude. Uh, oh, yeah. Have you happened to have a family seal piece? I'm collecting them. Oh yeah, you know I did find something like that. Piece of junk. You're still not getting it, so go! Go! Like that little added raw. See, I do remember them saying they tossed, I think, a piece off of the, uh, the waterfall. You better get out of here quickly, or I'm not responsible for what happens to you. You need to chill out. This guy really yeah. needs to mellow out. I think I know. I know what can help. My name? Nothing you care, but it's Gary. Oh, it's Gary. Gary Ganol. Gary Ganol. I prefer Gary the Knoll, thank you. Not scary, Gary, but I like Gary's. Hold on, man. I know what you need. Ah, don't come back. Ah. You just need to mellow out, like the narrator said. And I think I have just the thing. Remember when I bought something and I was like, man, I hope there's a use for this and I'm not just needlessly wasting my money? Take this pipe, Noel. <laughs> hey, have this pipe. Have this pipe. Oh, thanks, I guess. That's the appropriate response to someone just randomly handing you. So what am I supposed to do with an empty pipe? Wait. Wait for it. So we have... This is the standard Lunarian tobacco. Available all over the world. It's cheap and does the job. Right, we didn't pay that much for that, but we also have... Yonderian leaf is a smooth-tasting tobacco. Should we give him the good stuff or the cheap stuff? I'm open to suggestions on this. Mostly because I don't think it matters which one we give him. No. Give him the mushrooms from Quest for Gory 1. That would mellow him out. You know what, man? I'm gonna give you the cheap stuff. I'm gonna save the good stuff for when I'm celebrating later with that oh, talking man. bear. You need to relax. You've been alone on a pile of treasure for too long. Here, have this tobacco. Here, have this tobacco. Well, I suppose I could indulge a little. There you go. Just let loose, Gary. The knoll. <laughs> the knoll <laughs> takes the pipe and ignites it. He takes in small, enjoyable puffs. The aroma of fine tobacco spreads through the room. And he seems, well, happier. Fine tobacco, it's a relative term. Damn, man. <laughs> you know, that was just what I needed. I love the music just changed. Is that trying to do like a reggae type thing? Hey, no problem. Every now and then, some people just need to unwind, you know? Here, I want you to have this. It's obvious you need it. I know. It's not worth anything. And I'm never gonna be here to use it anyway. Aw, oh, what good is a treasure if you can't leave to, like, enjoy it, you know? It seems like more of a chore than anything, but anyway. We're not here to worry about the Gary the Knoll. Nice. It's our second piece of the... You took this living piece of the seal from that knoll behind the waterfall. From the seal, yeah, and we have the... You took this piece of the seal, the dead piece, from the dead skeleton encased in that massive rock. All right. Cool. All right, man. Well, as you were. You already got what you wanted <laughs> here. Better not push your I just luck. like the music. Da, da, da. Ooh, is that a magic lamp? Do you see that, Noel? He'd kick your ass if you even try to take some of that treasure. He looks relaxed now, though. He's a different Noel. He's a different Gary. Oh, crap. You slipped on the wet edge. <laughs> Did I just die? Oh, no, we're okay. Stupid Noel. Stupid Noel. Oh, good. They're back. Boy, night falls quickly in this valley. Yes, it do. I like how instant that is. They couldn't get like the the gradual quest for glory. Nothing like a good climb, eh? Absolutely nothing. Alright. 
Anyway. So let's, uh, we're on a good streak right here. Actually, you know, we kind of need to sleep. We're about to die. We could probably stand to buy some more stuff in town, too. All right. Let's do it. Let's head back, get a good night's sleep. Get a nice meal from Ina. You head off. I could have a drink from Kit, too. Let's get a drink. You <laughs> climb over the gate. The skull that we cut open. Climbing plus one. Chris Angel just putting out the vibes 24-7. Getting me a drink. Hey, Kit. That's my favorite bartender. Anything new to say? He's a big bastard, ain't he? So, no. It's too bad. I'm starting to think nothing's ever going to happen between us and Kit. But I'll take one of your single malts. I should just like kind of open my money pouch a little wider than I normally would be like, oh, sorry, it's hard to shut this thing with 3,500 blies. George. Here you go, mate. All right, kid. George Lucas over there. You pay her and begin to sip your drink. It's as refreshing as you hoped it would be. Yeah. Six or seven of these and you might get as giddy as a Lenarian whore. Never get tired of hearing that. All right, any more jobs coming up, Jason Statham slash Kurt? Uh, not too much. Okay. Have you been there yet? I have. It's lovely. Hey, you be taking care of yourself, sir. We actually have more business in uh, Tier. So I have to head there. All right, let's head <coughs> to the inn, that guy. Why? It's crazy timing. That guy's always leaving as we're getting back. Uh, can I have a late night meal? Eden? You're no longer hungry. All right. Let's crash, get some breakfast, and get back to our infamous ways tomorrow. Ah, the old comfy bed. Finally got to let that breathe. You decide to lie down. All right. Let's uh, sleep till morning. Get all our HP back. You sleep until the morning and wake up with the daylight. Not a bad way it's to do it. It's now morning. Day nine. All right. You're starving. <laughs> At least let me get out of the room first. Amazing how you go from you're fine to you're starving overnight, just like you that. You sit down at the table. Here's your meal, Mr. Rowan, sir. All right, Ina. Looks lovely. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. Another belch. You wolf down all the food and give a proper belch. Okay. Well, now, let's do a bit of shopping now that we can afford everything ever. <laughs> Thank you, Archery Man, one more time. Um, pop in the bank. I think... You enter the bank. Actually... I think the key that we got from, uh, let me see if I can find it. Here we go. It's a small yet fancy silver key, which you got from the locket you appropriated from Japsworth. Right. This, it, this looks like you could have safety box. So let's try giving it to, uh, what's his name here? Hi, Milky. Milky. I got this key here. Come on, Rome. <sighs> well, I'm surprised someone like you could afford a safe deposit box. Ah, well, takes all kinds, I suppose. That's a nice way of putting it. Reaching below the counter, he takes out a safe deposit box, which he opens. Inside is a piece of the Killington family seal, which you take. Easy. Thanks, man. No problem, cobber. Cobber. What's a cobber? Crikey! It's a word from me home down south of here. Means friend. Oh. Sure. Does it? We had uh, an Australian viewer last time I was playing this... I would ask them if that's what that means or not. I'm skeptical, to say the least. All right, so we now have three of the four seal pieces. This is the servant's piece of the seal, which you acquired from Japsworth. All right. All right. So we got the three pieces. Let's see if there's any goods that we need to buy. Oh, I think we want to go see uh, the sorcerer. 
Did he have upgrades, I think, for our sword that we cannot afford for? Let's prioritize those. Come back and spend our money otherwise in a moment. Uh, and we'll get potions, too. I swear I know my way around this town. <laughs> it's only day nine, and it's only like six screens. You'd think I'd know it by now. Here we are. All right. Let's get the good stuff. Oh. You try with all. I'd like to buy some things from you, Mr. Magic. Mr. Magic. Wouldn't everyone? All right, let's see. Upgrade our standard sword to a bastard sword and the bastard sword to great sword. So we got to go in order here, but that's okay Chump change my man All right Thanks to Prospero you're now the proud owner of a bastard sword for like five seconds you equipped your bastard sword. All right, so we went from Hmm what did, I mean none of those changed Hacking was 63. Climbing went up last night. Am I more infamous because I have a bastard sword? That would make sense. I don't know. Someone take a mental screenshot of this. And let's uh, upgrade one more time. Are you selling me snake oil? Prospero? Bastard sword to a great sword. Does more damage. I'm down then. Thanks to Prospero, you are now the proud owner of a great sword. Just kind of looked like he was running my credit card over there. You have equipped your great sword. All right, so, so apparently this doesn't show up in the stats, but we're doing a lot more damage now. Did our infamy go up? All right. Well, I'm stoked to do a lot more damage. And did he have anything else like I might be interested in? I don't care about that. Ah, I don't know if I care. I'll buy one of these. You have purchased a teleport pill. You never know when that might get you out of a jam, you know? It's like having flares in the back of your car, in your trunk. It's just a good idea. Pressure pump. Jumper cables. <laughs> this is turning into a very different recording. Very different video right here. Alright. Any more smokage like we should grab from these guys? We could buy, like, the best tobacco. I don't know if there's any point in doing that, though. I don't even have a pipe anymore. I should probably buy another pipe. You have purchased a smoking pipe. Never know when we might need to mellow out easy. Uh, oops. I just bought the best stuff in the world. All right, well, whatever. <laughs> I hate that right-clicking does that, but... All right. Well, when we have something to celebrate... You're carrying a case of Sir Davis of Romerio tobacco blend. Yeah, when we have something to celebrate, I know what we're smoking. Good lord. What's the armor? Where can I buy the armor? I'll make sure we don't save over five. I didn't mean to do that. So we can still go back if need be. I'd like to purchase Yeah. I'm here. Alright, the tent. We never bought the tent. And the diamond tipped crowbar. Alright, I'm starting to think we didn't need the top tier smoke so let's restore your your great sword all right we got the great sword we're good so we'll check the blacksmith later on uh... it's the sigil for the shed Hmm. Always seems more like a blacksmith to me, but that's fine. Let's go try to talk to the blacksmith. Right up here. You ring the bell. Yeah, we'll come back at night. Upgrade that armor. That is a uh, that's a good call. Good question. Do I still have the teleport pill? I thought I bought one earlier. But maybe I just used it instantly and I was like, this sucks. Alright. In that case. Let's buy one. Like the wooden You have There we go. Alright. Just in case. 
Good reminder there, Triple. All right. Uh, so I'm hesitant to buy anything else until I find out how much the uh, how much the armor is. I'm sure we'll have enough to cover it with everything, but I talk to. Let's go. inspect your wares, Of course. See what else he might have that we might want. Let's see. The everyday oil, the rubbing alcohol, snake oil. We got the perfume still. Uh, I mean, I think. I know I already have some of this stuff. I use some of it to get the I get, to get that axe out of the. The small label right, says rubbing, rubbing alcohol. alcohol. You, the label read. All right, that's fair. And I know I need the flint for this last piece. Don't pick this stuff up and smoke it. 1500 for the best armor, we can swing that. There's the bee lady. All right. Gentlemen, how's business? Same old, same old, I'm sure. All right, so we need to head back here to the chimney. And uh, I think I need, I think I need one more thing from the. I just want to call it the Giving Tree at this point. It just keeps giving me stuff. That little farm, had... the shed in the farm, it just keeps delivering for me. Ah, uh, remember that screen where we killed that apple man? <laughs> Good times. Let's grab some hay. You take a small handful of hay from the pile. Who doesn't need some hay once in a while? It's the greatest barn in the history of adventure games. Just keeps giving. All right, so now that we got you the hay, we can head up to you head up around the graveyard. Still say we need some of that mossy water or whatever it is, but anyway. Any hay? Let's put our hay here in the chimney. You put. The there we are. Now I think we also need to put the. Uh, where is it? We've been carrying this around for a while too. This is what we got on that one screen. You put the moss into. There we go. Now we just need to make a little fire here with our flint and steel. There we are. It begins to catch fire, but then it just kind of smolders and smokes. Oh boy, does this stuff smoke. You begin to cough as the thick smoke not only goes up the chimney, but also all around. The wasps don't like it either. <laughs> they fly out of the chimney. Hopefully not toward us. Now that they're gone... You reach in and remove the loose brick. Brilliant. You can feel a little hollow inside. You feel around and grasp something. Hey, Matthew. When you pull it out, you realize it's part of the Killington family crest. Part of the crypt key. All right, so that's the last piece that we need, actually. Uh... So now, I'm gonna head up to the graveyard. It's definitely the door to the crypt, and it's definitely locked and sealed. This is the one. Try as you might. Hold on. At first glance, it looks just like an ordinary stone right. door, but when you really gaze at it, where we're there seems the to be something different about it. Looking closer, you see a shallow indentation on the door in the shape of a shield. All right, let's start fitting our pieces in. Even I feel like I could figure out this puzzle. You think you need more pieces of the seal before you can try to get them to stay? Do I? The four pieces slide together to form the complete seal. And that's all that was missing. All right. It's waiting for someone to show up and say, stop that. 
or, you know, the bad guy to swoop in after we did all the work. You place the crest a running firmly start. into the crypt door. Put that in, apparently. You could feel a weird energy flowing as you placed it. Yeah. Now you just need a key to use in the lock on the seal. Got it. This is the one that I got at the bottom of the well after beating the cracker barrel puzzle. You use the old crypt key on Fantastic. the lock now on the door. It turns, and you begin to hear a massive sound. Oh! One that rocks the land. Oh, all right. The door to Hades opens like Quest for Glory 5. <laughs> Shrug, I don't know. The door is now open. Holy crap! Agreed, narrator. All right. This is like the second autosave that we've had this entire game. Good work, autosave. Working hard. All right, what do we got? Ooh. Fancy. It's got some. You play around with it, but nothing seems to happen. You adjust the bow to a new position. You adjust the. You adjust the. Uh... You adjust the shield to a new position. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. So we're going to need to get this to reflect probably over here. You would just... Oh, off of the... Okay. That's the start everything. You try with all... You would just... The... Whatever it is, you try with... You try... You would just... Kinda. You would just... You would just... Ish? You would That's not gonna change anything. You adjust the shield. Guess we gotta touch you would everything here. You play a You would just You play You would You would You would You would You would You would Ish? You would maybe? You would You try with all your might. You are underground. Hmm. What? You try. You play. You would. You would. You would just. You would just. You would. The room sizzles with go. some sort of electricity. We had to get it over there. Hell yeah. You peer into the sarcophagus and look around. <gasps> you don't see the gem inside. What? A damn gem isn't in there. Oh, it's in there. Oh, hi, Hummel. You just have to dig. Okay. Hummel keeps his crossbow very carefully trained on you. That's not cool. I don't have my armor yet. <laughs> you see, my grandfather's final act was to swallow his precious gem. This stupid hunk of superstition robbed me of my birthright and killed my entire family. Damn. Yeah, that is a pretty unlucky item. <laughs> Mind if I have it? You can't be serious. <laughs> Do you even know what this is worth, fool? That's why I want it. Oh, I don't know. Gwen in Volksville says she'll give me a few blies and some sausage for it. Mmm, the sausage. Don't pretend to be dumb. This will allow me to restore my family's fortune and secure my place. Mm. That's great. Really excellent. Though I'd really appreciate it if you gave it to me. Yeah. I'll just give you some blies I got from the archery contest. Oh, you are funny. Thanks for doing all the dirty work for me. I've been waiting for this for a long time. You didn't earn it, though, Hummel. No problem, pal. Now can I go and be on my way? I've obviously sucked more time in this than I wanted to, and I'm obviously not going to be getting it, and <laughs> I really don't want a boat in the stomach. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I give the impression that I'd let you live? I don't know. Did I give the impression that I didn't just buy the great sword? You're about to die, Hummel. Well, I thought that possibility was lingering in the air. You're a loose end. Possible trouble. Besides, who I'm selling this to probably doesn't want you around anyway. Now, get out of my way and let me get the gem. 
Flipping the coin. No dice, Hummel. Who? Oh. oh my. What is happening to me? Uh-oh. Oh. Crap. Huh? You don't know what the hell just happened, but Hummel just freaked out and mutated right before your eyes. All right. There's nowhere to go, and he looks like he wants to beat you to death with your own arms. Yeah, we, you're supposed to pick it up in, like, a special container. He did not do that. Oh, great. Now I have to fight some twisted monster thing. Just freaking great. Now I have to fight some twisted monster thing. All right. Let's see this new sword in action. All right, 13. <laughs> Some might say you've never looked better, Hummel. Man, that great sword. You have a feeling of pride surge within you at your victory. Nice job. Might have had to dip into the healing potions had I not had this sword. That's awesome. Hummel is bleeding and dying on the floor, barely able to talk. He's not got long for this world, poor bastard. What happened? He picked it up with your bare hands, you idiot. I don't know yet. Turned into some kind of monster and I uh, had to put the sword to you. Great sword. Just as well. It was either die or restore our glory. Perhaps we truly are cursed. Buddy, I don't know. <laughs> I don't expect you to. I just expect you to watch me die. Okay, I can do that. That I can do. <laughs> One last sip of wine, if you have any. Uh... I don't. I got some smoke. Not the best smoke in the nah, world. No, buddy, that'd be a waste of good wine. <laughs> I deserve more than this. Eh. Why don't you just die already? It's debatable. <sighs> He's dead. All right. Well, time to grab this gem and split. But like, Kiana said, not to touch the gem with my hands and to find some kind of box to carry it in. It's got to be something here. Is he going to do it for me? I think I found something over here. Looks like a lead line box. Oh, that's nice. Should be perfect for this task. I thought I had to find it myself. I better grab this and get the hell out of here and this valley. Agreed. Oh, well, well, right Mr. Bird. What do we have here? Self-defense. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah. I do find it curious that I find you standing over the open casket of Jarvis Killington, with Jarrett Hummel dead at your feet. Uh, you shouldn't be surprised. I just bought the greatsword. You're going to see a lot of dead people at my feet. I mean, you can see how my suspicions would be raised by something like this. Come on, man. I'm a necrophiliac gold digger. <laughs> Even in death. We've got to hook up with the richest corpses. I buy it. You are amusing, sir, and uh, you are many things, but a necrophiliac you are not. Thought I had you. Oh, so I take it you've known a few in your lifetime, eh? <laughs> You'd be surprised. Oh. Well, maybe you are as tough as they say. Well... People in this town might know me as tough. Some even call me a bastard, I'm sure. But Got I'm to. not totally without reason or mercy. I thought he's about to break out in the song, like a Gaston type of... So, what do you want then? I feel a proposition coming on. Who do you want dead? That's all I'm good for. Well, it appears you aren't without skill or use. And in my line of work, well... That skill could be put to better use than the misanthropy your life consists of now. There are people in situations that are, well, out of my jurisdiction, perhaps. Whatever the case, these people need to be dealt with for the good of the community. For the good of the community. And where justice might see them squeak by, I would not. Hmm. However, I can't sully my name, so I might call upon you to help take care of things for me. Well, I suppose I'd better say yes. It's like a taken, that's right, we have a very specific set of skills. I suppose you'd better. A certain set. Now there's a bothersome man named Lloyd who lives in the Southwoods. He produces illegally made spirits and sells them at a cheap rate. I think I sent some whores their way, actually. Hey, that doesn't sound so bad. 
Why are you mad? He might owe me a favor. He's not cutting me into the business. Oh, I see. I ensure that it goes unmolested and that he stays free, yet he refuses to pay me my due. As he says, it costs him too much. Lloyd sounds Find like a hero. And either get my money or bring me his carcass. Do you understand? How much does he owe you? I probably have it in pocket change. Sure. You can ask Jan more about him if you need help. Help. Jan, keep him in there a few more hours to think on his crimes, then let him go. Uh, maybe it'll be nighttime then I can buy the sweet armor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That Rayford is a right bastard. I agree. We should kill him. Brigand style. With Chewie the talking bear. Alright. Finished Act 1. Hooray. What time is it now? You don't have... Oops. He did not let me rot in there for any amount of time. Act two. Wonder how many acts there are. You consider going through Rayford's. You open the doors and head down to the basement. That was easy. <laughs> Who's down here? Hey, is one of you a paladin? What are you in for? In truth, I know not what. I came to this town in my travels, and while minding my own business, I was accosted by Rayford's men and accused of some petty charge. I didn't think that I should just let me come down to the prison like that. At least he let you keep your sweet armor. He is such an asshole. I hate that guy. Yes, as you say. Anyway, here I wait for my trial, where I shall surely be exonerated. Wish there was more I could do now. Best of luck to you. Farewell, traveler. I mean... Beware of Rayford. I do not trust him in any capacity. I can literally just open this door and let you go. There has to be a mistake. Why are you in here? Yes, there have been mistakes made, mostly of my own making. But I swear, when I am free, I will bring Rayford to justice. Heck yeah. I know you are wondering, what did this man do to belong here? Like the great, great, great grandson of the uh, Burgermeister, Saduk Gora? You know, in most dungeons, the answer is pretty straightforward. But here, anything goes. Yeah. Yes, perhaps. In my case, I was merely staying in town as a stop on my journey south over the ocean. Until one day I was accused of theft by Rayford. I guess you were just helping yourself to some of the corn outside of Morda. Uh... <laughs> Volksville. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Normally, I would have let them all taste their own blood before I would submit. But I desire to reach my home in one piece. I'm stretching like crazy! <laughs> all I did was ask Rayford what so strange monks were doing by the bridge! Fair question. Hey man, what did he do to piss off Rayford so much? <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. I was just walking from Tyr to Volksville along the King's Road and I saw Rayford talking with some creepy guy in a green cloak. Huh. Faster than I could think, he had me arrested and in this here dungeon. Why do you... I look like your head's like a uh, cardboard cutout. Yeah, that seems to be coming around here. Ooh. Put them in the Iron Maiden! Excellent! Execute them! Bogus! <laughs> Little, uh, Bill and Ted 2 reference there, perhaps? You play around with it. No. Just no. You shouldn't try to release the prisoners as Rayford might replace them with you, and that would suck. All right. Don't worry. I'll help out where I can. Gotta go murder and or... Yeah, he doesn't seem to care. All right. Hello, sir. So what's the deal with this, uh, moonshiner? He's a pretty harmless guy. I know he trucks booze out of there on little rowboats from the beach in the south. Hmm. All right. Good day, sir. Yeah, it's still daytime. Might be day 10 by now. I didn't see. Oh, it is day 10. So we wasted a whole day being incarcerated. Unfortunately. Psst. Mr. Rowan, over here. What? Hello? Kiana? Where are you? 
Oh. Yes, look. We must talk quickly. Broad daylight with Udo right over there? Yeah, uh, I got pinched by Reefer down here. Well... Yes, I know. He has the eye now. And he's holding on to it for some reason. Yeah. Look, just do what he says for now. It's no use stirring the pot at the moment. I know exactly where it is now, and I can make the plans from here. All right. Sounds fine to me. I just want to get over this godforsaken valley. Hey. Don't worry. I'll still help you. I'll contact you again when I have the plan. Fine, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Don't be so discouraged. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back. Thought she was trying to be a bit more secretive. All right, to the south woods we go. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty cocky now that I have my great sword. I feel like we could take anybody at you this point. South woods. You decide to head over to the south woods. Let's find this moonshiner. Or just some random monsters. I'm kind of itching for a fight in general right now. Alright, there's the the mine, which I think we've exhausted at this point. Uh, Damn it, there's no way down from here. Except my trusty rope. There must be a whatever you're trying oh. you try. I don't like you when try. you get in position like you're gonna do something cool and then you don't. Whatever you try you try whatever you what what them, what, that, what, you, what, that, what, you, what, whatever. All right, whatever. It's fun. Woods can't be that expansive. Here we go. Here's the beach. This is where he said he got his, uh... Whatever. Shipments from and everything. We haven't been down here yet. You couldn't remove it even if you wanted to. Which you don't. Which you don't. I know you. Hey there, Hunter. Oh, the Hunter. Hello. Visa. You know about this moonshiner? I will. I have some information about him, but I propose we come to an arrangement before I tell you about it. Okay. I either need some coin to buy some food, or perhaps you're a better hunter than me and you found some animals today. I probably am a better hunter with my archery skills, but just... I'll give you some money. I think 50 blows would be enough to jog my memory? Uh... Sure. Here's some cash. I couldn't be bothered hunting for you. <laughs> Alright, thank you. I should at least be able to buy some foods with this. Yeah. Well, it's one of those pills that teleports you somewhere. Excellent choice. So, about the moonshiner. Alright. Now you should hide on the path where you can see a big red shrub. Big red shrub. Shrub? Shrub? Yeah, some shrubbery. You know, a bush. Don't get too fancy, Oxford man. Oh yeah, of course. Anyway, oh. hide out there and wait for Randy to come out. Randy. He's the moonshiner's assistant and right-hand man. He can tell you how to find him in those woods there. Okay. Thanks. Hey there. Hello. Hello. Well, you know, I, I have seen Randy walk into an old bush on the west end of the forest, but I didn't think anything of it because he's kind of dumb like that. You can't miss it. It's giant and red. The west end of the forest. It looks like it's blocking the path, but if you push on behind it, I think you might find what you're looking for. Hide there and wait for Randy. Okay. My name is Riza. Well met, sir. Well met. I've been hunting these woods since I was a child. Right. See you later, Hunter. Sure. Sure. You're such a good hunter. Why do you need me to give you money and or food? Oh, hold up. Kill. There's no... There's no... Ugh. I see you. It's like, where's Waldo with some of these baddies? Hell yeah. Yeah, we need to get that armor. No two ways around it. Well done. I think we have some poison sacks we can sell too. 
The spider has no loot to speak of. Yeah, now we got another one. Give that to the uh, apothecary guy. Maybe he'll give us some cash. Maybe he'll be able to sell us some more potions at that point, too. You stand here in this discreet corner of the forest and wait. That's supposed to be red? Eh, whatever. Hey there. Ah! Uh, you scared me. That looked like wood. Why did it shatter? I see that. Hey, Randy. I think it's about time you and me had a chat. Yeah. What do you want to talk to m me about? Your boss. Uh. For the starters, how about that moonshine? I won't tell you nothing. <laughs> Rough up Randy, kill Randy, or shake Randy. Man, this guy sounds like he did voice acting in uh, Police Quest 4 open season. There's more, if you want it. I give, I give. It ain't worth this. You're going to tell me all together. Okay. It's hidden behind the red bush. There's a maze. It gets confusing. So listen carefully. First, go east twice. East, east. Then, south twice. South, south. East once. Then north, twice. East and then go west, north, and east. East and finally, when they, the last turn when you, is west. East, east and Wanu. You should find his place no problem then. Okay. If I find out they're lying to me, Randy, I'll hunt you down and stuff your own entrails so far down your throat, you'll shit twice out of your own anus. Twice. That was way more <laughs> graphic than it needed to be. I'm already terrified of you, sir. All right. Well, there you go. Seemed to work. It feels just like it looks. It feels like a big red bush. You had to make me say that, didn't you? Apologies to any hearse you gingers out there. It feels... What? It feels... You pull out your sword and chop the bush into a million pieces. Damn right. That's what you get, bush. <laughs> Take that box. Holy crap. This might take me a while to figure out. Surely someone has written down the path to this place. Yeah, thankfully. All right, so... Uh, east... East. South. South. <laughs> East. North. Like the details of the falling leaves. North. West, North, East, and a West. Uh, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> Explain that. Alright, thank you very much. We sneak up on this guy for the first time. I haven't dusted this skill off in a while. It's the Moonshiner. You briefly wonder what his real name is, but then you decide you don't care. I don't know, just talk to him. Kill him. Well, hello there. Well, greetings. Who are you and how did you find my place of residence? Your partner squealed. That's not important. It appears you owe my boss quite a bit of money. I knew it! I don't owe that no-good lawman anything! He don't do nothing for me! This isn't about what I think. This is about what you owe. Pay up or lose out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, roughing up seemed to work pretty well on Randy. Well, I did warn you, pal. 
This might hurt a bit. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Looks like he got squished into a third of its size. Hey, my boss, we owe him. Our wheel keep going. Yeah. Don't, no, not again. Here's his money. That was easy. That's better. Next time, pay up, or it'll be worse. The brigand way. That Rayford is a real bastard. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. All right. I awkwardly sneak off. Should have grabbed some moonshine while I was there. All right. How much did he even like? Is that separate money? It's the payment you. Well, be specific as to how much it is, unfortunately. All right. You pull out. Back to Bolsville. What am I doing? Sneaking around. Uh, all right. There you go, Ray. The Moonshiner's payment. It's probably like a hundred plies. Good work on that last take. That Moonshiner was a bit of a bastard, but it's not a problem anymore, is it? Ironic. No, I don't suppose it is. Can I just go now? All I want to do is leave this valley. I mean, wh what's stopping you? Oh, sure, you're free to go anytime. Though the only way out is through the East Passage and back through the way you came. <sighs> I'm sure Baron Brandelvrat would be very happy to see you again. Incidentally, I just heard that they are making a prequel to this game where you get to experience the whole him uh, running around with the Baron's daughter and finding out how he got into that situation in the first place. So that's going to be a lot of fun when that comes out. Well then, it appears you have me by the short and curly. Not the first time he said that. Oh, I know. And now I'll direct you to another problem of mine I need you to deal with. There's a merchant in Tyr, Edmund Chegwin. Chegwin. Big fella. Can't miss him. Anyway, I need him dead. Don't mince words, Rayford. Oh, I see. And because I'm a trained assassin. You're who I've got. <sighs> what did this man do? Well, I said merchant, but he's actually a covert slave trader. He's also a fat scumbag, and I don't want him around. I wonder if he's actually a slave trader. Oh, so you're doing something respectable. You're having me do something respectable. I used to protect his shipments for a cut, and he's been light for a few months now. There it is. Yep. Anyway, you do me this favor, and I'll do you yours. And we can discuss me getting you over the chasm to the northern Lunarian kingdom. Fine, Raven. Set up a catapult or something. You Ridiculous. bring me back his ring to prove he's dead. And you did it. And we're all set. So if he dies natural causes by the time I get there, I don't get credit? We'd better be. I'll still run my sword through him John Wick style. Don't get testy with me, sir. You know where I'll put you if you're an insubordinate cur. You don't, you don't phase me, Rayford. Even though I kind of stuttered a little bit there. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Good day. You know anything about this Hello, guy? No, he just knows about the moonshiner. Good day. All right. Well, I'm going to go get some sleep before I head there. Mostly so I can just <coughs> make it. Dude. Why this night? Why this night? Just so I can get to the uh, blacksmith in the evening. Can't be doing too many crazy things without uh, my sweet, sweet armor. Taking on assassination gigs and stuff. <laughs> you slept until dusk, and you feel amazing for doing so. It is now dusk. Nice. Can I get a nighttime? You're no longer no, just in the morning. He's a one meal a day kind of guy. Alright, hopefully he's open this time of night. Wrong way. Well it appears you've gained some notoriety for <laughs> defeating Gorth. I don't condone violence. But that man was a nuisance. I forgot all about this guy. It shows how long it's been since I've been I've had a run in with him. Gorth was like day four. Nobody likes Gorth. 
Hey man, have you got armor? How can I help you? Is that still a thing? No. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Leather armor. Hide armor. 1400. <sighs> Chain armor made for the king. But he decided against taking it at the last minute. So you might say, I'd be doing you a favor taking it off your hands. So, you know, because no one else can afford this, obviously. Maybe knock down the price a little bit. Ceremonial dagger, I don't know about that. Chain. Alright, um... I'm wondering if we should, like, buy a dagger as more of a thief, uh, not thief, but assassin type thing. Yeah, give me the good armor. You have purchased the chain armor. Let's pop this puppy on. Is there any indication of how much this is going to go up or anything? Probably not. Maybe blocking. It's probably more of a skill you just have to get up. Alright. You have equipped your chainmail armor. Nice. Alright, this is a nice one, two, three punch now. Your great sword is equipped in your weapon slot. Great slot. sword. You, you take off your braces. Didn't mean to do that. You have equipped your braces of mastery. You're as protected as can be with your chainmail armor equipped. Alright. We're in good shape now. Feel bad for our enemies. Without further ado, we are off to Tyr. You pull up. You decide to go to Tyr. Bracers uh, get up my attack, my hit percentage. Is that right if uh, I kill hello, someone hello. here? Hello, sir. Welcome to Tyr. And we've already talked about you that. Kind of want to like fight something with my new stuff before I assassinate this guy. I don't think I've ever left town the appropriate way. Wonder how this all connects. Yeah, okay. Just go right there. Let's go see my brigand brothers. Let's go you see Chewie. It's been a minute. There he is. His usual stool. Hey, Jay. Yeah, Roy. Hey, Roy. What's up? What's going on? You know, they get a bad rap, but they saved me. Yep. I asked, you know, I you never get tired of hearing that story. Hey, nice. Are there any jobs, by the way? Hello there, Mr. Rome. How are you? Be a lot better if I find out there's a job for me. All right. I need you to escort someone from Tyr to the top of the mountain past Volksville. Man, I hope it's He's not carrying that. some valuable cargo and he needs protection until he can meet with the caravan taking him off the Jandar. Really hope it's not the guy we're about to assassinate. His name is Mr. Baxter, but you can call him Big D. Big D. Everyone does. And the kids table. Mr. Baxter is a trader in merchants, and he acts as the legitimate face of our operation. Aren't we all? What? Are we all? 600, 60, 40. Alright, so I'm, uh... Am I getting the 40? Which which part of that am I getting? Am I getting 240 or 360? What's with your mouth, Jason Statham? Yeah, sure. Wait, can I get a better rate if I disagree? When did I last save? Okay, 70, 30. Ha <laughs> ha. Fine, last offer, 80-20. 80 is fine. Okay then, it's a deal. You can meet him in tier near Mills Brothers Shipping. Sweet, 480. Alright, so we got tons of business in tier now. This is nice, little one-two punch. One-two stab, well one's a stab, the other's... Make sure he doesn't get stabbed. You pull out the map and take a look. I don't think he's taking the 80. That wouldn't make any... How stupid would we be? Up. All right, let's sleep until nightfall. And then we'll go out and... Man, that money I got from the archer. Uh, it's just... all but gone by now. Buying all the top tier stuff.
You slept until the night. All right, back to tier we go. You pu You decide. We should probably do the assassination first. Whatever it is, you try. You try with all. You knock. La Come to the side. So I was trying to give go. you. First, he offered me six four or uh, sixty forty, so that would have been my three sixty. So, I only assume it's the mayor's place. Can I break in? The door. Is oh, I wish I was a thief. The door is locked and bolted from. The door is locked and bolted from the inside. They're only tenements. So there's probably no good stuff there to steal any. Whatever. You can't climb up there. But if you had a rope or a chain, it would be. Uh, I do have a rope. This a thing? There we go. Hell yeah. You toss your grappling hook onto the ledge with skill. You deftly climb up your rope and onto the balcony. Sweet. All right. We should probably sneak, right? If we're about to assassinate somebody. Just got a lot louder. Displaying the skills usually associated with a baby first learning to walk, you stumble into the room and trip over a slightly raised tile. What? Intruder! Sound the alarm! Intruder! Oh crap. But I was sneaking. What? I don't understand that. Alright, first off, what the heck happened to the music? I have to duck that for a bit. Why is that so much louder? It's like independent of... Why is that the FX? Oh, whatever. Alright. What? Displaying the skills usually associated with a baby first learning to walk, you stumble into the room and trip over a slightly raised tile. Intruder! I didn't even okay. do anything, I just walked into the room and they catch me. What, uh, what's going on here? What's my stealth at? 50. I mean, that's not awful. Displaying the skill. Intruder! Oh, uh, That's dumb? You carefully... Uh, this would be really... A big, uh, sir. You have no, it doesn't understand what you're... They don't have time to engage in idle chit chat. O oil my feet. It's not the worst suggestion I've ever heard. <laughs> It's an empty. The small lake. I don't think I have any oil label. right now, though. Damn. It's a flask of water. Well, maybe I can. Man, this square got very busy all of a sudden. Well, not square, but. You have. N you want. <sighs> Let's just keep sneaking for now, I guess. Maybe I need to, like, come back, like, later in the. What? What are you trying to do? What are you doing? I'm trying to open a door and it's not gonna- It doesn't! <laughs> you have to go across the screen to do that. I just saw you walk back there, lady. What are you making, lamps? Where's that escort mission? <laughs> oh, do you max out on 50 sneak as a brigand?
Welcome to the salty dog, sir. Welcome to the salt. Man, I learned my lesson last time when I was drinking that stuff. Hey there. Just trying to relax. Yeah. Between the city lockdown. Hey, man. And Where are you talk to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem. You knock on the door. Yes. Hello, madam. I'd like to procure your finest room for the night. Certainly. It's 50 blies for the night. Mm. I'm going to have to... We're here. This guy's kind of dressed like me a little bit. What do you want there? Marlin. Look, they even gave him a face. It's kind of like Jeremy Piven, but a bit more stretched. A tall ship. A star of the sailor boy. Oh, the escort, yeah. Ha! <laughs> Wise guy, eh? Sometimes. Other times I'm more philosophical. Look, pal, I'm busy. Unless you've got something more interesting to say. Oh, really? No. Okay, then. Say, what are you actually doing here? Just enjoy standing around, looking shifty? Look, pal, not that it's any of your business, but I help people find things. Ah. On the side, I'm also the local distributor for Moonshine. Ah, what's Moonshine? <laughs> Only the best drink around, my friend. I'm working at getting it into the local watering holes here in Tier, as well as down in Volksville. Oh, well, good luck with that. When you get some, I'll certainly try it. I like a good drink. <laughs> Don't we all? Look, I got a free sample here you can have. Hey, thanks. I love free stuff. Yeah, I do. Just remember, I'm the only place you can get this stuff. Is that a threat? No, just a friendly reminder. <laughs> the door is... I guess I'll spend the night. Knock me Maybe oh, in the morning. Sounds good. You Girding up your loins, you prepare for a night inside. Girding up your loins. You awaken the next morning. What a night! Hopefully you've... Health-related issues. You open the... Remember this guy. It's the local flop house. Tea's all right. There's plenty. Well, we organize shipping of items. Oh, we only do legal sh yeah, where's the... Yeah, unfortunately, we right, yeah. don't know too much about him. He lives in a big... Yeah, I don't like what he does, yeah. but he greases the rock. He has his own garrison of personal... How come they can always hear me coming? Their soldiers is a fortune that he hires. Not only is she... Well, there's me dad. Alright. Yeah, like... Mayor Von Da... Well, we'll... Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh. About time you got here. Oh. I've got a wagon train to catch and we'd better not miss it. Are you from... What? Whoa. Already just got the job and I came stay here, pal. <laughs> Spent a night with the whores, but... Ah, sorry. Look, I'm just a little nervous. That worked out. There's some people out there trying to kill me. Worry not, Big D. Big R has got your back. I know. That's why I'm here. Let's get going, okay? Okay. Just lead the way. I'm meeting the wagon train just this side of the mountain pass. And I'd prefer if we bypass Volksville. That Rayford is a real bastard. And I don't yeah. want to have to pay him off again. How many times are we going to hear that name? Do you know uh, Gabriel Knight, by the way? No problem, Big D. Your accent says you do. You make your way out of Tyr. I haven't seen you around here before. You just start working for Kurt? I don't really work for Kurt. We sometimes do things that help each other out. It's mutually beneficial. He must respect you then. Kurt only has two types of people in his life. Those who work for him and those who work against him. Yeah. As I said, it's mutually beneficial. <laughs> Alright. Coming. Escort mission. Is your back all right? Oh. I knew you'd be along here eventually. Stand back, Big D. <laughs> this is what I'm paid for. Stand back, Big D. Right you are. Kick his ass. Just watch and cheer me on. Oh. 
That bastard is never going to bother you again. That armor was working pretty well there. Well done, Mr. Rome. Well done indeed. I thank you, Big D. Thanks, Big D. <laughs> it was easier to kill than he looked. It's just something I do after I kill somebody. Don't mind me, Big D. Searching the corpse. Ooh. Ooh. Not a bad job. A little bonus pay. Hey, Big D. There's no point in me sneaking anymore. Try to keep up, Big D. Hey, Udo. Should we, like, stop in the tavern and get a drink? I wonder if he'll say, I'm not going into town. What are you thinking? I'm trying to get out of here. Oh. I don't have time for this wandering around. I'll make my own way. Oh, that's why we saved. That is why we saved. All right, let's keep going. Just trying to stop off, have a drink, get to know you, Big D. My God, another one of you pricks! Watch how it's done, Big D. Watch how it's done, Big D. Feed him to the crews. <laughs> Ask if you shall receive, Big D. See, I only doing six damage to me. That's how it's done. Making sure work of these fools now. Another excellent job, Mr. Room. Thank you. Thanks, Big D. Searching the corpse reveals some blight. Hey, it's Big D. What does the D stand for, dumbass? Now the D in your case stands for dead. As in soon to be. Oh, that was just pathetic. Seriously, I ought to kill you just for saying that. Yeah? Come get it, Mr. Tough Guy. Oh, please tell me they're gonna like stack Show up. Show him who the dumbass is, Mr. Ohm. <laughs> ah, just the one? Oh. Yeah, the other one's gonna get scared off. Oh. I see that oh. hit percentage go up again. Oh. Oh. Hacking went up. That's how it's done. Sweet. You killed my brother. <laughs> it shouldn't have sucked that fighting so bad. Oh. Now you die. We'll see. I'll piss off. <laughs> Guess they're not equipped to do back to back like <laughs> the old goblin days. <laughs> there we are. We're almost at 100%, I would think, at this point. <laughs> That was a display of mastery and skill. Didn't mean to have to dip into our healing potions. Well, those clones have been taking care of Big D. Thank you, Mr. Ohm. My contact is just up here. He's left a wagon. I can get the rest of the way on my own. All right. Go see Kurt and get your payment. You've done a good job today. Find out if I'm getting the 80 or the 20. Thanks. Luck with that Baron. Searching the corpse reveals Whoa. some blight. Hell yeah. Searching the corpse reveals some blight. Guess his bro pocket. brother was the big winner at the poker game. All right. Bonus pay once again. All right. I guess the fastest way. Fastest way to get there might just be to go to tier. There must. Honestly. You try. You put. Nope. You decide. So go to tier. Head back out. I have to look up the slave trade thing after we buy some oil, just in case that doesn't work. Let's get our pay though from Kurt. You grab the. Oh, you're not drinking right now, Chewy. I'd like to have tag team that one with Chewy. 
I already have a Rome 6. Let's go to it then. Hey pal, I hear you did a good job guarding Big D. Word travels fast. How the hell did you hear that? The only people there were Big D and the dead guys. <laughs> I hear things. Anyway, here's your cut. 480 or 120. You'd be surprised how little I care about things like that when I have a pooch full of money. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Rome. Oh. How are you? I don't even know how much money I had before, so whatever. Kurt shakes his head. Not a bad place, really. You take care now. It's a leather. You have some bly, those. That suggests to me that we uh, got the 480, I'd say, from that count. That makes sense. Hey. Yeah, Rome. Yeah, Rome. What's up? Do you realize how much? Yeah, we already talked about that. All right, I gotta buy me some oil from Udo for my feet. Apparently, you put you head up. Hey, Udo. I'll have to inspect your wares, Udo. Of course. Go to Mr. Rome. All right, everyday oil. Let's purchase some of that. And. Let's Snake oil. Let's buy some of that just in case. All right. Uh, probably sleep. Got to sleep till night anyway. But I was just trying to think. If there's anything else I might need to buy. Save room six in case we need to come back to the daytime. Get a meal, by the way. You're no longer hungry. Guess I had some rations, or they fed me at the whorehouse. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, the old comfy bed. You decide. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look it up if I can't figure this out. Maybe I'm making a mistake trying to sneak in there to begin with. You slept. She's now. Even though he's like literally saying you should sneak. I just need to crash right in. Brigand style, just run in. You're no longer. We'll see. Let's try Rome 3. Let's fast travel back to Tyr. You. You dis. You knock. Come. They give you. Alright, right on up here once again. I need to wait till this lady pisses off. You can't do that now. <laughs> One of Tears' many residents. This woman is fit and healthy. Fit and healthy. All right. You toss your grab. You deftly get used to that really weird sound effect again. "Quote unquote" sound effect. Displaying the skills usually associated with a baby first learning to intruder. Oh crap! Don't exactly know what's going on here. We're sneaking. That's not sneaking. We're sneaking. Oil. You try with all your might. Oil. Whatever you. Maybe it's the armor. Maybe I shouldn't have you take your super heavy armor on. You un you take displaying the skill intruder. Oh crap! All right. Uh. Well, if anyone if anyone has any suggestions for me here, well, I try to look this up. This is uh. That's for infamy. Assassination job. Bested by a raised tile. Looking into the room before you walk in. Is that the, uh, is that the issue? Just not looking first? You take a quick look into the room, get a good idea of the layout. 
There's a guard standing near the doorway to the north. Never had and to do that before. Another doorway heading south. All right. Clutch. Thanks, internet. You take a. Aha. Take a Intruder. quick. Intruder, sound what? the alarm. What? Oh crap! You can't just stand there when there's a guard in the room. So I have to like keep waiting until there's not someone in there, maybe. Intruder! Oh crap! You can't. Oh crap! You All right. So clearly, we just need to keep looking until he's not there. You take a quick look into the room, get a good idea of the layout. You take a quick look. You take a quick. You stop, rest, and whisk. You stop. You take a quick look into. You take a quick look into the room. You stop. You take a quick look into the room. Maybe we need to okay. come back at like this time of night. You toss you death. You take a quick look into Intruder, sound the alarm. Intro oh, crap. You can't I'm not stand I'm I'm trying to Just kill this guy. Hell yeah. All right, I felt good. The brigand way. This guy had 120 blies on him. <laughs> good money and protection, eh? It's yours now. Nice. Happy with that. Oh, the slaves in here. You just decided that regardless of your mission from Rayford, you'd kill that slave trading bastard anyway. You can stomach a lot of things, but trading in people makes you sick. Agreed. You attempt to engage the slave in conversation, but quick. Oh, damn. You attempt to engage. There is nothing. Can I free them? You quickly untie the two slaves, setting them free. They look at you gratefully. One of them points to the wall and grunts. You assume he's got something hidden in there. The slaves quickly slip down the stairs and you hear a dull thud followed by the front door opening. Guess they killed a guard on the way out. Enjoy it. There is nothing. There is no. You try with. You play. You play. There is no. Whatever. You play. There is no. There is no. There is. There is. There is. There is no. You play. You kneel down and press on the panel the slave indicated and it slides open. Nice. Inside you find a couple of max healing potions, some blies, and a week's worth of rations. Ha! Huh, good on them. We're planning an escape. Shouldn't they have taken that instead of me? Sweet. Max healing potions. Have I got those yet? No. I guess I would have needed to like sell the apothecary stuff before we could even make that stuff. This little room must be an entrance of sorts. The walls look much... Quickly take a look into the corridor and get a good idea of the layout. Kill him. <laughs> like these guys get paid well. And it goes this to guy me. had 120 blies on him. Must be the standard rate. 
You take a quick look into the room and get a good idea of the layout. There's no guards in here, but there is a really fat bastard asleep in the bed. You assume he's the slaver you've been sent to take care of. Sweet. Two guards. You need to get close to the slave. The floorboard here is obviously loose. Uh oh. <laughs> the slaver seems to be stirring. Stay still. Just like Kaveen, except we didn't murder Kaveen. Unless we were a fighter. Go room seven. You need to get. Slaver went back to sleep. Forever. Hey, bastard. Wake up. <laughs> Who? What? Who are you? Rayford sends his regards. Oh. Rayford? What does he want? This. Not much. He just wants you dead. No, no, I'll pay him. I, I will. I told him. I'm not a negotiator here. But, but. Damn. Oh. That's for dealing in human beings, you fat asshole. I'm glad you're dead. I'm glad you're dead. You take his ring as proof to show Rayford that you completed your job. Should get a little of his blood on it too. Another day, another dollar. You don't think you could get your hands around his fat neck? Better to use your sword. Get it? He's a, he's a heavy man. All right, any cash stowed away here? All the drawers are locked. What? Stupid. S smash them open. Kill, pillage, kill. You play around. All the... Whatever. You play around. I guess if I were rogue, I could pick the lock. Alright. Fair enough. I guess probably run at this point, right? Whee! Intruder! Sound the alarm! Oh, crap. What? Due to your general lack of stealthiness. Uh, well, whatever. Fine. Keep sneaking, even though there's literally no one here. Intruder. Oh, crap. Due to they look exactly the same. <laughs> really? Really? Is that the guy that made me? You carefully come. Intruder. He doesn't think anything of the guy that was. Oh god, don't tell me that's still gonna go on. Oh. Eh? Mm -hmm. The gate. That. Whatever. The gates of tear are. Taking care of it. All right, Rayford. Am I done doing your dirty work? Here, a slaver's ring. Who's in there now? I hope the bastard squealed like a pig. Didn't really squeal, but not really. It did say you could suck his. Never mind. He's dead, <laughs> and that is good. You've done well so far, and now. Well, we just have one simple task to do, and you can be on your way. Finally, working for you is bad for my health. <laughs> and you know I'm very concerned about that. <laughs> I think you might be growing a sense of humor, right? Unlikely. In any event, the Maroi have become troublesome to the valley. I believe it was them who took the bridge over the Great River out. I need you to find a way into their fortress and kill their leader. Hmm. Wonder how Kayana would feel about that. Maybe she can get us in. Oh, is that all? Be careful. Word is, they practice human sacrifice on intruders that would do them harm. Huh. I'll be sure to wear my fireproof underpants. I don't care what you do. Once he's gone, the rest of the plebes will disperse like rats. And then you can go free on your merry way. Just don't come back here. You're making out pretty well on this deal, Rayford. I am amenable to this agreement. Good. Now have fun getting in. 
They don't like visitors, I hear. Unannounced ones. You see a drunken older man. Oh, okay. All right, we have lots of money now. Should I buy anything before we head to the, uh, buy some goods? Should buy that, uh, diamond crowbar? Still got that B for some reason. We're we just gonna carry that around till the end of the game. Oh, I'm here. Uh, I got the tent. I'm not worried about the tent. I don't know. I guess. Maybe that's more for the thief though, the rogue. I don't know. I don't want to buy it needlessly. We still got on rations, by the way. You are carrying some food. 17. That should be good. Here's the smokes. Yeah, let's trade in our venom packs. Hello again! Finally. What are we gonna do with that moonshine? There you are. Jared, I have this venom sack I'd like to sell. I have two of them. Of course! Jared, I have. Of course! I don't know how much you paid me for those. Alright, so. Jared, what can you sell me? I'd like to put... Of course, of course! Nothing that impressive here. Oh, do I have the, uh... Did I buy the relic? Don't know why I would've. I didn't really have money before. Maybe we should show this to the librarians in tier. 60 light for the venom. It's not too shabby. Only problem is, it's so difficult to kill those spiders until you reach a point that you can buy the good stuff to take them down. You have purchased the holy symbol. Which point you don't really need the money anymore, so. Alright. I think we're good to go. Let's go to tier. You pull up. You decide. Go to the library here. I know they had symbols for us before that kind of like showed the entrance to the uh The massive hall of Frank. It's the hall of laws. Show the uh the like the combination, I think we needed to get past that gate to get to the Morai. The mighty light. It's a lot smaller on the inside. All right, let's see if they. I forgot about the ambient sound that I love so much in this uh, library. Know anything about this? Oh my! This appears to be the holy symbol of the Order of the Shine. Yeah? What does that mean? Absolutely nothing. They are said to have died out after taking up lifelong fasting as part of their rituals. Hmm. Yeah? Yes. They all stopped eating, and I think it came as a surprise to them <laughs> when they all died. Anyone surprised when they die, though? Well, that's depressing. Yes, isn't it? I paid $500 for this. So this isn't worth anything? Nope. Sorry. Damn. Well, they did know something about it, but... Well, as I'm here, let's ask him one more time about the... Ah, puzzles. Well, it's like a triangle-shaped board. Ah, yes, yes. Oh. Peg Solitaire. Interesting. Actually, this game is a favorite of Sentai. They did say that they would help me with the solution, which I already beat this, though. I have a very... Gives you the exact order. Nice. All right. Um, but the runes. Oh sure. Let me see. You're the best kid. If you ever. All right. So. E, and the F. Oh, there is a. There is a. All right. There is a water all right so drunken f if we're trying to spell something maybe there is a is a I think I'm okay. There is a... Alright, so... I want the shh 
Sorry. So F E eyeball. And I might just try to Goodbye. brute force the last two. It's only five long, so. Let's try it. Before you, I give up. You head towards the. Best way to get to the where they live. Don't remember offhand now. You head up. The forest is too. Can I get any of this stuff yet? Start the cemetery. It's an empty. You have to be. F you have to be. You have to. You I'm have trying to. Trying to drink it. I just want to bottle it up. You have to be. Good luck. Woo. I honestly don't remember how to get. All oh, right, it's through the trees that I I bribed. Forgot about that. with the long way, but whatever. There they are. I haven't been here during the day. All right, made it. Is Kiana gonna be poking around? No. All right. Upside down. You decide to take yeah. a closer look at the runes. All right, so there is a uh, oh, one of these was like. Let's try this first. Nothing happened. All right. There is a... Oh, okay, so we can flip these around. That might have been... That seems to be it. Yeah, that was the, the issue. Field is off. Awesome. Hell yeah. Press on. I'm with Kayana. Did she mention me? My name's Rome. He stares at you intently, and it creeps you out. I mean, I'll climb this. He stares. It's a. You can't just walk in through the front door if you're trying to kill their leader. Try blending in a bit or trying to find another entrance. I mean, they've already seen me. Blending in. You don't mind if I pop? This uh, cloak on right here, right now, do you? You need to. There's a f that doesn't. S you try with all. Change off screen. Hold on, just okay. okay. You try with. No. Can I just kill these guys, honestly? You know, I'd love to see you take a piece of this bald bastard's face off, but attacking him here might be a bad move right now. Uh... You better not- What was the point of coming this way if we're finding another way to get in? You sure I can't just rope this? Oh yes, what a wonderful and lovely idea. Let's grapple up the walls of this old fortress in full view of the guards. You're a genius, man. I'm ahead of my time, some might say. Alright, can we like sleep here for a bit? Hey, ooh, don't restart. Yeah, can we like crash? And at night time they'll just you, 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 you. be gone? And that would be cool. Man. I don't 
don't pay you guys enough, whatever they're paying you. you, you, you. Sweet. Looks a lot cooler at night. Uh, wow. You do not give up, do you? Kill. Alright. Another way in. Apparently. 24 hour shifts, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Gets bribed the more I to piss off for a few hours, look the other way. Done everything I can do in the cemetery, by the way. Killed one of you in a while. I should go quick. Keep forgetting this guy takes his arm off to beat me with. Enjoy the free damage you're dealing out to me every time. Searching the corpse. Seven blinds. Come on. Why do we do this? All right, I can't fight all of you. He just looks confused. So that might be the thief skill that's in the bottom of that. Yeah, there's a guy there. He wants to fight. Ugh. You could. But they boarded it up. It's funny. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, ooh, took, half, took half his health with one swing. That's how it's done. Sweet. Which cat does this guy have? Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, it's true, we're, we're such a tank by now, we never need to dodge anymore, but... about that guy. Ask the hermits for some help if I can't find something new going on here. Some helpful soul, especially. Yeah. Why dodge when you can attack with a big R sword? They would say ours in this game. My great sword. There's still one. Screen we didn't. I don't remember how to get back to it now. Hello, buddy. I see you hiding back there. Anything else in the swamp? Like the fireflies are still hanging out. Are there any enemies in the swamp to fight? down with. Alright, there's the bump on the log screen. Alright, this crate. The great is crusty. I got plenty of oil now. But every... Here's my crowbar. That might break on this crate. Maybe I need the diamond one for this, but... Let's give it a go. Oh, it's nice that he let me keep that book. You break out your trusty crowbar and work your magic on the grate. Just like that? You pull on the grate. Crowbar nice. did the trick. 
The grate opens like a charm. Could have sworn some oil was going to be necessary. That works. Ah, good sound effect. Vowing to hold your breath forever, <laughs> you crawl into this miserable excuse for a sewage pipe. Nothing else will find something new. This is not a taxi. Uh, hello? Sup? Going against all advice regarding gelatinous cubes, <laughs> you attempt to attack it. Oh. Uh. Okay. Can't it's a gelatinous it. cube. Don't be fooled. Though it looks like a giant harmless cube of jelly, it's a foul beast that will suck you inside and dissolve you. Uh, what do we got that might work on a giant gelatinous cube? Here's your fish. Saw, B. What a nice inventory we have. This is a sheet of art. All right. It's a flask of water. Water. You like water cube? What the hell? It's inexplicably gonna work. Whatever you're trying nope. The small label says rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. You cover the cube in rubbing alcohol. Delicious flammable rubbing alcohol. Say no more. Flint and steel, do your trick. Clever. You decide to light the monster on fire. Fantastic. Oh, hell yeah. That was cool. The cube melts into a pile of nothing, leaving behind only the bones of its previous victims. Huh. Stuff to search? You try with all you play. You try with... Uh, guess not. All right, that's one less gelatinous cube in the world. Sewer rat. You enter the tunnel. I didn't miss any items here. There's a cook in here. Better act fast before he sees you. Uh. <laughs> Probably just would have offered me some food. Let's go back to four and see what happens. Oh, cook! You must die. You enter the tunnel. There's a cook in here. You've got. You don't want. Uh, maybe we still need to. Kill. Dans le beurre. I need help in here. Would be French. Damn it. Damn it. All right. Well, I guess that fast acting worked. Got any cash on you? You search the cook's body Whoa. and find a small pouch full of blies. You count them to discover there's 423 there. Nice. That is nice, actually. This knife is embedded pretty deep in this tape. You try. You play. Let's be. You're not. You're not an Iron Chef. <laughs> you don't have time to whip up something. Love me an Iron Chef reference. All right. There's nothing there. Wait. You can see a can of your old favorite. Smeet. Mmm, Smeet. Smeet, Smeet, the delicious treat. Is it synthetic or is it meat? Smeet. Smeet. Fantastic old jingle there. Oh, wow. Okay, Smeet. You grab a can of Smeet. You never know when you're going to need it. I guarantee I'm calling it right now. That's going to be the item we need to beat this game. You're not enough. <laughs> Added Smeet. I'm going to call this one. Smeet. Poor Kowalski glass of Smeet. All right. I see you've discovered our kitchens, Mr. Roy. Oh man. Before you can respond with a witty comment, you were hit over the head. Hard. Eh, garlic from Mordavia. Shout out there. Well, trying to kill our distinguished guests, Mr. Rome? That's not very friendly. Everyone is welcome in the Valley of Krasna. The Maroi. Well, I needed them to help destroy that pesky bridge. Too hard to get anything done here with the king's troops snooping around. But I was... I don't want to hear it. Besides, I have work to do. Utar! I'll be taking your men down to Tyr to finish our work there. Dispose of Mr. Rome. 
but don't make it quick. My pleasure. Rub it out. Goodbye, Mr. Rome. Thanks for all your help. You've been wonderful. It's too bad that you have to die, but I'll need your body so I have someone to pin all the crimes on that are about to take place. You're dead. Oh, glad to be of use to you. You're a dead man, Rayford. You've been very useful to me, Utar, and Mayor Von Darkos, Mr. Rome. Now, we might be able to rule this valley with some class, dignity, order, and spiritual guidance. Now I must go. Utar, make sure to bring the machine with you when you're done with him. Won't get away with See this. That? Even Rayford believes. Soon we will conquer Tyr and rule the valley. With the bridge destroyed and the Eye of Yager in our hands, the king doesn't stand a chance against us. You're mad. Oh, a fiendish plot. Why am I not surprised? I don't know. Probably because you're quite the bastard yourself. No matter. Let me show you what the power of Tar will bring us. Let me show you. I tasted the power many years back when I decided to stop listening to my mentor. In return, Tar granted me this body to begin his reign of chaos and terror. Whoa. Oh my god. I gave you that body. I give it I back. I give it back. Let's dance. <laughs> That's a sweet little move. Too bad I'm wearing the best armor in the game. And you're doing four damage a clip. I don't see this ending well for you, Utar. It's ridiculous, though. He's got, like, like, mandible, like, hopes. Well done. And, oh, You've anyway, defeated yet dead. another foe, solidifying your position as a total badass. But I was given a gift from the gods. The gods give us and take us away. And I paid eleven $1 hundred dollars to Prospero to make a kick-ass sword. But I was chosen. Oh, gods, shut up. Oh! And screw you for making me mercy kill you. I hate that. <laughs> What's his name again? Wow, it's a short act. Act three, don't stop me now. No more working for Rayford. Some bastard has stolen your map. Probably wanted it for themselves and gave Rayford to plans don't work out. And they need a fast exit. They should have taken that pill of mine then. That's frustrating. Smeet. Can Smeet teleport me as well? You eat a little bit of your favorite can treat. Smeet. Can you do the Delicious. jingle again? As you eat the Smeet, you feel the power of its processed meat magic working on you. <laughs> you feel stronger, more agile, more alert and ready to go. Oh wow, did I get more infamous for eating smeat? I better like wait until I fight uh, Rayford to eat that smeat. Eat that smeat. After carefully examining the door, you realize this door is locked with three solid deadbolts. You'll never get in, at least in any reasonable amount of time. Here. There's no one left. All right, let's just get out of here then. I wonder what Kayana is during all this. Oh, there, there you go. Hey, okay, I gotta move here. Wonder no more. Where are you going? I'm out of here. Rayford just revealed his little plan to me. He's going to take over the valley and try to pin it on me. I'm not going to be here for that. You can't just leave yet. Why don't we uh, just yes, I can. Kill this Rayford. This was never my deal. Well, it's your deal now. You think Rayford will ever let you live in peace? The King of Lunaria won't stop until he has your head. And Rayford won't let you rest ever as he hunts you down. You've got to finish what you started here. So, will you finish this once and for all, and go kill Rayford and his lackeys? Who are his lackeys? <laughs> screw him, screw you. I'm out of here. Yeah, let's kill the bastard. You're right. I just want my life to be my own. Let's go kill the bastard. Yeah. Good. Look here. These should help you. A few health potions. The woods are crawling with his guards. You can go to Tyr yourself, but you could also try to get some to help you. All right. Will I see you there? Yes, you'll find me for certain. Hey, how about a little something, something for luck? Nice try. Gives me a if I didn't try, 
Would I be a second tin of meat? Go. Ah, all right. All right. Maybe we should pop one of these healing potions, right? What are we at? 36. 99. It's almost a sure thing every time. Let's just pound some of these. You drink the heat. You drink. What are we at now? 76. We can afford it. You drink. Top yourself off there, Mr. Rome. Alright, let's see how many guards we have to kill along the way. Good thing I vaguely know my way around here by now. It's a very good point, though. It's when we kill someone and take 423 lives from them. Do we just sit, set up shop, start counting those there on the spot? All right, one, two, three. <laughs> Gotta get my brigand brothers to join me in this battle, right? They'll have my back. You have my steel. And Chewie's like, you have my claws and teeth. You climb up. Am I still welcome in town? She's <laughs> popping to Rayford's place. We should free all the prisoners now. Oh wow, it did open. Mr. Rome? You're supposed to be in tier with Rayford, standing trial. Huh. I'm going to have to place you under arrest. I don't think so, Jan. Come on, Jan. You're better than that. I'm acting sheriff, Mr. Rome, and you are under arrest. I hate to say it, Mr. Acting Sheriff. But you couldn't arrest me unless I let you. And I'm not going to do that. Okay, that's true. But I'll go and get Rayford and he'll arrest you. Uh, you fat sack. Can we talk? What do you want to talk about? Rayford. The sheriff is in tier, where you're supposed to be standing trial for your crimes. The crimes Rayford blackmailed me into? You know it's true, Jan. You were there. So what? You still committed them. Did I? I thought you were a follower of the law. I am. Rayford says... Rayford says, Rayford, Rayford says... Rayford is a bastard and you knew it. He's down in tier now, trying to overthrow the council and seize power. I don't believe you. Why should I listen to these lies? Because he's a bastard and you know it. He's trying to take over tier. Okay, I'm listening. Rafer is working with the Maroi and is trying to overthrow Tyr with their help and the help of Von Darkles. He's trying to set himself up as complete ruler of his whole land and he's framed me for crimes so he can be clear to see his plans through. I don't believe you. Where's your proof? Hmm. I don't have any bloody proof. I'm here and Rafer isn't. Why didn't he go to Tyr with me? Why not come ahead off here? He wants you out of the way, Jan. He doesn't trust you. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't and you know it. Because you're stupid, weak, fat. Shut your mouth right now! Aww. Poor Jan. I need your help, Jan. What do you want me to do? Even if I do believe you, Rayford is my boss. And a mean bastard at that. Man, we should have a drinking game the number of times everybody calls uh, Rayford a bastard. I just need your help in tear. I'm not sure what yet, but I need you with me. You know Rayford better than anyone else. You should be there to kick him when he's done. Hell yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. There you go. Okay, Mr. Rome. You're right. I'll help you. Excellent. I knew you were better than Rayford thinks you are. I'll head down to Tier now and meet you there. You might want to try and rustle up all the help you can. All right, let's try to get the prisoners out of here, too. Maybe get them to join up. <laughs> yeah, loves you. <sighs> You open the doors. Freedom Day, everybody. With oh. What are you in for? In truth, yes. Yes. But there was more. Farewell. Best of luck. You can't. You can't open these chains without the key. Rayford probably has it, or at least would know where it is. Uh. No. You can't open these. I can't exactly ask Rayford and Yan didn't stick around very long. You look over Rayford's desk, now there's no- Looking in the only drawer, you see a quill, you also see a key, which you take, uh -huh. because you quite like keys. There we go. 
You are it's easier than I thought. Right, J O K. There must be. Using the key you liberated from Rayford's desk, you unlock Serena's chains and hand her the key. Here's the key to the chains, Paladin. Unlock your fellow prisoners and go and open the gates of Tear for me. Hell yeah. I will keep my word, sir. Good. A paladin loves you. Sweet. Yeah. Feels like we're about to reach the ending. Act 1 was like 10 episodes, everything else is like 3. <laughs> Should I get a good night's sleep? We don't need to at this point, I suppose, but... I'm just kind of curious. Uh, you just... <laughs> Can't be fighting Rayford on an empty <laughs> stomach, right? You'll yeah, we're starving. Gotta say goodbye to Ina and Kit. Sad things you never came together. Here's your meal. Looks lovely. You wolf that. Ina, will you join me in battle against Rayford? Hello, Mr. What was no. Oh. No, you. I told. Good <laughs> One last I try. I don't like Rayford. But you don't want to help well, me fight. So I'm assuming your dad won't either. Gotta say goodbye to Kit, have a drink for the road. Here you go, mate. You pay her and be six or seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Kit, where I'm going, I might not come back. Here, have you seen? No, you know I haven't. Yeah, we already talked about that. He's so. Well, anyway. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, kid. I thought there would be more to your character than there was. Unfortunately. There is not. Might as well buy a bunch of potions before we head out. Hello again! Hello, Gerard. I'd like to purchase some items. Of course! Uh... I don't really need those. You shouldn't touch. Hello again. Ah, Herr Rom. I am surprised you are here. Oh. Did Rayford find you innocent? Well... Oh, exactly. If you want to know the truth, he turned out to be working with some cultists to take over Tyr and the whole land. Oh, uh, my. I don't really know what to say to that. He's a bastard, man. Just trying to go to this town, and it seems Rayford plans to keep me around. Or kill me. He's not a very nice person, that's for sure. Have you spoken to Yan? Uh, maybe he can help you. Yeah, got him on my side. Ah, uh, maybe. Look, I was hoping they could do a fella a favor. Maybe some sort of brew that would knock some people out. Yes. I don't want to kill them, of course. I'd never do anything like that. <laughs> but just knock them out for, for the hundredth hours. time. I'm sure I can mix something up for you. I, I will need you to get me something, though. Of course you do. What? It's just some pond slime. <gasps> There's an old mansion to the north that had what I'm sure yes! was a beautiful fountain in it. Finally. Pop up there and grab some slime, and I'll throw together a great smoke All bomb right. for you. I'll get some of that slime. Okay. Hell yeah. Wish we could teleport, but that's fine. Chris Angel, will you join me in my battle against Rayford? He doesn't have a dog in the fight, I'm sure. Will you help me? I don't even remember your name, but... Yeah? <sighs> I'd spit on the ground. Recently, I had a bunch of decent people... Yeah. Uh, Guess only certain people are programmed to help me. Beekeeper, can I count on you to create an army of bees to help me fight Rayford? Hey, Cassidy. We're nearing the end here, if you're just tuning in. I don't have time to fight you, man. I don't have time. Why would you stop to fight this guy? You could feel this nobody. Ah, ow. This, uh, this Rome ah, wannabe. Ah, He's actually ow. pretty good. He'll never be ah, as infamous as we are, though. Ah, you have a fee. See how much money so Rome had for Rome. Nice. I think I'll use that to get the health back that he took from me. 
All right. It's an empty. F Here we are. Is it gonna give me grief this you time? Have you have to be. You have to be. You have to be. You have to. You reach into the stagnant fountain and take. Oh, just get the scum. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Sweet. Yeah, faux, uh, faux roam did more damage, that's true, than most of the bosses we've encountered. Ah, I'm going the long way here. Yeah, we got there. Yeah, I don't think there'd be guards to stop me, but that has not really been the case. Hello again! Got your pond scum. It's like the fifth scum we've got. that pond slime, Jared? I don't think I'll be able to get the smell out of my bag for weeks. We just came out of a sewer, so... Very nice. I just have to add it to this. There. Two smoke bombs. They should knock out anyone for a good three hours. Just remember to hold your breath or you'll pass out too. Okay. Thanks, Jared. Thanks, man. Cool. <laughs> G-bomb. Oh, <sighs> Accidentally click that. No! I was trying to save. Oh, my God. What an awful time to not... Well, that's... that's not... Oh, uh, you did... All right. Someone time me. You sleep. It's. You'll sleep. That's just awful. It's the worst thing that's happened this entire playthrough. Setting us back about three minutes. <sighs> Hello? Shut up, Hello. I'm giving you the bombs. Ah, exactly. Oh, this is. I'm. It's. You oh my god. Let's say three minutes. Yeah, we already talked to him, right? Yeah, we already did all that. And they should be escaped you by now. Excellent. Alright, so it's just this thing. Why did that guy kill me outside of town? He's just passing through there and then he came after me. Let's see if I can find the faster way back this time. Gentlemen. Thank goodness. All right, this isn't too bad. You read. I thought better. He's like, oh crap, that's Rome. I think I didn't go south last time. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the Brigand Guild, that'll be our last stop after we pick up these bombs and properly save. Definitely want Chewie by my side during this battle. your pond scum Hello? the second time. There's that. <laughs> Alright. Let's actually save. There we go. It's not the way out of town. You have buggered. You can't run. What? Is that a thing? Interesting. It's never happened to me. Wish me luck, Gudo. K 
can't bear not having Chewie the Bear by my side, that's right. He's just south. Hopefully everyone will join me. You grab the Kurt, Chewie. Hey, well done! Not many people escape from Rayford. I'm not many people. Not many people are as amazing as me. Or that. I know the feeling, my friend. <laughs> as fun as this pissing contest is, I need your help. There we go. It seems that the only way to get out of this valley is to get rid of Rayford. And he's down in tier right now, taking over the place. I feel for you, Mr. Rome. But I don't see how any of this is my problem. I understand. If Rayford takes control of tier, your business operations are going to suffer the effects. I see your points. So what do you want from me? Talking bear. A way into Tyr that won't be guarded by Rayford's men. Done! Head down to the beach and we'll travel to Tyr by boat. Nobody ever guards the little dock now that the large wharves have been built. You'll be able to get to the city from there, but after that, you are on your own. Thanks. I'll head down to the boat now. You'll probably want to grab some supplies first. If I know Rayford, that place will be pretty heavily guarded. I'm good on stuff. Hey! Yeah, rule. You coming with me? Guess not. Alright. That's my name. Don't Don't bear it out. Hey, nice chatting with you, pal. You take care of yourself out there. Don't end up in a cage dancing for coins. You give the best advice, Chewie. <laughs> Calm animal right there. So we can go to the boat. It was back at the beach in the forest, I guess. This looks pretty cool, though. Oh, yeah, I need to turn down the FX, but that's very cool. Doesn't have time. My friends, fight! A Maroi cleric challenges you to combat as you try to enter. Big mistake. This seems a lot cooler than going in by boat. Sneaking in. That's not the fighter way. Yeah, get, That's how it's done. Get yourself a great sword friend in this next your next life. You have no right <gasps> to hold us here. We are the Council of Tyr, it's and we demand. It's from. Listen here, old one. You didn't stop me earlier when I was outside town. Old one, hold your tongue, lapdog to a sheriff. This is Juanita, eldest and most respected of our council. You have no right to talk to her that way. And no right to hold us here. You shall release us now, and submit yourself to the authority of the Council. I don't think so. Get inside with the others. Now! So his guards are pretty formidable, if that's the guy that I tangled with that did some decent damage. You shall answer for this guard. The Council of Tyr is no more, old man. This city is now under the authority of Lord Rayford. Lord Rayford. he has ordered you confined to your tower. So get inside, or I will be forced to put you inside. This is treason, God. I will submit, for now, <laughs> but you shall pay for this. Because I'm not Rome. They just don't stop talking. <laughs> you there, get inside with the others. Spy. Um, I'm gonna kill you. Do I look like a member of the council, Lackey? <laughs> you. I thought Rayford had you up at the ruins with those fool Roy. It did. Now I'm here to kill you. You can try, fool. Fool? Well, that's no nice. Dressing ah, like ah, me. Ah, 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 ah. This town's only big ah, enough for ah, one, Mr. Rome. Ah, 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 ah. 
Grow yourself a nice beard. Nice work. Oh, you're dead. That bastard is dead. Pound a couple healing potions before we go any further. You can come out now, counselors. Ready for his guard is dead. Thank you, sir. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. How much of the city has that cur Rafer taken under his control? It's hard to tell, Counselor. I've not been everywhere yet. But from what I've seen, he has fairly tight control of the whole city. That shall not last now we are free. Indeed. Thank you once again, sir. We shall gather our forces and take back our city. Till another single one of his guards shows up. You're welcome, I guess. Friends in high places. That's good. Alright, let's pound a couple of these healing potions. Or maybe if we can't use these in battle, we should pound one of these right now. I don't know. We should probably eat some smeat too. You you I'm doing it. I'm eating the smeat. You eat a little bit of your favorite canned treat. Smeat! Smeat! Delicious! As you eat. Alright. <laughs> Only the most infamous eat smeat. I remember that from the ad campaign. Where else can we go? It's the library. There's two of Rayford's guards standing in front of the Tears Arrows headquarters. You don't think they're keeping people out? Rayford promised to make me captain of the Tears Guard when this is all over. But he told both of them. We'll have to deal with Tears Arrows first. We can't keep them locked in here forever. Don't worry about that. Rayford has a plan. Halt! Move no further on the authority of the Lord of Tear. Crap. They've seen you. Guardsmen? <gasps> I have new orders for you! Yan! It's like when the tentacle shows no. up in Maniac I thought Mansion. left you back in Vokesville. <laughs> That's Deputy Yan? Or Acting Sheriff Yan to yeah. you, guard? I have new orders for you. You're to hold the private docks until you receive new orders. But Rayford left us here to guard. I know what Lord Rayford said. <laughs> Are you saying that I, his trusted deputy, isn't relaying his new orders <laughs> correctly? I guess we'd have to, like, fight these guys if we didn't recruit Yan. Of course not, Yan. I mean, deputy, we'll head there at once. Good. Well done, Jan. Thanks, buddy. I can't believe they actually bought it. <laughs> actually, I think I did crap myself. <laughs> I won't tell anyone, Jan. <laughs> now let's open these doors and get these arrows out. Nice. I can do that, Mr. Room. My master key for all the doors in Volksville also works here. Could have used that earlier in the game. You can come out now. All is clear. Is, uh, what's her name going to be Wait in here, there? soldiers. There I'll see what's going on. Valerius looked Yan up and down, and then turns her pointed gaze towards you. <laughs> you can almost see her brain ticking away. Why don't you let yourself get captured by two of Rayford's guards? So I assume you're not working with that bastard Rayford then, Deputy? No, he's working with me. Ah, Mr. Roem. You are about the last person I expected to see here. Fair. Usually I'd have some witty banter about rescuing a building full of beautiful women. But the situation seems to call for less talk and more action. Yes, it does. You surprise me, Mr. Roem, in a good way. So what exactly brings you two here to rescue my soldiers and I? Captain, I just want to leave this accursed valley. And the only way it seems I can do that is to deal with Rayford. So here I am. Yawns her reason and decided to help. Indeed. An interesting tale. I'd like to hear more, but as you rightly said, it's time for action. If you want to take care of Rayford, I'll set my guards to clear some of the streets for you. Would that help? Certainly. It would. Thanks. It is I who should be thanking you. Damn right. I can think of several ways we can arrange that. <laughs> I thought you didn't have time for witty banter. Yeah. That is all I can't help myself. If you head back into the city, I'll release my soldiers and attempt to clear a path to Rayford for you. Sweet. Thanks. I'll see you soon, I'm sure. Ah, oh, didn't get that line. Sounds good, Yan. All right. Two for two. Like the smeat just hanging out in our inventory. 
grab one of those whiskeys that put me on my butt before. Alright, this all seems like it's pretty well under control. Yeah. Everyone just hanging out. I don't know how <gasps> you got this far, criminal. The lighthouse. You aren't getting any further. Of course, it's gonna end at the oh, lighthouse. Bugger. Oh, I'm getting sick of killing you stupid pricks. What has Reefer <laughs> promised you? Just getting out of that stinking Volksville is promise enough for me. <laughs> Gods, let's kill this cur. Great. More killing for no money. Oh. Good thing Not I helped so them. fast, you worthless lackey of a traitorous sheriff. The Council of Tear is back in control now, and you are ordered to stand down. Surrender now, or be killed. It's like this, you see. There's six of us, and only four of you. And only one of you is cool weapon. Too bad for you, it's a great sword. So, respectfully, you can go and get stuffed. You're right, of course. Of the four of us here, only one has a weapon. Of course, you're missing the bigger picture. That would be the cadre of very angry Tears arrows right behind us. <laughs> yes, Councillor Pratton. I was getting to that. Apologies. As my colleague said, there's a large number of Tears arrows coming down from the docks now, and they're most displeased with Rayford and you. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> right. Might want to swim it from here, RG. <laughs> nice. What about you two? That may have worked on those feeble fools, but it won't work on us. My steel will. You'll be dead before those women archers arrive. No, he won't be. Valeris. You're a sight to see, and not just because you arrived in the nick of time. Nice. I'm pleased to see you're still alive as well, Mr. Rowan. All right. You are. After this is over, I should buy you a drink. We can talk about how pleased you are. Ahem. You are ordered to stand down. Never. I'll take one, you take me. Oh, you take them both. All right. Hell yeah. Just like that. Whoa, that was intense. My kind of lady. Voleris, please take your arrows to the top of this lighthouse and arrest Rayford. What's he doing up there? Hell no. That bastard is mine. Rayford has tried to kill me, set me up to be killed, and forced me to commit crimes for him. And all I wanted to do was get a hell out of this valley. Volaris? It sounds fair to me, Counselor. Mr. Roam has certainly helped us retake Tyr. Rayford is all yours, sir. Bring him back to stand trial if he cooperates. Bring his body back if he doesn't. There you are. Sweet. This might be it. This might be it. I interest you in some smeat, Polaris. She's not in. She's never tried you consider it. Consider flirting with her, but then remember you have other things to do. Never overdo the flirting your papa once said to you. It's a wise man. Let's do it. This is gonna look like the. Uh... Tower in Quest for Glory 6. Reaching no. the top of the lighthouse, you see Rayford and the Mayor Looks of Tear, like, uh, Von Darkles, in deep conversation. Monkey Island. Hi. That's over, Rayford. Are you serious? You're like a bad Blythos. Yeah. I always turn up. <laughs> I thought you said he'd be dead by now. Forgot about that guy. Well, obviously, Utar failed, and Mr. Rome proved to be more resourceful than I thought. You and me, Rayford. Now listen, Smigan. I didn't come here Smeg to hear you blood. Oh my god. I've got smeat coursing through my veins right now. Let's do this. Oh. Well, why did you come here? To kill you and get my life back. All I wanted was to pass through town and be on my way. But no, you had to put me in the middle of all your sight. All your shite. Do you think you mean anything to me? Don't care. I buy and sell men like you all the time. Yeah, I bet you were in with that slave I trade. I shipped better men than you overseas to be slaves in mines more horrible than you could imagine. Rayford, what are we going to do now? <laughs> oh, we? 
We are going to do nothing. This man isn't a concern of ours at all. I'll take care of him. I'm waiting all game for this. Well, uh, what should I do? You? I only need one thing from you. What's that? Die. <gasps> Damn. The mayor makes a thud and a splash as he hits the rocks below. You are one vicious bastard, Rayford. Somehow I think the king will believe me more when I tell him you killed the mayor of Tyr and forced me to allow you to take over the valley. I have like 100 reinforcements at the bottom of this tower, but okay. I applaud your creative villainy here, Rayford. I normally would have mind, but I don't have time for this. We have all the time in the world now that you so kindly got me the Eye all of right. Yager, eh? Oh, he's gonna grab it and change like the other guy. Hummel. You simple rube. Seriously, do you even know what you found? Let me guess here. Something like power. Unlimited power. Yeah, boozle. Well, yeah. Spare me. With the power of this gem and the technology of the Maroi, I can create a weapon so great no one would dare oppose the kingdom of Lonaria. Maroi are all dead. Nice plan, but everyone here knows you're crazy. You partnered up with a cult and imprisoned everyone in this city. That's where you come in. I'm blaming it all on you. When they find me with your body, I'll explain how you did it all. Caught the crap. You're not pinning your lane crimes against this kingdom on me. I've got better things to do. What can you do about it? Well, I suppose I could kill you right here. That appears to be my preferred course of action. Yes. Come on then, you weakling. Come see what a real swordsman can do. Don't worry. I'll show you. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> This mustache. Let's see. 13. He missed. Right, trying to do like some string fighter stuff, but you're not landing any attacks. Wow. Your guards are more powerful than you are. Six, okay. When you land. You should get out from behind that desk every now and then, Rayford. Get some reps in in the forest. Is this my own blood? This is not how I planned this to go. My grandfather always said to me, make a lot of plans. Don't plan a lot of results. Mr. Rowe, I, I beg of you, please. Yeah, right. If I didn't let uh, Gorth live, you think I'm going to let you live? You're big and it's as pathetic as your life was. Give him a regards. Tell the devil when you meet him. Hell yeah. And there goes Rayford. Good riddance, old boy. Sweet. <sighs> Mr. Rome! And Yan picks up the, Mr. Rome. the gem. Oh, holy shit! Was that Rayford? Sure yeah, was. He had a nasty fall. Damn! I would have liked to have done it myself. Dirty bastard he was. You know what, Jan? You're better than that. That's why I like you. Thanks, man. Come on, let's go. You're in charge now. You bastard deserved worse. Yeah, who's gonna let him live? I was what? wondering when you'd make your appearance. You I'd love from? to stay and chat longer, but I do have business to attend to. Ah, yes. The Eye of Yagra. I suppose you'd be wanting to take this with you. Taking this back? It's unbelievably important. More than you know. Suppose I wanted to keep it. Don't make me kill you. I like your attitude. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Slides over. Wait, wait. I'm sad to see you go. Bare but hand. I think even I know that gem ain't worth its trouble. Oh, you'll see me again. I guarantee it. In the prequel? Oh. You have to love these cryptic moments where someone who is seemingly a stranger knows more than you. Oh, yeah. I'm delighted. Still, I'd love to see you again. I'll see you, but you might not see me. How could I miss you? I don't look like this, Mr. Rowan. I just assumed this form for this mission. Did huh. you not realize this? That's disappointing. Well, a guy gets distracted. <laughs> that was the point. Goodbye, Mr. Rowan. Don't find me. 
I'll find you. Come, you moon knight. Until we meet again, William. Moon knight. All right. What the hell? Why didn't just do that before? <laughs> Agreed. All right. Oh, there's it looks his body. like negotiations were successful. Yeah, it ended in a stalemate, so I killed the deal. Your puns are terrible. Well, look, we have you to clean up, eh? They've rounded up all of Rayford's lackeys and all the Maroi who didn't die. Most of those cultists were easy to decimate. Yeah, they weren't. Well, hard. that's mildly unpleasant. So, uh, what should we do with them? I think we should put them in Rayford's dungeon. That would be a good place for them to wait for trial. My justice has been served. Thank you, Mr. Rome. I may return home now. No problem, buddy. Godspeed, Zanky. I was really limber in battle. Must have been all that stretching. <laughs> I'm going to the Red Door. The Council of Tyr wishes to see you, Mr. Rome. Mr. Rome. We are in your debt. You saved our city. I agree. I've never seen such bravery. Well, I just... Do not be modest, sir. You saved our lives, and we are in your debt. Please, stay in our city as our honored guest until you are ready to travel. Gotta stay at the mayor's house. <laughs> you spend the next several weeks several relaxing weeks. at the mayor's house. Most infamous man. The Council of Tear and Gratitude provides you with all the food and comforts you need. Finally, though, you are summoned to the city plaza by the council for something. Oh, great! Rakesh is like, we need an it infamous... It looks like the entire oh, look, valley that. turned out for your goodbye. Yeah. God, you hate long goodbyes. It's so much easier just to leave through a window in the middle of the night. Yeah. Oh, look, there's the, uh, the monkey. Well... With the bridge finally repaired, we must all bid goodbye to Mr. Rowan. Please, you're all too kind. We have received a letter from Conninglist. The king himself has sent a message. What? I, Harlan Duland, King of Lonaria, do proclaim that Mr. William Rome is a true hero of the Valley of Krasna. Nice. Having saved our kingdom from the dastardly plans of Johann Sebastian Rayford and the cult of the Maroi, I on this day proclaim him to be the Baron of the Valley, steward and mayor of Tyr. Jan Gellefort is on this day proclaimed Sheriff of Volksville and right-hand man to Baron <laughs> William Rome. That's awesome. Baron Rome. Oh, wow, really? I don't need that. I don't need all that. There's more from the king. I invite Baron Rome to spend a fortnight as an honored guest in my castle, Conninglist, for a banquet feast to be held in his honor. Wow. A banquet? Really, I don't need that. I just push the guy off a lighthouse. <laughs> he will also be paid a sum of one million glyphos as a reward for services rendered. Holy crap. I could use that. His Majesty has sent his private coach to take you up the King's Road to the castle, Mr. Owen. Truly, a job well done, sir. Wow. Good job, kid. I've never met a better hero. This is better than... You old bruiser. <laughs> Pretty funny you ended up here, huh? I get to tell people you stayed <laughs> at my inn. Can I go with your daughter yet? And to think I almost had you. Hey, I closed the pub to see you off. I want you to know that's a big deal. Thanks, kid. Yeah, we're mostly sober now. Well, Mr. Rome, the castle is waiting. We'll be here when you return. Oh, great. Your coach is just outside Baron the front Rome. gate, Baron Rome. Councillor, tell the coach to go on ahead. I've got me all right. Baron Rome, are you sure? Yeah, I'm not one yeah, for Yeah, he doesn't want all the fans there. Goodbye, all. He's going to veer off. Go his own way. Well, are you ready, Mr. Rome? Oh, there's Swart again. <laughs> it's Baron Rome now, Swart. <laughs> you don't say. You're moving up in the world. <laughs> that I am, Swart. Where are we going then? North, Swart, to the castle. Guess we will take him up on that. Wait till they get a load of me. <laughs> that would be a great sequel. Yeah, a million blies. That's way more. 
than anything Fifi ever got for doing his deeds. There you go. We're quite infamous by the end of all that. Pushing a man off, whether it was pushing a man off a ladder and breaking his neck, an apple man, or just breaking open and eating from a can of meat. You were one infamous dude. What a fun game, though. I'm glad that uh, people kept reminding me to finally get around to playing this game. It's a very nice, very funny send-up to, you know, the, the old Quest for Glory games, all the Sierra stuff in general. Good stuff, though. Looking forward to that prequel, if and when it comes out, which takes place at the uh, former Baron's place. When we got into that mischief with the Baron's daughter. That's going to be fun. Steve Patrick, well done. Don't remember this song to me. All right. Yes, please. The game just keeps you guessing, even in its fun little songs. So many voices, so many non-professional voice actors. James Mulville, well done. Yeah, Kickstarter. I think they're doing Kickstarter for the other uh, prequel as well at the time of this recording. Mark Crow, Lauren Corey Cole, Scott Murphy, Josh Mandel. So many Sierra names. Alright. Well, there we go. Our total infamy score there at the end, 230. We ranked a total bastard like we kept calling Ray for it throughout the course of the entire game. You, my friend, are an absolute bastard, and yet the people love you for it. Nice work. And on that note, what? Is your file name to save your character? Sure. I don't know where that's going to save, but go ahead. On that note... Oh, hold on. Stinger. The cold wind blows from the south. And the smell of something ancient carries on the breeze. It appears that the world may finally be in motion. Mustn't get too hasty. We've been tricked before. But the eye of Mantilla has never been alight until now. Yager is coming home. That much is clear. But when the time comes, will he be ready? We shall see. I've been waiting for this a long time. I suppose it's true what they say. Family makes you wait the longest. they say that? Not to take away from that. There you go, a little teaser for a sequel which never happened, but maybe it's in the works. Certainly no prequels. Probably going to come up before that, but I digress. Thank you so much everyone for watching. 
This has been Quest for Infamy right here on Let's Play with Brigands. Finally got to live my lifelong dream I didn't know I had on this channel of becoming a brigand on this channel. So that was fun in a game. There you go. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. And as always, tune in next time for more fun, fun times right here on Let's Play with Brigands. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you. And check the description of this video to see what song is playing right now.